And thank you for joining us. And we have a new channel sponsor, PCB Way. And there you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, PCB Adam. Way. Hello. PCB Way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a minute late. <laughs> That's all good. So thank you, everybody, for joining us today. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some more tinkering around with all kinds of cool projects today. Everybody's going to be kind of working on their thing, and Adam's going to possibly be showing us something kind of neat today, too. And uh, I'm, I'm going to be guy, revisiting this uh, Mac Plus again. Uh, I think that the issue lies in the analog board and not the CRT, because I got the heater on the uh, anode working, just by trinking around the board. So it's alive, So, which is, I'm glad. Um, but anyway, and... As the uh, intro said, we are sponsored by PCB Way. Uh, they reached out to me, so they are uh, a sponsor of my channel, and I really appreciate them. So, all right, guys, so what are we going to be working on today, Garth? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to be working on my Star Rider board. I worked on last time. I'm going to put the cast back on and test it. That probably won't work, of course, but I figured <laughs> to put it together because I just got the caps yesterday, so it's like. I want to try it out, so we'll see. You're so optimistic. There you go. And then the second project will be, well, there's a whole string of things, I'm sure, because this will be the longest stream yet, right? Uh, you know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm not working tomorrow. We can let it run. We're going to beat Steve's record if we, if we can all stay up late enough. So, yeah. <laughs> and I know he's going to hop in at the very end to keep me from doing it. So... <laughs> <laughs> So, what about you, Tom? What you working on? Um, I'm going to be inventorying my refill cap collection. You know, I'm going to see how many of them I have. And, you know. No, I'm going to be working on a, um, a, a Z80 soft card for the Apple III. So, it allows you to run CPM on the Apple III by, you know, it basically has a Z80 processor on there in its own you know, ROM and stuff. So, this is a kit from uh, Joe of Joe's Computer Museum that I picked up uh, last week. So it, it's a lot of components. It's uh, many many bags of components wow. and a bunch a bunch of chips. So wow, it's, it's going to be a project. Wow, <laughs> it sounds like it. What about you, Eric? What you up to today? Well, um, from your last epic stream, the plus. Um, <laughs> Catastrophe. Floppy, floppy yeah, the catastrophe. <laughs> well, my plus works, except this gave up the ghost during that. So I'm going to work on the floppy drive. And then uh, it's unjammed already. So well, I that's think it's progress. Some, yeah. it, it either needs a gear or a loop or both. Maybe and then uh, I also have a kit from Joe. So nice. I ordered uh, another uh, Blue SCSI for my 2CI. Nice. Excellent. Very good. And Adam, so what do we have on the deck for today? I am going to test some, uh, some Mac Plus, Mac 512 analog boards, and I've got this, this test chassis. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> to, uh, totally safe. 
So, yeah, so you just touch right, any right, anywhere right there, and, and you're fine. Uh, my kind of uh, bench work there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> cool. That'd be pretty neat. Be a good way to check those tubes. <laughs> Not a lot of them. Yeah. All right. And well, if I run, if I get bored with that, I have uh, Apple II power supplies. I want to recap. Okay. Cool. Well, like I said, we'll we'll run this stream as long as we're all up to it. All right. You might even see like some raccoons coming in here tonight. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They usually don't if I'm not here, but if I'm not here, they would come in here. So, but anyway, so cool. All right. Well, uh, we got people in the chat already there. Oh, we have. Some... Uh oh, lost you, Dave. Oops. We lost our... Dave. We lost our host. All right, Adam, take over. Okay. Uh, so he was saying we got people in the chat. Who do we got? We got. Sarah there we Brooke go. Jack. Got. There we go. Uh -oh. Start again. We got Tom Barber in the chat. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Starbucks Tech and Sue T T Kai. No, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Sue Tech. Sue Tech. Sue Tech. Sue Tech. All right. Very good. Okay. Well, hopefully and we'll Howard and Joe. Joe Williams. Uh, yeah. And then Joe said uh, he will be uh, joining us in a little bit. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then I invited a few more people, so we'll see who pops in. All right. So. Who wants to be big first? <laughs> oh, jeez. Not me. Oh, sure. Not, Not you. A minute. Yeah. I just finished doing my construction work. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll make, make myself. Make if you want. Okay. We'll make you big here, Garth. There we go. Just for a while. Okay. There oh, you geez, go. That big. All right. Because oh, I got to take the okay. back off of this so, thing. We're going to put these caps into this board. Now, the best thing about this is that since this board was so cap bombed, all the markings on the PCB have come off. So it's kind of hard to what tell is this first. For? This is for the style writer. Remember the one that had all the horrible cap leakage? I was not on the, the last mega stream, so I maybe oh, yeah. I missed that. So this is a this is from a style writer I got. The, the case is really nice and everything, but the um, it doesn't work. Um, it basically starts up and it just thinks the carriage is jammed, but never actually moves or anything. Um, so I tore it down. It's actually pretty simple to get into. The board was it looked kind of some cap leakage and stuff, but when I took the caps off, it was like molasses and um, maple syrup underneath there, right? Oh, yummy. So, oh, boy. Yeah, I figured maybe, maybe, maybe it's, you know, the, the control board's not going to work. It's probably not going to work at all, but I, I don't have much hope for it, to be honest with you. It was getting voltages and stuff. Anyway, but when I cleaned it off, obviously all the markings just started falling <laughs> off. Thing, right? So it's That's fine, horrible. though. I have good photographs. Yeah, it's definitely important to take good photos um, of your board. So we're gonna put our first right. cap in. We we'll probably make some other people, I don't know, mini or something. So I'm not the only big one. Yep, we'll uh, we'll get it back to a regular size here for everybody here. All right, so, let's see here. There we go. Uh, I'll zoom in on so this here. I'm gonna be looking at my photographs of the board so I can figure out where anything goes. <laughs> ridiculous. Definitely good that I took some good photos before I took it apart. Yeah, that's always a good reference. Yeah, I, the second time I took my uh, iBook apart, I wasn't uh, taking care of the screws. And yeah, um, I had a bunch of people uh, yelling at, at me on the live stream. It's like, no, 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 you got to put those screws somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, it's like this, Eric. Um, if you get it all back together and it's still working fine and you got you know half a dozen screws, hey, oh well, I guess it'll work. So I guess there was just too many in there to start with, right? Right. It can be spares when you buy it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just like my car. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you guys start hearing some loud fan noise or anything. I don't think it's going to oh, okay. show up. But. I would turn my fan on, but then that's how you would hear is fan noise. So. <laughs> Actually, it's not as hot as it was last uh, when we streamed last time. It was probably yeah, 100 in there last time. Yuck. Yuck. Yeah, it was plenty hot. Well, Starbucks Tech, seems like a lot of these people do Max RPC stuff too, though, anyway. so. Yeah. 
So, Tom, you putting all those chips in the sockets? Uh, yeah, luckily. Yeah. Are you yeah. really? Well, one, okay. one of the bags is uh, full of sockets. So, a bunch yeah. of sockets? I think, I think uh, yeah, when Joe designed this, I think it's a reasonable thing to put chips in sockets. Probably a good idea. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah, the... Um, C64 I picked up all board solder. Yeah. I just hope it works. So I think I might have told the story before. I picked up a lot of like four C64s a year ago. I think I just picked up an oscilloscope and I was like, well, C64s, you know, are fairly unreliable sometimes. Like, you know, it's not uncommon to have some kind of problem, especially you know, if you're not in the great shape. And it would be a good opportunity to learn how to use the oscilloscope. So I picked them up, you know, for a decent price, figuring, okay, they're going to, you know, one of them is going to have some kind of your memory problem or, you know, a SID chip problem or something. Every single one worked perfectly fine. Uh -huh. so it's like, and then I keep, I kept buying, like, 8-bit computers that were sold as broken. So, like, TI-9, like a broken TI-99, a broken Apple II. They all work perfectly fine. Every yeah, plug it in, turn it on, boots right up. It's like so. I'm never gonna have a chance to use this. Scope. <laughs> like, yeah, I bought two uh, Vic twenties thinking that too, and I I got two Vic twenties that were sold as broken. They both work fine. Yeah, my Damn it, it works. The, uh, the TI ninety nine was it has a it, it has a video output that's um, coax out like RF out. But it's the RCA style jack. It's supposed to go to a um, like an external modulator or whatever. So my theory is they hooked up the, directly to the a composite input on TV, which you know, it's not going to work because it's expecting the RF signal. Yeah, so that, that's my theory at least, and why yep. why it was still this program will work fine. Hey, uh, Eric. Yes. Do do you if do you have a floppy gear or for your floppy drive? Do you have gears to replace that with a gear? Nope. Because nope. um, I have, I, I can send you one if you need one. So. Well, thank you. So um, I can I can send you one too because I just discovered I have about twelve of them. I I have like two extra boxes I didn't realize I had. Oh really? Oh okay. yeah. So I definitely have a few right. extra. Well, then, then then I'll keep mine. How's that? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have three spare, but yeah. Right. And uh, you know what, Garth? I have not tried on that LC. I have not uh, put a disc in that uh, floppy drive uh, so, thing yet. Yeah, that drive was so. Sometimes again, I'll come across them, and you take out the gear, and it just it feels malleable because they're supposed to be a little bendable a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. It just felt fine, so I'm like, you know what? If it's fine, I I should have sent one with you to be honest, but I, I was figuring you probably had one anyway. But I just make sure you uh, let you know. Yeah, I have I have some. Uh, but yeah, because the reality is for me, if if uh, if it's mine, I'm just holding on to it. I, I'll just leave it as is. I, if it's one I'm definitely going to use the the drive on, then I replace it. Yeah. Um, if I'm gonna be doing like a lot of disc crap on it, yeah, yeah, I I don't really need it. I just wanted to practice it because I've only uh, I haven't fixed any. I've just uh, lubricated a couple. Yeah, um, it you know it, it's it's like this if it's if it's been in there for a long time. It's just kind of a a good thing just to change. So that way you don't have to ever get into it again. Yeah. You know? Once I have a couple of nice external drives that, that work just fine, so if I really need a floppy, I could always hook them up. Yeah. So I'm trying to get to zoomed in here, so when I switch this on, you can see the uh, heater heating up. Let me turn some lights off here so we can get it in darkness here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm glad with the, um, for a while with those floppy drives, uh, there was only one guy on eBay selling for years. They're fairly expensive, and now there's, you know, a few different options. 
between eBay and KX. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And um, Stephen Arsenal um, designed some and has some on Shapeways. There we go. So it's, it's nice that there's, yeah, there's options. Yep. Where paying, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Bucks a year in Italy. Hey, guys. Yeah. I just did the first boot of the of the trash found 512. Yeah. Yeah, from the floppy emu and using a 400k disc and it works. Oh, just nice. cool. <laughs> oh, look perfect. at that. Oh, that's your yeah. test test thing that you made there. That's cool. Yeah, well, I didn't know what the status of that any of the hardware in that machine since it was found in the garbage. Yeah. And so I used it as just basically a size template to build this chassis. Yeah. And it's it all just works. I mean, that's cool. There's a bunch of mold all over the screen. <laughs> but I tried the um, system 3.3 400K image and it, it came right up. All right. I'm going to hook, Very good. I'm gonna hook up a keyboard and mouse and try those out. All right. I'm gonna zoom in and uh, let's see here. I'll uh, make myself big here. All right, so that's the the back of the tube here, and you'll see that uh, when I energize it here, uh, you will see that uh, that will start to glow here. Oh yeah, I see. Don't touch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, I see it yep. glowing. Yep, starting to. See, it's glowing in there, yes. Yeah. So it's, yep. it's, it's getting, uh, so the, the gun is good in it. So we don't know if we've got opening in it. So, yeah. That'd be funny if the screen was on with it. Yeah. No, of course not. <laughs> of course not. The, um, the video. Progress. Still, no, uh, so, still not, no raster on it. Yeah. That looks just like the, the CRT that's in my, my test rig here. Yeah. Cool. Can you bigify me for a minute? Yeah, I will bigify you. Oh, Justin's in. Here's Justin. Hey, Justin. How you doing? Hey, Justin. Hey, Justin. Hello. I'm doing good. good. Thank you. Good. Good evening. So, good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. It yeah, is. <laughs> so. No, it's 11 p.m. GMT. Don't you know? Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> GMT. Yeah. I was covering all our streaming bases. Yeah, there you go. So this gear is intact. Yeah, so the gear, the gear you want to look at is the one on the left, right? Uh, yeah. The, the yellow one. Yep. And you can take yeah, out yep. that one nope. immediately to the right of it. It lifts out mm -hmm. pretty easily. Mm -hmm. And then you can take yep. out that gear and kind of like, you know, if Make it's sure moving, it's probably going to be fine. Yeah. But um, it may be crumbled. You may not be able to tell that without removing that other gear. True. But I would just take both gears out. They both slide right out. And then yep. you can kind of inspect the other one to see how maybe it is crumbling a little bit. Yeah. Does anyone happen to know what's the newest version of a uh, system that will work on a Mac 512? Um, 608. 608. Ah. Is there supposed to be teeth all the way around this gear? Yep. Yes. Yep. Uh, I bet you specimen. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's the, there you go. It'll, it'll sound like a chainsaw. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but. Yeah. Yep, I see. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I see it right missing. There. That's a, I uh, my my drive was missing two teeth on this plus. So and I'll, boy, I'll send I tell you what, your gear, Eric. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that gear is quickly on. becoming a wheel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd say about yeah. uh, thirty degrees of the wheel is missing teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain it. I don't think my five twelve has ROMs that know what an eight hundred k drive are. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I don't think. Yeah, huh? Oh, and here That's are the teeth. <laughs> yeah. So I guess you get a um, a rominator, right? And that would allow it to see the eight hundred k drive. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really want to upgrade this machine. I just want to make sure it works. But I'm going to move over to a Mac Plus uh, motherboard. Let's see, system 3.3, what does that do? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty, uh, pretty basic. It's booting up, though. I think I started on 3. Hey, my when... trackball works. Yay. 
When hey, good. Get yeah, that's that's a good sign. Oh, Needs to be cleaned though. When, when was uh, OS three released? Any idea? I'm opening the about the finder. This says Macintosh Finder version 5.5 copyright 1987. Yeah. Hmm. So three I, would have been what I was using. I started using Max in '88. This is the last. Uh, I think the last version that would run on a unrom upgraded original Mac. Original Mac. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a 512. This is an old one. It's got a ceramic CPU. Oh, yeah, it is an old one. It's like an original one. Eguiz is asking the... in the chat, a Ramoneer works on a uh, 512, question mark? I believe so, yeah. Yes, it'll work, it'll work on a 512. It'll actually work on a 128K, too. Yeah, yeah 128, 512, and plus all have the same yep. ROM layout. Yep. Yeah, it has to be um, the, the Ramoneer 1, not the Ramoneer 2. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was for the uh, SCE. Did yeah. you guys see Action Retro's video he put out today where he was trying to put a Rominator in his uh, upgraded 128? No, it, I, I haven't it, seen his video yet. It yeah. wouldn't physically fit because that SCSI two meg card hangs yeah. over the ROM sockets, uh -huh. so, so he couldn't actually put it in there. So he's going to do a part two. Yeah. We had someone else um, on the uh, 68K MLA. He said that there was a uh, someone else had the same exact thing going on with the same exact upgrade card, so they designed a uh, PCB. So he's going to have PCB way uh, printed. Right. All right. Well, this 512 board works. Nice. So Adam, let's see how how hard it is to take your. Uh, when you rip it all down, how hard is the switch switch stuff in that? You're, switch, you're testing CRTs too, eventually, right? Yes. I'm going to try some motherboards first because that's easy. Yeah. And then that's I'm going to swap some Crts into here. I've got to um, go grab that box. Yeah, I want to see what. I love how when you hit shut like down, little twisty thing you use. Yeah, it's called a wing nut. <laughs> <laughs> I call them, I call them twisty things. Twisty things. Oh, I thought that's what you put on bread bags. Was yeah, I, I was thinking the same, right. thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> same thing, Eric. I was going to say the same thing. I put wing nuts on bread bags. <laughs> the whirly do. You, you can take me off uh, Bigify now if you want to. Okay, all right. Now that we established that your gear is uh, my, toast. My gear is yeah. kaputin. Yeah, kaput. Uh, there we are right there. Okay, there we are. Okay. Das Gieren is verboten. <laughs> so, Justin, you're working on your, is that an LC? It's an LC, right? LC, yeah. This is an LC. Yes, so this was the no-boot Macintosh LC that I worked on on the channel. It would have been earlier this year, maybe late last year. And I did get it, I recapped it, got it running but then earlier this year, I was trying to do something on it. I think I was trying to test a uh, upgrade Blue SCSI firmware and then see if it worked. And in the span of about five minutes, the machine went from working to pretty much uh, system bombing on boot. Oh, so uh, that's not good. So I basically I was able to finally able to figure out I could create a really stripped down System Six disk with snooper on it and I ran snooper and it told me with the with just the onboard RAM that there was bad RAM so I need to replace the I'm just gonna replace all four because I don't know which one's bad uh, I've got plenty of chips to do that and because this was the first SMD recap I ever did well some of the caps just didn't go on straight and they, when I saw your picture, I thought you were just laying them on the board or something. At first, I was like, yeah. oh, wait, I was like, just laid them all out or something. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Anyways, shoot. and actually, this cap here isn't actually soldered. Uh, it's oh, also, okay. like, way bigger than the pads. So I decided that since I was going to pull the hot air out to, to have to hot air the these four RAM chips off, I might as well just yeah. recap it again. 
do it with all. That. I'm surprised, honestly, that that thing, it boots up and it doesn't crash check or crash right on boot or anything. Yeah, it doesn't crash right on boot. It's uh, It's got to load something, which is weird. But yeah, it'll yeah. it'll actually start to boot. Uh, which actually it was good. It wasn't just immediately crashing on boot because that let me run Snooper. But I had to use System Six because that uh, the only Snooper disc I could find was 800K, and well, I don't have enough working Mac floppy drives to put two in the LC. Or well, I couldn't use the LC to create the floppy disks. Yeah. Uh, I had to use the LC two to do that. But I didn't have enough uh, floppy drives to be, uh, write Snooper to an 800k disk and then uh, copy that to a 1.44 megabyte disk. But it's probably just as well as using System 6 because uh, I think that let it load in under wherever the bad RAM is on this board. System, system 7 is too big. System six is just right. <laughs> so anyways, just right. It's yeah, funny because I've had yeah. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. We'll see. I guess. I, mean, I almost want to say it may not be bad RAM or just you know something else. Uh, I don't know. It, you well, know, like, maybe you could boot though. Even you really should swap out individual chips for or uh, RAM boards for uh, good known good ones just to find it. I, I don't have known good RAM chips that oh. fit this board. All I have are the the tube of 25 new old stock. And it looks like I get to fix a trace that I boogered during the original recap. And I just actually ripped it now. So I get to do a trace repair. Yay. Oh, no. This is going to be another one of those uh, streams where we yeah. have more than we fit. It's only going to get worse I know, right? <laughs> oh, we're, we're, on a, we're already on a downhill spiral. It's started. That's why I'm working on this thing already knows broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's hopeless beyond repair. So, yeah. Hey, Dave. Dave, yes. can you make me big for a minute? Yep. Uh, okay. There you go. Okay, so I got this I'm going to try out. This is... Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. The Max 128 but it has a huge board on top. Wow. Which oh, yeah, has good. two megs of RAM and a SCSI header. Yeah, cool. that's one of those uh, upgrade boards on it, huh? It's that's similar cool. to the one that Action Retro has, but this one's, it's actually made by um, Calmo Semiconductor, which is a California company. Um, and it has it, it's populated to put a 50 pin um, SCSI connector, like an internal, but it interferes with what they put the RAM, so I don't really get that. But then there's a 25 pin that hooks to a ribbon connector. Yeah. So. Wow. So hacky. I love it. I know. I'm gonna plug it into my test chassis, and I just noticed something on the test chassis too, which is hilarious. There's a warranty sticker on it that says, <laughs> um, "Extended warranty expires five." 694 so somebody had this machine or at least that power supply serviced in the early 90s apparently huh. wow. wow cool so it if you leave it on me for a sec i'm gonna i'm gonna power this yeah. on yeah oh, smoke. and we got uh, joe's plug popping in, in. got to plug in my uh joe <laughs> i messed up already <laughs> hi joe <laughs> <laughs> wow, we got a team going on tonight, don't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've already messed up twice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been we're on track for perfection then, right? Hey, my computer we're going to see if we can have as much <laughs> carnage as we had the last stream. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so, of course, I'm going to build the kit you sent me, Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, Joe, you know, that's what I'm doing, and I messed up already. <laughs> Uh -oh, it's wrong side. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me see that again, Tom. What? What did you do? I broke it. So don't don't do that. <laughs> well, no. Here's what I did. Can Can you tell what's uh? I don't think I can. Missing pins. Yeah. I so. I apparently Those forgot were to excellent. solder. I forgot to solder one of the pins before cutting it. And I realized it's stuck in my blue tack. <laughs> oh boy! Pulled out. Okay. So I think I, think I can get it. Uh, 
Hey, you guys, my uh, my Mac 128 boot system six. Look at that. All right, look at that. Wow, nice. This is the one with the upgrade, right? Yes. Wow. Well, otherwise, it would never run this. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm curious to see what it says when you look about on the memory there. <laughs> find my trackball. Adam, I love with that frame, by the way. That is just the best. Yeah, I like to comment <laughs> on, uh, on Facebook. You're like, how much to build me one? I'm like, uh. <laughs> it looks like a guillotine. I don't know if I like there it is. About the you got to put two big googly eyes on the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be perfect. There you go. Oh, look at that. System 6.08, total memory 2048K. Nice. Wow. Now I should plug the SCSI cable in and see if I can boot off a blue SCSI. Hey, now that would be cool. Yeah. It would oh. be. I'm gonna I there's again. termination power on this thing. Mm. All right, I'm going to turn it off and work on that for a minute. Well, I guess you'll find out when you put it on there, huh? Yeah, I've got this um, DB25 to, uh, I guess it's a IDC26 weird uh -oh. cable. Mm. I'll find out. It'll take me a few minutes if you want to go to somebody else. Yeah, no problem. All right, Joe, crisis averted. Yay! Yeah, he put it away. And that's <laughs> Let's see. I messed up on step one. Let's see what happens in step two. Uh -oh. Step one is check the parts. <laughs> no, I didn't pop it. In that case, I messed up on step one and step two. I trust Joe included all the parts. I, I think I did. That's how much faith I have. <laughs> yeah, rule number one is check your work. Rule number zero is check the packing of the parts you ordered. Yes, I have the utmost trust in the Joe and Ron there. So, so you know, do they, I. They will, never, gonna check. they will never lead you down a, a terrible path. So they they're never going to send you Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, should light up mine and see what happens. I, I love you guys. You know that. Come on out. Still lie. <laughs> Joe messed up my LED bright. He sent five bolts directly to one of the LEDs and exploded it. It totally oh. was not It was him. Uh, oh. Joe, you keep sending me instructions that are torn. <laughs> oh my god. Have I done that That's twice now? This, this is just. Hey, no, can I ask you, uh, you blue scuzzy guys, a question real quick? No, yes. No. No. Uh, the, uh, hey, me. the DB25 Blue SCSI, if I don't have termination power, can I power it off of uh, micro USB? Yes. Theory, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to do that because. Although I will say, I didn't I don't give know me if that. I've ever actually gotten it to work. I don't know. You guys know better than me. Let me try. I, I, I use this SCSI SD like that all the time. It's the easiest way for me to hook it up is to use this external Blue SCSI. So I'd rather do that. So I'll, I'll work on that. Yeah, because that's what that's what the dial on there is for, is so it doesn't send from the micro USB back to your Mac. Down the cord. Perfect. Yeah, I think it's the one time long, I tried though. it, it was like on a power book and it didn't work. And I was like, why isn't this working? But then I just tried to scuzzy to student and it just worked. So I don't, I have no idea if it was just the image on it or something, too. Oh, there we go. Um, the image on here have, is probably no good. I now have a say? further, I have a further cost reduced LC. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should populate all the pads and get extra memory. I, I was actually work? wondering if that would work. Because I don't, I don't Google .com. I will say I don't see why not, right? Well, I got a what, better idea, me? Joe. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, sure, why not? I, mean, I was going to say, why would they even go to the trouble to do that if they didn't really plan on uh, a thought possibly to actually do that as, a, as an option? Yeah. Well, I mean, after all, I have enough memory chips to uh, more than do that. I, I found these, uh, I bought these off eBay. It was a 2 by 25 new old stock uh, memory chips. These are 514400 chips. So, zero, 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 destruct zero. <laughs> zero, yeah. zero, zero, zero. Ow, that's ow, it. ow. That's hot. That metal is hot. Don't do that. 
We're hey, you guys want to see something? You guys want to see something insane? Hey, okay. uh, Dave, make me big. Look at what my Mac 128 is booting. Oh, cool. 7.6 or 7. That's 7.6, isn't it? I think it's 7.5.3, 7, maybe, but on a 128 yeah. off a of schedule. That is, ama that is oh. crazy. In an hour, you could use it. Look at. Oh. oh, what does it say? Oh, multiple multiple <laughs> a Shift driver boot. for the selected Apple Talk connection cannot be found. Oh, yeah, the built in local talk port will be used instead. Oh, okay. I RAM message it doesn't know Let's what do a it might be enough. I want to click OK and see what happens. There is not enough memory to load all of your extensions. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's okay. fine. Get rid of the extensions. No. Really? No fine toasters. Is so moldy. Fine well, I, never, I didn't know what OS was even on this blue SCSI. I just plugged it in and hoped. I really shouldn't be trying to run that. Let's see what it says. I mean, that's I even know, so, but like, is it modded to be like a super plus or something? It has a SCSI slash two megabyte card. Uh, oh, it's got that thing. Directly, it. yeah. yeah, it's directly on the CPU. Um, I didn't think 7.5 would run on less than four megs. It's, yeah, it's uh, 2048K system 755. <laughs> and the, and the system is using almost all of that. <laughs> well, that's cool. That it was will. probably a mega expensive upgrade back in the day. You gotta turn on 32 bit uh, addressing. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, just give it more power. <laughs> Wish I could put four megs, but I tried to put. Uh, it's got eight SIM sockets, which are all 256s. I tried to put one megs in there, and it just said, no, I don't know what that is. Yeah, didn't recognize it. <laughs> Right. All right. Well, I'm I'm done for a minute. I'm just gonna marvel okay. in the uh, in this uh, craziness. Yeah. I gotta go get me a, a paper clip so I can uh, read the power in the back of this this uh, plus here. So I'll be back in a second. I'm Joe, what are you working on? I'm melting plastic with brass. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Now, oh, that uh, looks like uh, the brackets I got for something from Bob recently. Yep. Very, very. It's the same thing, actually. Um, I this is a uh, I'm going to be selling these light sound uh, stereo sound boards for the Apple II GS that he built, um, and he doesn't have the one the uh, that's this is going to sound like a flex. I don't mean it to I'm like I'm better than you. No, he just doesn't have, <laughs> have the um, the 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 platinum filament. But I'm like I got like three kilograms of this stuff. Just send me the file and I'll print it. Don't worry about it. So that's what. Doing. Okay. Yeah, he sent me a couple, but they're they're like white or like yeah. gray, whatever. They're on the back. I don't really care. Oh yeah, Joe. At some point, I'm gonna contact you to bribe you to print something for me in that fancy sure. filament. Yep. So, so I just need to you know become unlazy and design this you know, project. Unlazy. I'm lazy. <laughs> so, so Joe, can you do you have a program to print filament? Do I have a what? <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. Self-referential. Like, if you need a different size filament, can you print a different size? And <laughs> oh, use it. No. I'm not that. I'm not that neat. I mean, I it have would... looked at something that concept before indirectly yeah. but not really so like the thing with 3d printing is that you okay i need to print these on a better quality i think uh anyway uh, the thing with 3d printing is you always get like extra you get off cuts and little bits and pieces right and failed prints and all that stuff and so what do you do with that and i was looking into um recycling somehow mm -hmm of that stuff like a machine that would shred it and then reform it into new filament and even if it was weird multicolor filament i mean that's fine the idea is to recycle it and use it for you know test uh, for test runs and stuff like right. that um prototypes um but no um yeah there are kind of, kind of like making there, crayons like, out of crayons right yeah there, there's solutions but they're like <laughs> six or eight grand and it's like Oh. They're not open source yet. It's not a thing that they've open source like the printers themselves, so they haven't gotten cheap. 
So, yeah. And I'm not that much of a maker with enough time to develop it myself. So it's like, yeah, that's not happening. Yeah. What's annoying is, like, there's some, you know, there's some companies that will recycle filament, but they, you know, they charge you for the, the box or whatever. And it's like, eh, I mean, I, I'm all for, you know, not having this stuff sitting in a, you know, sitting in waste for, you know, a thousand years. Right. But if I'm going to be charging <laughs> bucks for a box of filament, like, yeah. Eh. Well, it's so the same way with silver recovery for black and white photography oh, yeah. processing. Because you don't want to pour that stuff down the drain. Um, you you yeah. send it through a filter. Wait, what? I'm not supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to drink it, Joe. Hey, Dave, remember you were asking me if I had a good CRT that didn't have burn-in on it? Yeah. This one here, you can see it where it says Apple File Edit with the screen turned off. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few you, of those. You, you know, that's been used for a while. Yeah. Yeah, wow, it's a good do test I, test rig, but do you oh, want yeah. to spin yeah. new in box? Well, I mean this um, completely pristine uh, classic two. Oh wow! Oh, there's no dust except that one little piece of dust, which was not from this machine. Um, huh? That's right there. It has nice. no dust. Look at it! <laughs> Look at it! Wow! Perfect. The cap is starting to leak. And I've oh yeah. Caps, but like, it's perfect. It's good thing a was it one literally found in a box not used, or? Pretty much. The, uh, the story was was like you know thirty years ago it was taken out of the box it was put on a, put on a desk it was used for a very short period of time like a year, and then, or something like that and they put back in the box and then it sat forever. Wow. Wow. It, just sat. <laughs> it came with a personal laser writer three twenty. Oh yeah. Cheap. To this, it has only ever printed 670 pages. <laughs> That's amazing. So my, um, I have an IBM uh, 5150 PC that has like a similar, you know, similar story. I found it at a um, like a tag sale or whatever for the flea market for a hundred bucks or whatever. And the guy's like, yeah, it's, it was you know used for a year, but even then, like, wasn't actually really used. And you know, he said it's in you know mint condition, crazy, just because it you know sat on a desk for a year and then got put back in the box and then they got the next thing or whatever. I tried to load Lemmings on this Mac and it says there is not enough memory. 800k needed, only 775, 757k available. <laughs> you edit your exec back. You can fix this. Uh, I yeah. should load System Six instead. What if you uh, put extensions on? Does that help at all? That might. Hey, Patrick. Mm. Oh. Hey, Patrick. What's up? Hey, Patrick. 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 <laughs> Something is using the memory. Oh. Okay. That measures good. Well, the plus 12 volt measure is good. Lies. So what was the problem? Uh, have we discovered the problem, Dave? Is is it actually the analog board or is it uh, something it's, else? It's the analog board because I showed earlier, uh, I had a close-up of the, the back of the uh, anode here on the tube. And uh, the heater's working on it. It's, okay. it didn't. It didn't do that the last time because I've been fiddling with the analog board. I've been reflowing some joints and stuff and things that I thought I might have bridged. But I, I would take uh, uh, um, solder wick and take it off. No, that's just one big pad. It's all it's all bridge like that together. So that's what I've been doing. Found one that was kind of borderline. So I took care of that. And then after I do a few of those, then I powered up and see if they'd do anything. And like I said, finally, that, that started working. So, and I... Well, and I uh, made sure the connectors weren't uh, tarnished up or stuff, you know. And I took my little exacto knife and kind of cleaned them up and stuff. And is so, it possible yeah. if the um, the potentiometer for the brightness is just gone by some chance, um, where it would just think it's turned all the way down? Would it show like nothing on the screen? Would there be any? There'd be like no brightness at all, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. 
off. No, yeah. you, you, you're getting no raster. You, could, on you it. could measure that obviously with it off and everything. Measure, measure yeah. the ohms rating and stuff. But. Yeah. Well, what I'm doing now, I'm just doing a baseline reading on the the plot on the, uh, the on the positive 12 volt, positive 5 volt, negative 12 volt back here. Let's see if there's anything weird. So far, the plus 12 volts fine. I'll be right back. So, so we just see. okay. Yeah, yeah I found a game. I found a game that'll work. It's uh, Zork One. <laughs> Zork One. Yeah, you were standing in an open field west of a white house with a boarded up front door. There is a small mailbox here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever play that game? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've got the Fortran source code for it for Unix. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think you can read it on the screen. I can't zoom that camera, but. It loads of programs, so that's cool. Copyright 1981, yeah. 82, 83. Cool. And it's not a legit copy. Of course. Well, you know. Well, it's legit. I, it's a real right. copy. Well, it has a serial number that I never put in, so. Anyway, I'm satisfied that this 128 board with the upgrade works, so I'm going to yeah, go find... That's, I'm gonna, that, that's excellent. I'm going to go find oh. something else to test here. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. I'll, uh, well, I will have my work cut out on me on this LC board because I just lost a second pad. Oh, no. So, yeah, me and my idea of just going ahead and recapping all the caps because they just looked bad. Yeah. That might have been a mistake. Well, this was the stream to try. It was... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I better me try it on Dave's channel than my channel because... <laughs> you, you get to it'll, test it. There you go. It'll be harder for my 147 subscribers to find my screw-up then. Unless they're, they follow Negative me on Twitter. 12, well, and th this is the stream for it to happen because you have Joe. So, you, yeah, he can... He can uh, yeah, I know. Advice. Yeah, if only... Joe, Joe you knows how to support. Joe, fix my analog board. <laughs> Hold on, let me beam thoughts. I, I know you specifically say you don't fix analog boards. Fix my analog board. I'll give you a dollar. You know, you you said that, Joe, and I don't know why. I just thought of that episode of Star Trek: The Next Generation, where uh, Reginald Barkley creates that thing in the the holodeck where he just mentally interfaces with the Enterprise. Yep. Oh, yeah. I remember He's talking that to the computer and says, <laughs> I don't have the parameters to do that. No, I need a hey, blah, 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 blah. The six. computer says, I don't know how to make that. He says, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dave, I think you could take Adam off of the big screen because he's not even there. At the no, we can, we can admire his stuff. Yeah, oh. he's, he's got all kinds of neat toys over there. There you go. Yeah, I know there's uh, something I might see if I can get Joe to pull out of his basement. And, uh... Oh, his pumpkin tosh? There we go. Oh, hey, he can pull his pumpkin tosh out. There we go. All right, so this is the voltage readings that I got. So on pin 8, it calls for plus 12. I got plus 11.98, so that's with intolerance. Uh, pin 6 plus 5, I got 5.06, that's maybe a little, just a taste on the high side, but still, you know, not terrible. And then pin 5, the negative 12 volts, it's uh, minus 12.31, yeah, so that's a little high. So. 3.6 Rontgen, not great, not terrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not. Perfect, but they're not terrible. They're kind of in a metal road there. So, Diatloff! It was Diatloff! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. I just thought at 3.6, that reminds me of the voltage I was seeing on my Franklin when I had the CPU in backwards. Ah. It's amazing. That's the same voltage I have on my luggage. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to say something random that I know it's some in some movie that Joe's going to be like, wait, it's from that movie. <laughs> No, it's actually his life. His luggage is sitting on the floor. If he measures it, it's six, what, 3.6 volts? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything in this room is live. I've showed it on stream, man. Yep. It's, it's yeah. crazy. 
Like, it's okay because everything is at the relative same voltage, so technically <laughs> everything is zero volts. It's only the voltage differential you have to worry about. Mm. So as long as I do something that's zero volts, I'm fine. <laughs> everything is 56. It's all good. Okay, so that's good. So, Joe, I have a question to ask you, technical question. I have an answer for you, whether or not it's the correct well, I Well, I well, I know you know things, so let's see. I you he know things. What's up? You tell me. Okay, on the analog board. All right. Um, no. It's analog. <laughs> not digital. It's spicy. It's spicy. Let me see here. Let me see if I can. It's a spicy analog board. It's a spicy board. All right. So I'm going to let me take this off the mount here so we can uh, get a little closer view here. Before you ask your question, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you sure all your capacitors are in the right the right direction? Well, I never well I never touched them. So. Oh, you haven't recapped it. Okay. No, 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 no. Actually, like it looks uh, the board looks beautiful on it. Um, let me see if well, I can get this. So just the so answer short. is recap. Yep. Make it unbeautiful. Unless it's already been recapped. Well, I mean, those caps look new to me, but whatever. Well, I, mean, I know they do, don't they? Yeah. I mean, look at that. There's no juicy juice. They're juicy not bulged. It's gonna move you. That's the problem. It doesn't have enough juice. So what's uh, the question? Try. Well, I'm... okay. There's there's a couple of chips on this analog board. Yep. Okay. There's one. You can just barely see one right there. Okay. Right what do those the What do those do? You're talking about that one with the three legs. The R. It's right above R25 there. Oh, R25. The, 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 the big chip. Uh, I don't know. I can't see the part number on it. Uh, let me get my flashlight and we'll see if we can uh, illuminate it a little bit better here. Is this a uh, plus? Yes, it is. As I drop everything, let's see. Okay, so let's put a little, put a little light on it. Let's see if I, I can make it better. Let me get this in here. <laughs> I feel like midnight Intel ad flying through a motherboard. Yeah, I mean, once, you, once you see it, because I'm also looking at the schematics on the internet. I might find it before you do. Is it U2? If it's U2, that is a 74LS00 being used as an inverter. There it is. You see it there? Uh, that one up there, the LM, uh, LM324, that's part of the um, comparator circuit as, as part of the vertical suite generator. Okay. Dave, I've then, never seen one of those chips on an on a analog board go bad, ever. Yeah. Okay. It's highly, it, like, if that chip goes bad, the thing caught fire. Okay. And this one here, you said? Uh, that one, is, that's uh, 7438. Um, is that, what's the part number, U2? Uh, no, that's a band. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not not a very good one either. <laughs> says PC seven four. What's, what's the silk screen it's number above it? It's like you seven four three eight or six. Okay, yeah. What's the silk screen number on it? You above it? You two? Yeah. Yeah, that is. Uh, I don't. I can look up a seventy-four thirty-eight, but it is effectively being used as an inverter. Okay. All right. And what is the best way to check the high voltage other than using my tongue? Um, <laughs> a friend. It is a seven four L S O. Yeah. Um, uh, open collector. Yeah. Uh, the. Uh, uh, there is no safe way for you to do that without a specialized tool. Mm -hmm. You need a special. There's a specialized high voltage probe that is uh, looks a lot like your discharge tool. Yeah. You stick under the anode cap yeah. while it's running, and it'll right. Right. 
Uh, your multimeters will fry the moment you put them on that. Oh yeah, this yeah this doesn't uh, yeah. yeah. Can't. We need something that will safely handle like forty thousand volt. Uh, it's not quite that high. Probably about thirteen thousand. But yeah. Two twenty, two twenty one. <laughs> so I guess if you you know if you put your meter there and it explodes, then you know it is getting high voltage. Yeah, <laughs> is it high enough? Right. If well, it blows up, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it might not yeah. be high yeah. enough. That's right. You're about ten thousand volts shy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to measure yeah. how high the meter jumps up. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you put your multimeter there and it blows up, then uh, Bruce might recommend a Kiwi's multimeter to you. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll also recommend you don't do that again. <laughs> That's where I got it from Bruce. Before he got... Uh, don't bring me down! <laughs> <laughs> I and my the, and uh, nice. this... Um, okay, so the main... Obviously the main fuse is good, but otherwise we wouldn't be powering up wall here. Um, so hey Dave, I forget. Did did you determine it was actually booting last time, but just no video? It would actually boot up. I think you did like a boot. Yeah, it boots because you put you put the blue scuzzy on it. It it flashes and you and I can hear it when it goes from the rominator. It makes that little speaker pop, and that's yeah. when it's going to the blue scuzzy, and that's when it starts accessing the light. So yeah, it's it's running. Um, if I had that TTL board upgrade. Uh, we could put it on another monitor, and it would probably be well. It, it, well, it might not though, because if we got a prompt analog board, but but anyway. Uh, How easy is it to re test the resistance on the back of the the, uh, the 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 wheelie bob on the front? I'm not sure if those are accessible, very accessible. It's off the analog board, right? What's that? The brightness adjustment knob. I'm just trying it's to think of the simplest board. things. The yeah, wheelie bob. Yeah. Analog board out and just put the probe between any two points and sweep it. Yeah, give you an idea of the, the, uh, I'm just kind of trying to think of the simplest, simplest thing for the behavior, and especially considering the thing that changed is obviously he disassembled it and resoldered all the joints on the analog, on the analog board. So, you know, oh, disassemble like that. Reflow all the joints again, right? Reverse the process. <laughs> <laughs> you can never yeah. use enough flux. Yeah, oh, believe I used plenty on it. All right. Hey, Joe, instead of asking Google, I'm going to ask you. Um, <laughs> That's what the guys do <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, easier for everyone. he knows it'll be yeah. right. That's why he's asking you, Joe. What's <laughs> the best way to get a, um, like, make a CPM disk for the Apple III ADT? Uh, actually, it it depends. Do you have the tw a twenty six to twenty pin adapter ribbon cable for the um floppy drive? Uh, yeah, not yet. But I'm gonna okay. be making. If you have one of those, the easiest way would be to like just use a floppy EMU and tell the floppy drives to what what to go do with it. Um, but ADT, yeah, uh, you have to get the special version for, for um, obviously, for uh, SOS, which I think the ADT package comes with now. So if you just download the updated ADT, it'll be fine. Oh, cool. Um, and there is, again, there's a, you use, uh, I think, um, Open Apple Reset. Or control, there's a, an incantation on the Apple Tree that actually dumps you straight into the monitor. And you have to type a couple little things in there. Uh, to do the basic bootstrap. Okay, and that's, I mean, that's probably in the um, AP documentation. Yeah. Yep. So can, can you look it up and just read it off to me, please? No, just kidding. Talk <laughs> 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 like to that joint right there, that joint right there. Is that and then does, does the yeah, Apple III it. have... That yeah, this one right here? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah doesn't look like, I mean, sort of. that, that is not soldered real good. Yeah. Uh, oh, that guy. What does that connect to on the other side? It goes to a cap. Yeah, yeah, that can cause collapse, signal yep. collapse, if that's part of the problem. Well, uh, let's wait. fire up the old. Uh, well, it's not old, but the fire up the soldering iron. <laughs> Somebody was, uh, Tom. Were you asking something about ADT again? Um, sort of. Does the Apple Three have uh, like serial built into it, 
or do I need a um? Nope, it's need the card. Right on the back. It's the twenty-five pin port right on the back of it. Yeah, I have an opportunity, but I don't. Yeah, look behind it. Ah, you okay? Uh, just dropped the Mac Plus, but I'm yeah, I'm fine. Oh, uh oh, it's Mac Plus. More importantly, how's the Mac Plus? <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, those are my uh, questions. It's rusty. That's how it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, so it was okay to drop it. Gotcha. Yeah, this is one of the five dollar Mac Pluses. I want a five dollar Mac Plus. Mine was free. Actually, do I? I'm not sure. Maybe I don't. I don't know. You probably don't want this one. The, the chassis is just, like nasty. Chassis, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It seemed to run. I had to go with it. No, it's this good. motherboard doesn't look too bad, though, other than the back uh, metal RF thingy being, and the connectors are all yuck. But Oh, so it's for parts. Got it. Understood. <laughs> I'll put it in a box and send it right off to Joe's computer museum. No, I've got enough. <laughs> Dude, I have enough compact Macs right now to like start an army while using them as weapons. You need more. <laughs> Just put them on your fists and go punch. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try the motherboard in my it's getting setup. It's going to yelled at that like, I don't have any space down here. I mean, I feel bad. I, I told Ruby not to send me send me that K-Pro printer, and in the meantime, I have collected like nine more computers. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, room. hey no, Patrick. Room. You need to send your broken printer to Steve. Yeah. yeah I, I Steve thought. loves printers. Boy, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> he doesn't have a choice, apparently. Yeah, he he complains about printers, but he keeps buying printers. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> Must not buy printers. I mean, everyone needs something from the museum. Well, at VCF Midwest last year, he bought an Atari printer. That was way out of his normal. And stuff. it's in a box, and it's on the top shelf, and that's where it's sitting. Yep. And it will stay there. <laughs> Actually, I just about bought an Atari printer off yeah. Facebook Marketplace until I did a little research and realized... For the print wheel disintegrates after 35 years. Should imagine that. On what printer? What am I it's like it's an Atari printer. Oh. It used a, a rubber oh. print wheel that had the letters on it instead of like a, a dot matrix. And the, oh, yeah. the print wheel disintegrates after 35 years. And once it disintegrates, it's useless. No one I makes those print wheels. Well, Wait, not, not covered under warranty anymore, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but it I'm disintegrated. I managed, managed like to get... my room so I can't actually walk around in it. I put so much junk on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you, you've seen my clothes. I'll just hit all these. Soldered I've got a whole bunch of uh, negatives to to oh, develop from uh, uh, vacation, and I haven't touched them because I have to re-engineer this room for film developing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just thought it was because you've been awesome. working on a lot of computers, Eric. Well, I work on the computers because I'm already set up for that. Yeah. So I have to tear everything down and set back up again if I want to do uh, film. So it's like that's a day's worth of effort, basically. Yeah. Hey, have you guys ever seen a screen that looks like this? I guess you need to uh, change the video. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. on a TV. That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> My last black and white TV. <laughs> what is that? That's pretty good. What do you got hooked up to that? It's, it's a, a microscope. It's, it's a rusty at... uh, Mac Plus board. It's a microscope it's looking funny. at a shell. Oh, wow. Yeah, you've got major problems in... Everything. Mm. <laughs> <Does> it, <laughs> Joe, when you said, uh, when you said, no, Joe, he's talking it, about the Mac. <laughs> I think you were right. Oh, it's also making weird noises. It's like buzzing. Uh -oh. <laughs> so Great. it lights up and it buzzes. What more do you need? Well, the buzzing may be chatter coming out of the CRT generation because it doesn't look like it's getting proper uh, lock, basically. Uh, no, there's a, yeah, like a buzz here coming out of out of the speaker. 
Oh, great. Yeah. So that's just, yeah, that's just board noise. Um, that's awesome. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> a massive bus failure. For lack of a better way to put it. Adam, Thanks. look it up in Larry Pena's Dead Max Scroll. See what this says. It's bereft of life. <laughs> it's like an early version of Seema C Mac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to turn that off. It's pining for the fjords. My solution to this board is to just write bad on it and then move on. <laughs> well, I'm trying to put my printer back together, so. I could barely put the mouse connector on because the connector is so rusty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So it's easy to fix. Just replace everything with exact duplicate. Yes. Sounds like a good plan, Eric. Um, basically, I have a spare set of RAM, and I have a spare CPU and some some nice ROMs. Maybe I can put them in that 512. Oh, yeah. What's your wall? There's nothing wrong with the, the cleanliness of it, other than uh, the back is disgusting. Like the, the worst person ever to be like running a website. <laughs> <laughs> Details? What are those? I'm Can curious why. Now. I want to know why now. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you the worst? I just I'm bad. I'm just the worst at details or remembering what I'm doing. I get constantly distracted. So I'm sitting here trying to like like do orders on my website and I can't figure out like what is up and left. I just. I love it, <laughs> Joe. Course, can you dude, honestly, it's so, it's so true. So, honestly, Joe or yeah, Joe is incredibly intelligent, obviously. And it's like, I, I don't know. I work with so many people at Apple that would like like this. He's incredibly freaking intelligent, but then they were like quirky in these freaking hilarious ways, right? This is exactly it, Joe. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's a thing. I got two label makers, so I can have one that's always set to say bad and one that's always set to say good. <laughs> <laughs> bad. Do you get to trade them off so one can be good for a while? Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't feel bad? No. <laughs> okay. Hey, Dave, two of those uh, pads down there, down into the right a bit, looked close. Like they looked like. They might have been um, touching. Yeah, like they're ridged. Yeah. yeah are they, they are, okay, yeah. The one to the left is fine. The two yeah. to the right have the same pad underneath of it. Okay. And that's what I've had to do is I've had to take solder wick and just, and yeah, it's all one pad. And they, they were bridged from the factory like that. Okay, and same with the one that's at the top of the shot. Yeah. Yep, yep. Because I, I did, did that one and same thing. It's on the same freaking pad. Now the one to the right of it, upper right, that's that you see the uh, that that's got its own pad, and same way at that one on the very corner there. See like this one here. Here we go. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> and that's what I just. Uh, well, this one here. Let's see how this looks here. Come on, focus. There we go. You know, one nice thing about this little 4K camera, I'm like a, not even an inch away, and it's still foc it focuses. It's got a really like it's got a micro on it, so it's pretty cool. Or macro, I do say it. Yeah, actually, I like that. You have a 13, right? So I still have a 12. Welcome to the world of I found my thing. You found your thing? Yes. Um, package. We're happy for you. Oh, here's Trina. She's joining in. Hi, Trina. Trina! Trina! Hey, Trina. Uh, Hi, Trina. Hey. How you doing, Trina? Not too bad. I out that I got a second degree burn on my foot from last week. Oh, I know. You, oh, uh, no. oh, oh my goodness! Wow, it's painful looking. Yeah. Ah, it's not only painful looking; it's painful to walk on. I bet. I don't 
Well, everyone, everyone does work on pulling and getting muscle. You're a little muffled there. Yeah. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh, because I'm, I'm just using the internal speaker on my laptop. Or microphone. Yeah. That would probably be why. Well, I need to use my new label maker. Does does your label maker say good and bad? <laughs> it says that I whatever I want it to. Oh. This one it says USPS priority mail, so on and so forth. Oh yeah, I saw you finally picked up a uh, oh, a late, uh, shipping label printer. Yes. Uh, yeah, I had to get one of those. Saves me amounts and amounts of time. Yeah, they're not. Um, you can get them for not too bad. I mean, mine was at a hundred bucks for a decent one on Amazon. If just well, it's it's not the prettiest repair in the world, but I've got one of the caps repaired. Yay! Yay! Woo! Progress. Well, I just used a solder blob to connect the the cap to the trace. Because uh -oh. I can't get I could I a, woo! solder blob. Hey you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna um try to take the voltage out of my CRT here. Hopefully I don't die. Good luck. Dial don't use your time. I know your address, I'll call nine one one for you. I got you big, so we'll right. have documentation. Right. Oh, right. I got a I got a spark. That was cool. Did you okay. really? Cool. Yeah, your stuff. Is it plugged in? Yes, it is. I guess. Well, like I was saying, uh, he'd get a bigger spark if it was plugged in. Yeah. Well, you want it plugged in so that ground I, goes somewhere. Like I did the other day when I was yeah. searching it and it was plugged in. I'm like, oh, I got a fat spark. The cool thing about having the, the wing nuts to hold the CRT on is that I have an extra grounding point that I can use. That's very good. You can probably change those out pretty quick, too. Um, yeah, it's, I take the, the two cords out of the CRT and unscrew the wing nuts, and it's off. Nice. This is what I'm doing right now. i got to go get a, a better pliers, though. I'll be right back. Well, it took me forever, but I got the SD card soldered on. Now that he's gone, who's going to make the joke about Adam being a wingda? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you are. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> no, I love Adam. He's very good. Joe, did you resemble that remark? Dude. <laughs> you pick the insult and I resemble it. It's all good. Yeah. Sweetly. That's right. Yeah. I can't remember what it was, but somebody thought they were insulting me once, and I'm like, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like they called me a nerd or something. I don't know. So I, I resemble that remark. There you yep. go. That's right. You realize this is a bad insult, right? Hey, Joe, I've got extra wing nuts if you need any. <laughs> no, I, I do, do plenty. I have plenty. They're all in my head. They, <laughs> <laughs> they, right. they answer all of his questions. The thing is, I can, I can hear you even when I'm not in the room. Yeah, I have headphones on. <laughs> yeah, because you got those fancy wireless headphones there. Yeah. And, and my, yet my job there. actually paid for these. Oh. I said I need headphones to listen to conference calls while I'm on the road. And they said, we'll go pick some out. Nice. And I, I just expensed them. <laughs> okay, yeah, so well, I take the two wing nuts off. The, the cheap and ones I got at work. <laughs> Mine are better. The CRT just comes away. And then you just got to undo the cables. The last time I uh, had anything to do with wing nuts coming off, my dog was up for that. <laughs> <laughs> you had a doctor check it out? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, what? Okay, CRT out. Nice. Cool. So and I've got the, uh, another away. here. I'm using the high <laughs> wheats. Uh, so Trina, now you know where you can send your CRT tubes to to see if they're still good. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a test <laughs> you can start a new uh, service there, Adam. 
Yeah. Well, I told Joe on Facebook that I would send him this this rig if I was done fixing all mine. And you can send him to Joe. The thing is, Adam, we're <laughs> done. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh God. Plug us back in. See if there's been any improvement. Probably not. Dave, you can switch to your camera if you want. All right. <laughs> it's going to take me a minute to get this other CRT situated. Uh, a little bit too much. Oh, we heard it chime. Chime. What? It, it, it chimes, no problem. It's, it's getting the other end to cooperate. So. The other end, yeah. Hey, oh. I, I soldered on my SD card the first time without bridging. Nice. Very good. That's Yay. cool. It's only the third time I've done this. The SD card holder, not the SD card. Yeah. Is that the kid I sent you? If the bolt doesn't reach, just bend it. Bolt <laughs> bolt. That works on engine crankshafts too. <laughs> the tolerance on this setup is really tight because of the where the ears are. Oh, yeah. there we go. It's not exactly uh, precision engineer. I basically <laughs> built this by eye, so yeah. it's amazing it does anything at all. <laughs> wood, wood bends, wood bends, and like it's horrible and stuff. You just, just keep tightening. <laughs> <laughs> hey Joe, what color is the LED on the soft card? Colors the LED on the soft card. It is yeah, it's red. Can I change that for a different color? You can change that for any color you like. Just keep in mind that if you use gallium phosphide, I think that's what it is, the new like super bright LEDs, it might end up being too bright. Is it's the same like LED you use for the uh, LED brights, right? Yes. Okay. Good, because that, that I have those. I'm gonna make it. Yeah. So like, yeah. That that LED, the LED in the stop card is like, it's designed to run with a higher current because it's older. Um, if you run, that's why I like on the lead bright, the brighter ones like the blues, the purples, the lights, those run with like 2.2 K resistor. Because if you put a standard like dropper on that, like a 330, it will blast you out of the room into space. So well, the whole thing was blasting me out of the room. So oh, yeah, I had to do that. Uh, I yeah, want that version. That 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 the power. What is that? What is that yellow stuff on your board, Dave? I'm sorry, I talked over you, Trina. That there? That's the uh, old uh, pad, the sticky pad. For the, the sticks that uh, has that plastic cover that keeps it away from the circuit board. Oh, okay. I was yeah. like, is that corrosion or something? Like mold growing on it? Yeah. He, I know. He huh? hasn't licked it off yet. No. Haven't had time to. <laughs> oh, step two. This new label maker is awesome. Diodes. How did I lose this, this motherboard without, without getting up? <laughs> 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 That's that takes talent, Adam. Who are you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I heard I heard rumor that Joe was looking all over for that one SE board, and it miraculously showed up yeah. as ultrasonic. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> very, very. I just found two board. SE boards I didn't even know were in here, and I can't find the five twelve board I had before. Oh, that's oh, funny. So these are all the solder joints on the back of the flyback here. You know, I love those ones that are intentionally bridged. Yeah, I know. That's that's that is the crazy thing because you, you're I think thinking, oh, are, I got a bridge. And, yeah, and I think those are like that. It's kind of like the Apple II power supply design, where different components are slightly differently spaced. Yeah. yeah. So they give you both holes, like the the Rifa cap holes, give you two different layouts. Yeah. In case you have a different version of the yeah. component. Yep, and that's exactly oh, probably see. what they did for this in here. Now I, I was on one. Uh, uh, I have it downloaded on here. Um, it it's not 
the um, Dead Max scrolls. It's another one where he's actually documented problems with the 128, 512, and plus, which all the the components and things apply to all of them as far as the measurements and stuff like that. Yeah. And what he was saying on uh, one of them, what was it? Uh, that the he ha he lists the factory parts on it, and then he has the upgraded Apple factory parts oh list. The you know like if you're gonna uh, do an upgrade on it of all the components, and same way on the flyback, you've got one that, that standard one, and he's got one that's got the bleed resistor on it. Mm. And then they talked about doing the fan upgrade on it, shows you how to do that. And uh, I think I'll do that. It would be really easy to do on this. You just take some um, Velcro or double-sided tape, mount way up in the corner where the vent is, and you just run your two little 12-volt, uh, 12-volt, 5-volt wire down, depending how fast you want that fan to spin up. And all the new fans today, they don't, hardly, they don't use hardly any juice at all. So. Wrong. No. What's that? It's still not doing anything, Garth? Oh, no, I didn't fix it. Oh. <laughs> I've already confirmed that. <laughs> I already told you guys it wasn't going to work, but yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm putting it back together and yeah. But um, I'm, I'm realizing the hilariously, the more difficult thing is actually putting this back together. <laughs> you would imagine because, yeah. Hey, this random CRT that I found in a box, it works. Oh, good. And it, and it came out of a, a Mac that died in the 80s. So it has virtually no burn in at all that I can oh, detect. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice, nice. You have my shipping address. <laughs> <laughs> but Joe, you want the one that has that you can see the menu bar when it's off because that's hilarious. Yeah, that's that's what actually what I have in my test chassis. Because it's, of um, I don't care. Oh, the screen just went off though. That's weird. Maybe this is why it was broken. Right. Oh, now it's back on. It's back on now. Oh, it's back on now. Was this I, think, loose? I think the neck uh, connector was was loose. Yes. This one had no, actually didn't have one. I stole it from the other CRT that was good. Oh, okay. But I think I might leave it on this one because this one is awesome. Yeah. So looks... everything is awesome. How long do you think <laughs> it's going to be before oh, making... So Making computers that look like Brazil's, you know, the movie, because yeah. we've run out of parts. <laughs> well, I just made one. So. one of those, like, with a nice, huge Fresnel lens, I mean, right? you're right. still showing me, so to everybody at home, they could see. Nice. You know, if you if you put a hinge there, you could use it as a tilt. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tilt screen. There you go. You yeah. Could, yeah, for yeah. air or more security, you could put a couple of um, just pieces of uh, sheet metal with a couple of screws relatively loose down at the bottom, and it'll just, you can just swing them in to hold the, uh, right. hold the tube in place. Something like a with a yeah. hook on it, so you could just turn it so it would hook. Well, I thought about using hooks to hold it to the frame, but I wanted to be able to ground the uh, implosion ring, and you yeah. have to you have to have that rounded or you uh, yeah i just tightened that what i was just talking about Wasn't and that grounded. made the flickering stop yeah i saw yeah. it flicker so yeah if you don't have that there not only will it probably not work you can actually destroy the crt if you do it too long right yep but i'm i'm looking at this screen and normally you can see that little shadow of where the menu bar had been I see nothing of that it's awesome and the linearity is like perfect. It's and it's not all blown huge like people keep doing to their Macs. Yeah, Lots it's not. On it. It's not. It's. Let's see. It's very bright. If I turn oh, wow, it, the cool. knob all the way up. That's nice. Holy smokes. But uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of people build, rebuilding Macs, and they and they try to make this the the desktop build a whole CRT for some reason. Yeah. That's like just, a cell set. It's not an LCD. That, ah. like they don't understand. There's supposed to be a black border. Ow. And it, it's also supposed to be 72 pixels per inch. So Metal hot. Yeah, I'm done with Burn this one. Wanna... 
I'm gonna look at somebody else for a minute. Yeah, you want to see the nice white <laughs> skin on my pinky? What sure. Happened? Yes. Yes. Oh, there, let me zoom in on you here. There you go. Uh, you, Ooh. Yeah. Ah. A little yeah, warm there, really huh? I see it. Mm. T -t -t smells like, like shit. pinky. Yeah, it smells like pinky. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I said ow when I did that because it hurt. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I saw the video, the instructional video where, you know, they hold it by this metal. Or was that uh, stock images? I can't remember. That was stock images. Yep. That was probably the one, uh, the dangers of soldering that I threw up there on YouTube when Joe, Ron, and me were working yeah. on some stuff. And Ron kind of got a little too close to it. Yep. Yeah, I got the tip of it. Oh, that's going to hurt for a while. Oh, well. Not only that, it's going to leave a mark. Yeah, yeah it did leave oh, a mark. You were working in the blue skies. You can, you can uh, sue, sue Joe for that. Uh, well, no, I can't because I'm not. Oh, I Joe, is, that. Joe is smart. <laughs> Joe is very smart. He refers you to the blue scuzzy instructions, not his own. Yeah, oh, there well, you go. I think Steve put the picture for that. So, uh, so I need to, I need to sue Eric Helgeson. <laughs> as long as it's not me. I have two kits I got from Joe that he put the SD card on for me, but I have not finished them because I don't know where they are. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm very cheap, so I learned how to do the SD card. Well, yeah. The the first one I built, I screwed up, and then set it aside for a year, and then, you know, when uh, what was it Ron's stream where everybody was building blue scuzzies? Oh yeah, was that, that um, was, was that Steve's or? It might have been Steve's. I can't yeah. remember. I I um. That inspired me to pull it out and make it work. And lo and behold, it was. <laughs> All right, nice. He, he put his uh, resistor packs on backwards, I think. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> Twice. Twice. <laughs> what? And I've still done it. Don't worry about that. Yeah. That's what Funnily enough, only on his blue scuzzies and not the one he was building for Dave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine was fine. Yeah, Dave's the guy right here. Right there. Hey, look at that. It looks so nice and purdy in there. Yeah. yeah. And you got a nice over easy two board on it there. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Someone's I got, got his... a call. Brain pills. So, oh. right, time for pills. Hey, this Mac Plus that I, it's got rust in it. They've also given me a bonus of like a bunch of green goo inside the battery bay. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Oh, that's Send it to Steve. He you. likes that stuff. Even the speaker is corroded. <laughs> oh, cursed style runner printer. <laughs> Still no life in it, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to put it back together, remember? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to get a, a, vat, a vat of evapo rust to get the rust off this frame. This is horrible. Yeah. I ended up, you know, that uh, C64 uh, RF shield that I had it was all rusty. I soaked it in vinegar for 24 hours and then used uh, 1,200 grit sandpaper to take it off. You that can just throw those well. right away. You know how the anode cap on the CRT sort of collects dust a lot? Yeah. yeah. This one looks so bad that I would I would describe it as haunted. Ooh. Haunted. Hey. <laughs> start a fire if you fired it up? I have... I Actually, before I took open this, I, I turned it on and um, I got nothing except for weird noises and then that's the board that gave us that crazy pattern wow nope so i'm pretty sure the analog board in here is fried and all i don't know about is the crt but i don't even want to touch this it's disgusting i need a hazmat suit i think i'm going to move on to the next one <laughs> is it just dirt or is it like from smoking or just like being in a shop <laughs> like in a mechanic it's shop it's like Black, moldy-looking stuff, like combined yeah. with rust and and, yep. and death. It's like a death burger. I uh, <laughs> yeah. I put in a new. So a uh, Big Mac. I replaced the <laughs> Yeah, but they taste good. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Sure. I once replaced an optical drive for uh, yeah. a guy who owned a uh, auto repair place. 
So, of course, the computer was sitting out in the shop space where yep. everybody's working on the cars. Blackest thing I'd ever seen, you know. <laughs> and the optical drag just plain stopped working. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't we just swap out okay. another right. one just to see if it'll work? Oh. And, you know, it started working <laughs> again. Um, I took you know the, how there's silver paint on the inside of the Mac Plus case? It's like the RF shielding that they spray over the... Yeah. Um, it's like disintegrated, and it looks like there was a pool of, I don't know, Satan's vomit in here. <laughs> Satan's vomit. But it's got signatures inside, so maybe I could sell it to some sucker on eBay. <laughs> Rare, Steve Jobs. Rare, yeah, Rare. Steve Jobs actually signed this. This is Steve Jobs vomit. <laughs> that time they built Mac Pluses, and they all got sick. Okay, there's something wrong with this. It says Garth Beagle in here. <laughs> <laughs> I found Waz because he signed everything that ever existed. Still does. <laughs> oh, there's Steve Jobs, and his his signature is cut off by the uh, that's by the molding. Well, it's like S Steve Jobs. Yeah, on the uh, SE. Ironically, Waz's signature is cut off from the expansion port. Oh, that's fine. Waz is <laughs> that's on this one. Really funny. On this Mac Plus. All right, so. Uh, uh, this is definitely a parts machine. It's now. pretty though. It's amazing. If only it ran. But you know what? I actually think it is a mechanical issue because obviously it's not working. Uh, I will say that definitely fixing the capsule is necessary. I'm not sure I think this is. I think this is slightly yellowed. Slightly. <laughs> This is a platinum. This is a platinum 2E. Or, or yeah, it two was a platinum. Uh, Mac Plus. I was gonna say it looks like the uh, the walls inside the bathroom of my babysitter's uh, uh, trailer when I was uh, like eight years old back in 1988. Sounds like a bad memory, Jeff. <laughs> the front, the front and back of this are also two different colors. I think this front was a 128 or a 512. Because it, it's the style. But it didn't yellow at the same rate. So, you know, was that a paint color or was that due to chain smoking? Oh, wait, what? You said that that was the same color as your babysitter's bathroom? Yes. <laughs> was that because of chain smoking or paint color? Uh, yes. that, uh, choose your point. <laughs> <laughs> so they smoked and also, as you remember, ba basements were, or uh, basements, <laughs> we had wonderful colors for bathrooms back in the day and any other room. Yeah, Harvest gold. Yeah. Found another Mac Plus. It's got a floppy drive stuck in it. Floppy disk. Oh, I mean, not just I mean, any I color know. matches with avocado green fixtures. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's the color of the uh, our refrigerator when I was growing up. Avocado hey, the green, green in this battery bay matches the avocado fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I just realized I've been waiting for a package, and it was de supposedly delivered yesterday, and I'm about to go upstairs and go out on the front porch and see where the postal service... In your neighbor's uh, bush. Yes. <laughs> actually, yeah, actually, I probably am at the post on the Facebook group. Okay, I'm looking for a package that was supposedly delivered on my porch, but... I think it got delivered on someone else's porch, and it's probably small and tiny and going to be hard to find, and I don't know what it looks like. Sorry. Are your neighbors but, pretty good about helping out with that kind of thing? Yeah, they are. Uh, we're, we're, we're all in a... Uh, um, our carrier is still learning how to deliver mail area. Oh, wow. <laughs> so... so this Mac Plus has never been opened. It still has the programmer reset switch on the side. Let's see if it does anything. So I ordered a G4 Cube a couple of years ago, and usually, like UPS, and everyone's good about delivering packages to my house. Of course, this one it says delivered. I go out to my porch; it's not there. And then, like, I'm like, oh, maybe you know. Sometimes they scan them all before they start yeah. delivering them on the street or whatever. So I wait like 10 minutes, nothing. Then there's a knock on my door and I figure, oh, it's you know UPS. And it's my neighbor. And he's like, yeah, one of my buddies like 
three streets away got a phone or uh, called me and said that there's a package for you there. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, he's like I'll, you know, I'll go to pick it up and I'll, you know, bring it over. But yeah, just like, you know, um, it's heavy. So just, uh, you know, when you see my truck, go out and grab it. <laughs> so yeah, sure enough, five minutes later, he yeah, shows up with this box and it's like, but it's like, yeah, good thing, you know, both the dude that got the package was honest, happened to be friends with my, you know, with my neighbor. And then, yeah, my neighbor was honest too. Yep. And it's like, it's the one of the, it always happens with the packages you actually care about. Yeah, it's like I, stocks from Amazon. I don't care if those get lost. G4 yeah. Cube, I care. I ordered a uh, <laughs> Polaroid film from uh, PNH because I've got an FX70. And they delivered it, said it was delivered. I'm pretty sure they gave it to the wrong building where I'm at. And why would you keep something if you obviously can't use it? What's the odds of somebody else having a Polaroid SX-70 camera, right? Hmm. Yeah. Hey guys, I, I have a funny story about an Apple TC I sold recently that the uh, buyer on Twitter paid me by PayPal and didn't ever say anything about addresses. So I just used this shipping address in, in PayPal. Yeah. Turned out he hadn't lived there in two years. Oh, no. Oh, so FedEx delivered the box. And we're, I'm talking to the buyer, and it's like, oh, I guess that's gone. And apparently the the person who lived there was like, took them a day or two to open it. And they're like, oh, this must be the wrong thing. And they called FedEx and actually said, hey, where does this really go? And I was able to get FedEx to go get it and bring it to the guy in Cincinnati. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Wow. Like, yeah. I, n I never thought that guy would get that. I thought we were going to be filing a claim or, yeah. or whatever. Meanwhile. He got it. I, yeah. Meanwhile, um. And I know Joe has a similar story, but it's like I got a package that was delivered to my house, and it was a you know totally wrong address, yeah, yeah, a couple of you know a couple of blocks over. So I call UPS, and I'm like, and it took me so long to even get a hold of someone at UPS, so I could be like, hey, um, you guys delivered a package to my house that's not mm -hmm. mine. Can you pick it up and deliver it? And like, they just seemed so confused. Yeah. And I had to speak to like five different people. <laughs> like, like, okay, what's your phone number? We'll call you when you, you know, when that never you pick happened. it up. Like, yeah. And it's yeah. like, <laughs> it's like I don't even, I don't need a phone call when you pick it up. When it's gone, I know, I'll know it's picked up. I just want to give you guys a heads up that, like, it's yeah. not, you know, come get it. Yeah. That's yeah. like my so, wife. She ordered something. Here's what I think she it was off the of of UPS center and just like as it's a new package. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think they solved that problem. Because what, Joe, didn't you receive a package that wasn't yours a couple weeks yeah, ago, yeah. and they made it impossible to contact them? Oh, yeah, yeah. So they go on their website. <laughs> like customer service was closed for the day. Friday. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get hold of them. Until <laughs> and so then yeah. the chat thing, and they're like, "Chat today well, from this time that it's time." And it was open it was open time. I log in. I do the thing, and they're like, um, "There are no chat people available." Sorry. So then yeah. I that on, on Twitter. <laughs> that was just me being, you know, passing Were you sure on this item? Hey, real quick. Yeah. This Mac Plus that I pulled, uh, that I bought for five bucks, it had this disc stuck in it, right? Macintosh Utilities. Oh, nice. This computer booted from it. Yeah. And, I, and I'm betting the reason the disc was still in there is because the eject gear is broken. Mm. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, the computer booted, just... like, well, throw away this computer. It just nope. works. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go see if that package is on Sorry my porch interrupt. That just before that was it gets amazing. dark. All right. Because it's, uh, it's from someone, and I was hoping to ship it out to someone else on Monday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what just happened? one thing, by the way, if anybody pays you with PayPal, and they say send it to another address, don't. Because I've had this issue where I sent out a video card, and the guy said, send it to this address, not the one on PayPal. And then he filed a claim that he never got the package and I lost the money on a PayPal. Oh. Because it's not the same address as what's on PayPal's file. Yeah, you just ship it to the uh, verified address, yeah. Right. Oh, so you could just claim, oh, no, no, I shipped it to the wrong address. Whoops, yeah. 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 So just heads up on that. 
You guys know that the cleaning tool for your uh, Hacko desoldering gun also uh, manually ejects floppy disks from old Macs. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Use. Nice. 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 That would work perfectly, though. Hey, Adam, I just sent you a link on Facebook to Marketplace to somebody yeah. who's, uh, selling uh, for $25 or selling an app and a Mac Classic. Okay, let me take a look at that. Relatively <laughs> close. Hey, I'm picking up a uh, uh, oh, which Mac monitor? Not tomorrow for thirty bucks, and it, he showed it working. What nice. is it? Uh, it's like a thirteen inch. I got I got to look it up. I can't remember which one it is. Hang on. He oh, wanted a two hour drive. But. No, well, I'm going out that way. Micro Center is an hour and a half from me. And we were going to go anyway. So I'm like, ooh, I'll look to see if there's anything on Marketplace in that area. And sure enough. Oh, I can't look at my phone. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm using the phone as a camera. Steve sent that link, Adam. And he's like, okay. Joe, Apple IIc. And I'm like, I already have one. I don't need another one. <laughs> well, it says 25 bucks, but then it also says, don't know what it's worth. So... <laughs> Off from ten. I'll, well, I'll that means you might get it for less. Yeah, uh, twenty-five bucks now. It's worth five. Yeah. <laughs> just, send, just send Dave over, and he'll take his bicycle gang and go beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> it is a, yeah, the rough a, the rough streets of Sutter Creek. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> it's a thirteen-inch Macintosh color display, M twelve twelve. Okay. One of those. It's actually kind of cool. Those are nice little Trinitron tubes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he wanted. I think he listed it for sixty, dropped it to forty-five. I offered him twenty-five, and um, we ended up on thirty. So uh, yeah, the, only, the w definitely on those the uh, base can be brittle and stuff. The plastics in general too, but yeah. definitely the base because of the weight. But yeah, it's a nice display. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a cool little display. Yeah, he shows Dave. it working. Dave, um, you can take me off. Also, I'm going to be back in just okay. a few minutes. All right, okay. All right. I missed it. Which display is it? It is the, uh, the M1212. The M1212. 13-inch color. color display. He also has... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got um, a couple of those from a guy locally. And, yes, I mean, they are... They do just fall apart. Yeah, he said, you know, he's got lots of pictures of it. He says it's got a couple of, you know, dings in it, and it's dusty, but otherwise it's fine. Yeah. And the pictures, they, you know, it doesn't have torn off corners or anything. It doesn't look like it's cracked. So he, he shows it hooked up to a system working. And then he, he also offered me, he said, um, what did he say? Uh, what am I doing? He also had some other systems, but I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm a little tight. <laughs> Cash. <laughs> 660 AV. JXD. Quadra. White break. Lead break. And do, 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 extended yeah. keyboard too. Can you see? Can you see the back? The 660 AV. Uh, the he just on the back? sent me a single picture. Oh wait a minute, no. He has it listed in. Oh wait a minute. He sent me a listing on eBay and said it, it's this computer. And oh, these are the easy. prices that they're going for because he wanted me to make an offer. He didn't show me the picture of it. Yeah, was, yeah, right. well, probably because I told him, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. So I, I get downstairs and the first thing I hear Joe say is LED bright. And I'm now wondering, okay, Joe, you didn't make yet another design that I'm now going to feel compelled <laughs> to order, did you? Somebody ordered. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And, but they ordered the case, so now uh, I'm going to be spending the next uh, 26 hours printing, uh, printing stuff. So. Oh boy! Yay! They just, <laughs> they're yeah. huge and they take forever. Like they barely fits on my printer. Oh wow! Well, that's funny, Joe. I was actually seriously considering ordering one of those, but I was like, you know, I don't know. And I, I for some reason, I had a feeling it, it, it actually might be a print in the aspect printer. So I was like, I don't really want it because I kind of like the bare board showing and stuff. That's yeah. so funny. That's totally funny. It actually does. That's great. Yeah. I, actually, I, I might order some LED bright cases from you at some point, but 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to print it on my one of my printers. Oh, I want to get one in that platinum plastic, and I don't have platinum plastic. So, but I'm not ready to do that yet, Joe. So don't worry. What? You're you're talking about uh, shipping issues. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. My wife she ordered something on. Uh, it wasn't Amazon. It was some other. Oh, it was from uh, Walmart. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was uh, some uh, some vitamins or something. I don't know what it was. But anyway, so <clears throat> it said, okay, uh, it's supposed to be delivered today, right? So the day comes and goes, and then the next day she checks and says, yeah, it was delivered at your door. So we go out there, and we're, there's only two houses up on our road right here where we live, and we're one of the houses. And so anyway, uh, I said, well, there's, and we have a security camera, and I said, well, there's no package. So she you know, emailed the, the company and said, hey, it wasn't delivered. We, it was not here. So they said, well, let's do a trace. She says, yeah, the, the driver, he, he dropped it off. And at your front. Well, the next day I'm out there doing yard work and the neighbor down the road walks up and she goes, Hey, I found this in my garden and it's addressed to you as a package. It was the one that they said was delivered by FedEx guy. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, wasn't even at the right house. Wasn't even the right road. <laughs> all, all you had to do was say FedEx. Hey. Yep. My neighbor has a deck right over here, and Amazon loves to deliver stuff from my house to their deck. And then I'll get the picture, and I'll see the picture in my phone. I'm like, yep, that's next door. And I'm like, hey, can I come trespass on your property to get my crap? Oh, we took that inside. <laughs> we didn't know that wasn't ours. Read the freaking label. Yeah. What did they do with it? They threw it over the bush. What did they do? Just whatever. They opened it, and they ate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody ate my tasty uh, Polaroid film. It's, it's fun. I don't know if um, Amazon delivers to you guys. Like, when you when you order from Amazon, it's Amazon themselves that delivers. But then they take a picture of, like, the thing after they send it. And it's fun when you get the picture and you're like, "Those are, that's not my door. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. Like, walking around the neighborhood, like, comparing doors. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I love it when they say, "How'd we do?" <laughs> you How do you like this picture? Well, I guess it must have been on Friday. You were in a hurry to deliver. You just threw it in somebody's garden and took off. You know, yeah, said it was delivered. Yeah. Good. Good thing we know her. Otherwise, we would still be looking for it. Yeah. Do you have her PC or her uh, MacBook yet? Oh no, this is a different neighbor. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, actually, actually, that lady uh, passed away on uh, oh, Thursday night. I'm oh. sorry. Yeah, and so anyway, uh, oh, my wife was, and and so anyway, uh, my wife was over there, and she uh, you had to, she was a hospice and stuff. So, oh. but anyway, uh, yeah, it's still over there. Uh, I told Leslie, I said, hey, uh, tell Eric, uh, you know, I, 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 I want, let's get that MacBook. So she goes, well, I'll talk to him on Monday because there's nobody in the house. And actually, my wife's going to be kind of the caretaker of the house for a while because yeah. uh, he wanted to kind of keep her on payroll. I said, okay, well, that'd be an easy job. So, yeah, compared to what you had to deal with the last couple of years. So. so anyway, and she can just walk walk to work from here. So that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on a uh, UV, uh, UV cure solder mask delay right now. If anyone's wondering, does it play Jeopardy music? I wish your, it did. Your uh, UV light. Uh, it makes me want to do my nails. Actually, I need to rebrand it so that I don't feel <laughs> compelled to do my nails. <laughs> Is it working? Have you guys seen the Atari Twenty Six Hundred Lego set? No. No. Yes. I'm not a. I, I'm sorry. I've seen it, Joe. The Lego. I'm a big Lego guy. I bought the NES one. I might get that one too, but I just got the, the uh, Optimus Prime one. Oh, the Optimus Prime one. Oh. Nice. I never got into Legos. The kit is 2,530 Like, you could, like, find some way to shove some more stuff in there to make it exactly 2,600 pieces. 
<laughs> yeah, I built. Wait, how many? How many what was the number, Joe? Again, how close is it? Two thousand five hundred thirty-two. That could have been. I mean, oh, that that's out, right. It's like make it a couple blocks wider or, or longer. Like, so that's, a that's, just, that's a fail. That's a fail. I mean, at least the the um, Apollo moon landing Lego set they did make with one thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine pieces. So I know they can do cool, yeah, geeky yeah. things like that. Exactly. The cool guy was out that day. <laughs> the accountant who was trying to save on pieces was, was the one that designed that. Yeah, I built the, uh... I've altered the deal, pray I don't alter it further and reduce <laughs> yeah, right. even more pieces. Yeah, I built a Seinfeld Lego set a couple of years ago, and that was fun. Yeah. The Seinfeld apartment. Yeah, while I'm uh, uh, UV solder masking the LC repairs that are of dubious quality, I, uh, I'm i also uh, had to touch up the solder mask on another board I ultrasonically cleaned, but I've started to try to take apart the LC power supply I bought off eBay because instead of buying the wire to fix the LC power supply that I don't have a wire harness for. I just bought a whole nother power supply. So I'll be recapping it as, uh, but I thought I'd go at least go ahead and uh, try to get the board out so I can inspect it while I'm waiting for solder mask to cure. Yeah. Um, and a actually, the the package that was supposedly delivered yesterday is not the only one I've been waiting for. I'm still waiting on my Claris, the dog cow stickers for my. Uh, solder sucker, but oh well. Please. I know, I know. I Actually, uh, I think uh, um, Javier's got them on his 8 bit tease site now, so oh, nice. so I'm probably just going to order some of those and I'll then probably, of course, get the ones I ordered from the Netherlands. They'll probably come the day after I place that of order. Course. Of course. You guys ever see one of these? But yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cute. That looks really cute. Yeah, the screen works. It's about the size of my thumb. Actually, <laughs> there is a... I could little pipe joystick. another video to that. Actually, uh, one of my coworkers designed a pretty cool project that's on uh, um, uh, Hackaday. But it, it's uh, Simpsons TV. So it looks like the TV that was on The Simpsons. Oh, and, uh, and it, it plays the random episode, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's you know that guy. That's awesome. Oh, like a it miniature. Says the antenna on the top, like the yeah. Simpsons TV. Yep, <laughs> uh, it's like a miniature Simpsons TV. You three D print the case, and he's cool. got the parts and instructions to for the Raspberry Pi and the screen, and it's sized to fit a screen you can actually get. Because I think there's an older project to do it, but it used a screen that you can't get now. Oh, so okay. my coworker wanted to build one, so he actually went and. He found a screen that's still available and then uh, redrew the uh, the 3D plastic pieces to fit the new screen. Right. And yeah, if anyone's wondering about this power supply, oh yeah, leaking Where did caps. you get that at, Adam? Uh -oh. Is that from MacFX? Yeah, it's a MacFX mouse. Uh, cool. Yeah. It's green. It was nice with the Hulk and Tosh there. Yeah, he got me a uh, green programmer reset switch for the SE. 30 case. Oh, yes. seriously? Yep. Oh, cool. Cool. Hmm. I, I got what... a blue one. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I have a computer here, and I'm actually not sure what it is. It's a, it's a Performa 600, but everything I look up says that it's a 2VX or a 2VI. I see different spots, right? So which is which? So this has, it has an extra one megabyte of memory um, with the onboard four, so it's five megabytes. This is stock because it's two six on each one of these. That's and then... It's a 68030, 33 megahertz with no FBO. The the two VX and two VI is like a black hole in my memory for some reason. It's like computers that never existed. Like I know every Mac two, I know, and then there. every Quadra, and I don't know anything about that. All I know is it's in a like a 650 case. Yeah, and this but, is definitely one that has electrolytics too. You have to actually replace and stuff. And this one's just this one doesn't boot. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's the power supply or. Like the startup stuff if you look up the the part number, it should be like eight twenty whatever. It should tell you what Mac it is. 
I'm just saying it's curious. No, I'm just saying like I, I haven't dug that deeply, and that's that, that's the honest. It's not hard for you to look this up, but I just think it's kind of funny. Uh, the Mac Trapper app, you know, it actually thinks it's a 2VI, but other places you look online, like on every Mac, they say, no, 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 this is a 2VX. And there's a huge difference between them, right? You know what I mean? For various because of the stories and stuff. So I just think it's funny. I'm like, I still it out. I'm like, this is kind of funny. So anyway. I mean, what is the Sorry. difference between the two? I don't even know. Uh, it's confusing. So 2VI was only sold overseas, and it's basically a crippled version of 2CX. And really, 2C, um, 2CX, um, or I'm sorry, the 2V, 2VX wasn't a very good system anyway. And really, a uh, 2CI is better, right? In some ways, but yeah, it's it's just isn't, weird. Isn't the uh, uh, the 2VI the, the one that has uh, the 2VI has integrated graphics, hence the I, and the 2VX does not, hence the X. They both have integrated graphics. Oh, they so do. It's confusing. That, yeah, the 2CI and 2CX oh. have all that stuff too. But yeah. it's just well, weird. 2CX doesn't it's, have this graphics. Is a, to me, what really what this is, this is the very end of the 030 line, and this is Apple making obviously multimedia. They're marketing toward the home audience. This is a, literally a Performa 600, and what is and that? It's confusing because they cut the they cut this they cut the um the bus on the other system, the TVI in like in half, so it's 16 megahertz. What is what is all that empty spit like empty pads in the front there? Like, is that RAM is, or? Yeah. Uh, RAM yep, that's RAM. Hmm. Yeah, those this are RAM pads. Uh, RAM over here. Apple's anonymous says that's a nice 2VX Centrus PM 7100. <laughs> that's all of them yep. yeah it's, uh, well, you still have the pds socket you could put an 040 in there oh no no i'm just curious what it is it's just really funny i have a um i have a quadra or a uh, 2cx power supply jam in here to test it and i've never done this before so i need some spacing here to just that'll go. fit it'll be good enough it'll work fine <laughs> I sent a battery bombed uh, Centra 650 or Quadra 650 board to Steve. I think it was so bad that I, I can tell it was bad because he never shut it on his channel. Now I just need a um, new bezel for this Mac Plus because otherwise it seems like it's perfect. All right, here we go. Hmm. What's oh, wrong with the bezel on that, Adam? Has it got a crack in it? It's got a huge crack at the top left of the front bezel. Um, I, made, I made you big there so you can see. Oh, here, I'll show you. It's heavy. See that? Oh, yeah, wow. What, oh, that's, oh wow. that's a shame. Yeah, yeah but otherwise, it's in pretty good... I mean, it's yellow, but it's in pretty good shape. So. J.D. Well. <laughs> I'll just wait for another uh, super trash one to come along with a good bezel. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you Capel. can switch away from me now. I'm just making labels. I have to make one more complicated than good or bad. I have to write what's actually wrong with the thing. <laughs> well, you need a label maker. You need a label maker for every possible thing <laughs> that could go wrong with it. Yeah. Uh. It broke. And this is my label maker farm. <laughs> I have a room in the house dedicated to it. Yeah, this one just basically needs a new floppy drive. What's Joe building? I am for a customer building an Apple Universal RGB adapter. Look at him. I have one of those. Adam, those things are awesome. You. It shall return over these screws. Joe, I have the one that you built on stream. Yay! Is that the one I forgot to uh, solder the uh, something in and it didn't work the first time? I don't have it to show. Uh, no, it's the one that where you put one, something, some component in backwards. Oh, like, yeah. Um, but it still worked, and you're like, ah, whatever, and then you sent me that one. <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly who to annoy. <laughs> I think it works perfectly, though. It makes it so I can put... A yep. uh, 2GS monitor on my um, 2E all the time. Yep. All right. You can also, if you have a, any sort of other uh, system designed to convert uh, 2GS video to like HDMI or VGA or anything like that, you can use it in combination with that as well and get a really crystal clear, proper 
properly formatted and colored uh, RGB signal on your uh, Apple II, or if your Apple II has the RGB. Yeah, depending on if I finish this in time or not, by the time the stream ends, I might also be building one of those. I don't know. We got another seven hours, so probably got enough. Yeah. I don't know okay, if that's flux projects. residue. I don't know if that's flux residue or capacitor juice residue, but that just that look that looks a little bit of probably, that's probably a little bit Lick it. Hey, I found something uh, interesting in my pile of junk. Oh, yeah. I haven't worked on this yet. It's a Macintosh. That's it. Oh, oh nice. Macintosh. So oh. 128 or a plus or an upgrade to plus? It is a something not upgraded M0001. So that's gonna be an early one. I don't know if you're gonna sell one of those, even if the case is kind of yellowed. I, I'm interested. Oh looky. What's in the battery is still in there. Oh no. This is, no, this is hilarious. Somebody put clear tape over the batter end of the battery. Was it left it in there? So there's like a very slight hint. I actually just rubbed off with my finger of green. Why is that still? Why is that in there? They say there's they're... engraving on the back, right under where it says Macintosh. It says KI forty five five four nine six. I don't know what that means. Who said they want one of these? Me, me. Okay. Like, yeah. Let me plug it in. Let's see if it works. What is it? Well, first, I've, power test. I've jokingly wanted one, but about the only thing I want to do with it is show how limited it was. So I don't really need one. And hey, look That's at that. Power. Power. I'll, I'll Power's let, up. I'll let Garth do that for me. Yeah, there's right. one at a. Uh... You need to have one of these. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. Go ahead. Oh, I was done. I was, I'll let Garth. Uh, yeah. I'll let Garth test how limited a Mac 128 is for me. Oh, let's so see yeah. if it's really a 128 still. Put it, it, it on. Oh, boot the OS, and you can say 128. Yep. That's Just it. put it on a shelf and ignore it. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> might have upgraded this. Let's find out. I'm gonna put I know, OS really, this is like shelf on it. fodder, unfortunately. But yep. I don't like stuff that's broken. I like to fix it. So the boot system 3.3 so and see what happens. It's booting. I'll be darned. Yeah. Yep. So, what's, so Adam, what size hard drive did that one have? How many gigabytes? What? Funny. How many terabytes? <laughs> there is a floppy board? disk in the drive, but it's ejected. Let's see. About the finder. Oh. Oh, it's 5.12. Somebody upgraded to 5.12. Fat Mac. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, Fat Mac. So it's only slightly more useful. <laughs> Let me see if the floppy drive works. Yeah, you keep that one, Adam. <laughs> okay. Back to the consideration. But hold on, honestly, why not? I mean, it's a good system, I'm sure, right? What's funny is that board I have that they soldered the, the, um, the socket to the original ceramic oh. CPU to add the 2 meg card. That's a real 128 board with 128K <laughs> still on it. But it has a 68 pin header basically soldered over the CPU. So it's, it's almost original, but hey, look, oh, the floppy oh, drive mounts. It's original again. I got two floppy, floppy drives. drives. That's a real question. It's this floppy disk is Mac Write and Mac Paint. I love it. Oh, cool. Let's see if hey, the eject Joe, works. I got a question for you. Someone yelling my name? What? Yeah, the, the jumper pins that go on the. Uh, Blue SCSI. Yeah. Do the do the long leads go up? And um, the short I ones go up? Matter. I usually do the long leads up because it it seems to work better. Ah, I was gonna say it grips better. Yeah. Eject works. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Oh, that's a four hundred K drive in there though, still mm -hmm. though. Oh wow, seriously? Yeah, actually I need that. I would that's that's probably gonna get ripped out of there and go right into Lisa. I and mean, Lisa's 400k drive is nice. jacked. So it is useful. Yeah. Well, if I find a 128 board that hasn't 
Then, well, I'm going to open this up and see if it's really a 128 board. Maybe I can downgrade it. <laughs> Good idea. Maybe it's got a nice CPU on it, too. The nice uh, old one. Let's find Ooh, out here. Maybe it's, got a, <clears throat> maybe it's got a 6810 in it. And, uh... this, was a, this was a local... Um, like, I go on Facebook Marketplace every once in a while. Instead of just buying stuff that's there, I'll put an ad that says, Hey, I'm looking for beige apple stuff. Oh, I've done that, too. I don't and this get is one of those. This is $25. I got to go get my Torx driver from upstairs. I'll be right back. Uh, I've tried that too, yeah. but I've never when I, gotten a bite. When, when, I, when I got my very first uh, 128K Mac, that's when they first started selling them. I got it back in 84. Uh, and anyway, um, I, then, that, then they uh, before they even came out with the 512, there was an article, I believe it was Dr. 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 Jobs. Dobbs. Do is it Dobbs? There you go. Dr. Dobbs. Yeah. And he goes, how to I'm fatten your Mac. Yep. And so what my father-in-law me did, because he worked at Lockheed at the time, and he worked on the big back systems and stuff. And So anyway, that's what we did. We went to Quint Electronics, got the chips, and desoldered the... 128 at the 512 minute, and it worked fine, so it was a fat Mac. And then, nice. not even a month after we did that, then Apple came out with the 512 fat Mac. You could take your, your board in, and it'll give you an upgrade and call right. it the 512E. So, yeah. Well, you got new ROMs in, you got a 800K drive, too. And they basically made your uh, $1,000 eBay sale into a $200 eBay sale. <laughs> <laughs> See, Justin, this is what you need if you're going to open up an SE. Yeah, I got yeah. I, I to gotta order one. Is that a T15? Um, yeah, I don't it's remember. T, it's T15. Yeah, probably. Um, by the way, your, your SE will be there early next week. Awesome, like, thank you. Like this one here too, Justin, right here. See, nice uh, Actually, we can't see because Adam's full screen. Well, his his is more exciting, but here. Let's yes, see. yes, that is. So it. here we go. This this is this is the uh, long one right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, T fifteen. Yeah. 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 Mine's from the original Apple service kit from the eighties. I still I hung on to it. Dave has one right from the factory floor. Yep. Uh, yeah, one of my patients uh, at work. Uh, he used to work in the Fremont facility assembly plant. And he put together many 128s, 512s, pluses, yeah. and uh, SEs. I don't think this Mac's ever been opened. Did he get a nice, this satisfying? One had to be, this one had to be mine. open when they upgraded it. But damn, I cannot get this cover off. I got a SE a few months or a couple of years ago, I guess now, that it had like a nice, satisfying click with the Torx when I went to for it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a. Signing into Amazon now so I can add one of those to my cart so I don't forget to order it. Hold on, let me make you an Amazon affiliate link and buy it for me. Yeah. Done. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I, I, I would still have to sign into Amazon, Joe, because uh, Amazon, I wasn't signed in. So I make, sure you, make sure you use Amazon Smile. <laughs> if you don't use Joe's link, I'll give you one. <laughs> <laughs> all the screws out. This must have been fairly early because all the screws are black. They changed the inner ones to silver later on. Alright. Yep. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Space gift to do. Use the That's weight. Actually a good time that hasn't been opened. Yeah. Although it must yeah. have been, right? Yeah. I mean, Wow. Yeah, four. I see a 400k drive. Let me pull it back up on the desk so you can see. Uh. It's Mac archaeology. It's very clean in there. Um, 400k drive. It's an Aztec power supply, which is early. They switched to crappier stuff later. Let me pull it. Connectors. You know what I really like about the Mac, the first Macs before the SE? Is that stupid speaker cable is not yeah. in here. Yes. yes. I know. Yeah. Oh, all right. What do we got here? Oh, something weird on here. 
it's not, it's not ceramic, but it's a, it's an original 128 only board, and they have they have put a little circuit board on there to deal with the more RAM. Oh yeah, and then looks like somebody very nicely soldered in Fairchild um, RAMs. They're uh, 81256s. Huh. Like they even cleaned up their flux. Huh. But, so it, for a 128 upgraded, it's actually done pretty right, well. Take, you know what? I'll, I changed my mind, Adam. I'll take it. Just send me, uh, send it to me right now. <laughs> yeah. There's no corrosion on this at all. That's it's nice. A, it's a copyright 83 board. It's one of the old, old, old one, yeah. The, the originals. Yep. So where'd you get this one from? This was uh, five bucks. Uh, nice. Local guy. Oh, I'm cleaning out my garage. I saw your ad about um, wanting beige Mac stuff. So <laughs> I got this. You're the uh, only person I know that's picked up something that way. I got a Quadra 700 that way, too. Jeez. Oh, about the best I do is I find ads where someone dumps a whole bunch of electronics. Yeah. And, of course, they know that they have three good items among all the rest of their junk. Yeah. So the first picture <laughs> is the three beige computers that everyone would be interested in. But their <laughs> ad clearly says, we are only selling as a lot. You'd better be prepared to buy everything. $2,500. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, yeah. This, um... This that little add add -on is still card. up. This little oh, add-on card here it says on the, uh, That's the one you posted on Discord, I think, a while ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is, and that I posted it when I saw it. And yeah, it's still well, up. That I'm guy. Yeah, I'm tempted. No. Yeah, I'm tempted to actually send him a message that says, "When you decide that you would will part this out, I would like to buy the three beige computers." <laughs> He'll Along probably with the block five hundred messages. You know, the best thing I ever ran into in the last couple of years was there was a guy in Allentown, PA, who said, I am being kicked out of this uh, storage facility. I need you to come buy all of this stuff. Oh. <laughs> and there was pictures, and it was like 7600s and um, like 7100s, and then there was one or two looking older Macs or whatever. And he only wanted $250. For all oh, this stuff, wow. and there was something like in the pictures. There was like eight or eight or nine max, and so I flew over to I flew over to Philly. I rented a truck and I drove to where he was at, and and I I paid him like I'm like I'll come get it tomorrow. I'll pay you now. Apparently he turned down had to turn down a bunch of other people in the meantime. I showed up at like nine a.m. I couldn't fit all the stuff in the truck that I rented. It was wow. It, it turned out to be 47 Macs and like 16 monitors. For and 250 there was, bucks? Yeah. He just was adamant that it all get removed from this place because he was yeah. going to get fined or something or I don't know. Um, I ended up not being able to fit all of it, but I got like in the pile, there was a 20th anniversary Mac. There Jeez. was uh, aluminum iMacs. There was and then everything down to a Mac Plus. Um, I still yeah. have, and a lot of it was boxed too. Like I have boxed 7,500, 7,600s, 8,600s. Um, that I haven't even got to. The, they, this all, all this, the entire truckload went directly to storage. I actually got a new storage unit just to have some place to put the whole thing. And but I <laughs> added on. up all the math. <laughs> all the math I added up later was that if you if you calculate what I spent and how much each Mac was worth, they were all five dollars and fifty cents a piece. And that doesn't include the monitors and the keyboards and all the other stuff. Beautiful. There's like scuzzy right. scanners. I mean, it's insane. Can do Thirty dollars for love. Wow! All I know is I paid 250 bucks for a 20th anniversary Mac, and I got 47 Macs free. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's, That's a awesome. once in a lifetime deal. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, everybody was mad. They're like, "How did you get that?" I'm like, "I just paid the guy straight out. I'm like 250 bucks. Okay, I might lose 250 bucks, but on the other hand, yeah, I ended up with an awesome." crap ton of stuff and i've been still i still haven't gone through all of it i mean there's graphite g4s there's um like box apple multi-scan 17 monitors i mean all, all kinds of stuff and i had to leave behind i don't know four or five monitors because i just could not figure out how to squeeze them into that vehicle yeah hey, but, do you mind if i send retro the, the invite yeah go ahead cool. that's fine you guys ever seen this little weird 
this little weird board on here. It says it says Apollo. There's a chip on it. And there's um seventy four eight S two fifty three. I think that's a memory controller. It must it must, it must tell this. RAM, right? Yeah, because this doesn't have the stuff where you would add uh, components to do 512 because it's too early. So this must, it has four resistors on it, kind of like that, the hybrid board. So that must be what it's for. Somebody just invented this and then they they soldered it in where it looks like a resistor pack used to be. Huh. Yeah, good job. But otherwise, it's, it's totally says, stuck. They have the same bit on their board, too. What if one cool. multiplexer? Oh, yeah. Retro Techie says he has that exact okay. same board on his 128K. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, then he has 512K. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. So Retro Techie's 128K original isn't really a 128K. Look at That's that. Right. right. I just so I'm not sure what to do with this machine. I really don't need another 128. Sell it. Um, well, it's not really a 128 anymore, though. It's a fat Mac. It is very nice, though. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll come across another 128 board in a in a junker, and then I can make a real 128. Yeah, I would hold on to it honestly, especially if the board's that that early and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it sucks it's that, that it got upgraded. Can... I don't blame the person who upgraded it though, because these were basically unusable as they were. Yeah, yeah. I remember helping a technician when I was in college <laughs> yes, upgrade a whole bunch of them in the lab. <laughs> You know, or you just had to slide out the yeah. logic board, slide another one in. Hey, Steve. Welcome. Hey, Steve. You guys can take me off the main okay. camera. All right. <laughs> I sent you a link, Steve. You want to join? And I sent you the link as well, RetroTech, if you want to join. Hey, Steve, what sweet hell this is, is I got to I gotta work in Mac. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to work in Mac. Yeah. No, I'm really, I'm really happy that it has the 400k drive in there because the, the everybody always took those out. I have a 400k external. So do I. I have a lot of 400k external shells because I've stolen the mechanisms out of them to fix 128s. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. So it turns out the uh, the issue of the uh, the former 600 is the logic board it will not turn <laughs> on with a known good power supply so there you go that sucks no it's actually good actually, i'm glad it's not the power supply because if it's a, it just needs recapping the thing's gummed up with nasty caps so yeah. look how little the rf shield is on the on that 128 it's yeah. just like it's like from the outside makes it look like there's an rf shield and it's like fooled ya. yeah does that one so that one have the little paper sheet too mm -hmm. thing no this is the whole thing that's the inside mm -hmm. view of it it just has a little bit of, of non-conductive whatever. So they went, they changed it. So it like, where, I don't know where I put the other one, but it covers the whole motherboard on the later ones. You know, I have a Mac that, or a Mac that was a 128K that was upgraded. And the shield is exactly the same. It's just like a short one. Yeah. I have one other issue I just discovered is that the mouse connector is missing its little uh, screw lugs. Oh no! We're everywhere. <laughs> Throw it away. Of them. Would you like ten thousand of them? It's defective. Throw you know that Mac Plus that I said was bad. Oh looky, it has those thingies on it. <laughs> I'll steal them from there. So Steve is using an excuse. Uh, he has company over here, but he can't join. Uh, like why, are you, why are you? <laughs> <laughs> he has company. Company yeah. over. We're his. We're his friends. Yeah, we're his real friends. Yeah. I thought everybody mm -hmm. Steve knew would have already been on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Almost well, so, and his wife knows. <laughs> I have company over. I'm sitting on my couch surfing YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Steve knows other know. people. He knows Mike and Sean. Oh, that's I fair. Wanna, I, I, I sent a link to Mike. Um, I want to know who, <laughs> who was the wise guy who left this Energizer battery in and put 
put tape, tape over the end, oh, over great. the positive end. Like, what, they wanted it to look nice, but because they, they knew it would leak, or I don't get it. <laughs> Did they use captain tape? No, nah, it just looks like scotch tape, like cello tape. tape. By the way, this ruddy captain tape's gotten all dried out. <laughs> this case needs some, some serious retrobread on the back, though. It's like, it's like there. can you see the shadow of whatever yeah. window it was near? Yeah. <laughs> And then there's some engraving on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. Does it come out of a school, it looks like. It says Steve Jobs. It says Rare. Steve Jobs on the inside. On the inside, yeah. Rare. <laughs> rare. Like Steve Jobs Steve. rare. It's so rare. It's by Steve Jobs before he signed it. That's right. Yeah. You know, have you guys been using the Sample 88 Flux? Yep. No. Yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not cool enough to be able to buy it yet. Although it's not I, I, well, I, didn't, I didn't have any tacky <laughs> blocks. So I went ahead and bought some. It's not bad. Of course, I've never used any other tacky flux. So what do I know? This uh, this Mac 128 is missing two feet on the bottom. I guess I better just throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> I want the feet from that prototype that Steve showed. What's that? Adam? Did you guys see this prototype that Steve had on his channel? Yeah. I, 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 I can't say it out loud. I can't talk about it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. yeah. The one he had on his stream. Yeah, we can't say anything about it. <laughs> you mean that time when... <laughs> you know, where he showed all the cool stuff and the things. Uh, and, and he was producing a video at the same time, too, which is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, but he posted pictures of it on Twitter, so... Yeah, he did. Yeah. Is it really secret? I don't know. If I'm making a, a boo-boo, then sorry. <laughs> well, he's not here to correct you, so his loss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's on the stream, but... Yeah. Or he's on the chat, but that doesn't count, does it? <laughs> <laughs> he said... Steve, Steve, yeah. you, you're going to have to kick that company out, because... Uh, what does you know, mean? You know what? Uh, we, we might have to break your record tonight. So yeah, I don't know. Break all your, your stream record. About all your secrets too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we said it's finally told. It's it's fine. It's totally fine to talk about now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, he posted a picture of the bezel on on Twitter just today. So. Well, so he has a um, a video coming out tomorrow yeah. that yeah, he tomorrow. talked about it more. Okay. Uh, anyway, no. I, was I, was say, I hope there's pictures of the uh, Dremeling or whatever they used for it because it looks really good. Oh, um, let me send you a thing, Garth. There's already pictures, all right. It's See, a, I, can't, uh, you know, I can't do, secret, I just, but... I'm hey, all so I was going to say was that I wish I had the like, feet so, from that thing. I'm yeah, so the feet is cool. Oh, here's Retro Techie. Stream there up. he is. Yay. Hey. Uh, time to leave. <laughs> 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 the stream is part of the chip now. <laughs> Very nice. He says the dual floppy Mac will be out tomorrow. All right. Cool. All right. So, Garth, I posted a picture of the inside of it um, in the uh, in the Streamyard chat. Yep. It's Dremel. So yeah, it, very it's very done. clean though. Like it's super straight. <clears throat> I, I I gotta say I'm not trying to you know. What is it? Uh, it looks really good. Burst on yeah. balloon or something. <laughs> toot my own horn. Yeah. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I, I cut a slot in my Color Classic mod I did way back in the day with my G4 Cuba put into it, and for the, an optical drive, an, a slot of drive. It was pretty clean. Um, but it, yeah, the trick is you get the you got to get the Dremel tool doesn't cut; it melts. <laughs> it melts yeah. the plastic as you go. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Did you put a paper clip in it too? Yeah. Color Classic. Yeah. Ah, uh, never mind. I get the joke. Uh, I I I used uh, on my uh, Frank and Mac when I widened the floppy drive slot to accommodate the um, uh, optical drive. I used a combination of uh, an exacto knife, uh, some jeweler's files, and a cutting cut off bit on a Dremel. So. I was thinking about doing that, that optical drive mod, but I have a uh, trashed Mac Classic. I was going to put it Mac Mini in and then put an optical drive in where the yeah. floppy goes. 
Yeah, just get those little Apple external super drives. They they work so perfectly on it. I see we have a two in one special here with us. It looks like Retro Techie, but the name says Mac eighty four. <laughs> Do you guys know you guys th this piece the the battery cover? Uh huh. Yeah. See what the tab here where you where you push to open. Yeah. I have one of these where the first time I ever pushed it, it just snapped. Really? Huh. Do you think any kind of glue would ever fix that, or should I just give up? Um, don't you use um, tape, Captain Tape? <laughs> Use some acetone. <laughs> I'm getting. Acetone I actually use Captain Tape to fix the. Uh, you, the you, I was gonna say, Adam, you could probably do some acetone because that's ABS yeah. plastic, and just, just, melt just together. thermally weld it back together, chemically weld it back together. Yeah. Good and as new. Good as new. And then if that doesn't work, then just then use like a soldering iron, and just kind of little piece, If you got some broken pieces of plastic, just kind of graph onto it, and it should be be good. Oh, Retro Techie, there's someone here who wants to say hi. Go ahead. <laughs> hi, Retro Techie. I recognize that voice from a long time ago. Yeah. Just a couple it's days. Life. It's been years. <laughs> I know. I missed you so much. I bet you did. It sounds sober. I am sober. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a drink. <laughs> All right. I hardly recognize the voice. <laughs> now, right. for anyone watching me put these memory chips on, I do not know if what I am doing is going to work. That is oh, why I am trying isn't it. Isn't that true of everyone on this stream? It's called yeah, fly by the seat of your pants, Justin. I know what I'm doing. Uh, except Joe, of course, Joe knows. Joe that. knows what's going on. I say yeah. this stuff. I don't know what I'm doing for when I'm not on a stream. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, Adam. Very good. <laughs> well, Adam, I'm actually in the same boat. And it's like I'm just gonna put those casts back in the board. It's just gonna work, and you know, and no. <laughs> I'd be, I'd never be streaming if I did that. I mean, it seemed a shame to have these extra memory pads on the the LC motherboard that were empty. So. Oh, you're going to try to fill them? I'm going to try to fill them and see what happens. I yeah. think. Uh, yeah, like, board that doesn't already boot with their. Has I think you need something beyond more just the RAM now. You need. You need. Um, I think there's an extra memory controller chip that's missing. Find a little logic thing too, right? Bus controller something. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't know how to. It doesn't know how to address it unless you do certain things. I mean, the ROM might automatically find it by some chance if they populated the board with the right stuff. I don't know if he's missing anything. Actually, look. Well, I might have to look at the schematic. What is this? Uh, I will say, other than the chips, I don't see any other missing parts. Uh -oh. I, I actually see there's like a missing transistor on mine, but I don't think that's... Oh, on the other side, I didn't look at that. <laughs> hey, you guys see this Mac? Yes. All right. It's missing something. Display. It's got a oh. mouse. It's got, it's got HP mice in it. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> your problem. Throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that in there? Back of the CRT too. You know. Oh, the CRT. You need that. Man. Starbuck Tech says your mic is too low, Eric. I'm you know what? There's, sorry. There's a frame in here. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. There's a frame and a floppy drive in here. Is but this otherwise, better? It's empty, but look, it's another, it's another 128. It's a zero K. There, oh. There's your 128, Garth. <laughs> he knows what I want. It's a zero K. Yeah. There's nothing in it. You so want, you want, board, a, you want an original. Board. Yeah. I think the, I just need a board the, to put in it. I think the noise canceling stuff on this mic is canceling out the uh, fan I have going because it's stupid hot in this room. Oh, you know what it says inside here? Steve Jobs rare. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that? Yeah. Ultra rare. Was right. was here. Was was here. Hey, look, a previous me was nice to new me and left the bag of screws and the knob. Nice. This is a case I retrobrited a long time ago. 
and I didn't have guts for it. What did? To put it back together? What do you mean the guts? The guts to do what? We had to do like when I with first it. got this, it had a cracked CRT, and um, it, it was all rusted out and destroyed. But it was a 128 case, so I just fixed it up as nice as I could, and set it aside. And now it's the future where I found it again. That's always good when you can go into the future. Yeah, and I like when, when uh, me from the past puts the screws in a baggie inside the machine that I'm never going to find the screws for otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Me, you from the very, very far past reminded yourself to do that. <laughs> yeah. See, what me in the past does is I put a bunch of screws in cups labeled, you know, case, outside, hard drive, motherboard. I have no idea what these screws are. But I, I have them whenever I find the computer. Well, Tough. that'll never happen. <laughs> so my favorite thing is whenever I'm working on the board, I take one of these suckers off, and I'm just like, I'll just put it somewhere. Yeah. And then later on, I'm like, wait, what does that go to? And why is it? <laughs> yeah, I've got a whole collection of them here. My I Nobody know. knows. I just found an Apple CC motherboard that's good, though. And then I end up knocking the cups over, and then everything is gone. Just well, I... I still haven't found the original screws for the Franklin Ace 1000's power supply, but I did I did figure out what screws there were, and I went to the hardware store and bought some, which normally would mean then five minutes later after getting home I'm going to find the screws, but I haven't yet. Of course. You know that protocol for uh, screws, right? You lose the first ones, get new ones, and then you find the first ones. And now you yeah, of course, now I don't remember what I did with the bag of the extra new ones that I bought. Otherwise, I'd tell everyone what, what the screw size is. Oh, well. Hey, I have this really dumb idea. I have this, this Apple IIc memory card. And yeah, somebody took, they took all of the capacitors off of it. And some other stuff, too, right? Wow. Uh, there's one resistor and, and 18 capacitors. Here's my stupid idea. I have this Apple IIc motherboard that's trash am i being really super cheap if i go in here next to these mt ram chips and steal the caps off of here no well, uh, <laughs> so how much work is that though yeah exactly i don't know i got a hacko and i could do take them off and there's five minutes a surface mount or through hole a through hole oh okay <laughs> That's yeah, not too bad. Kind of yeah. okay. I mean, it, I don't know. Maybe not so horrible, but yeah. They're just axial it, caps. I tell you this: it's a it's a hilarious story because <laughs> the reason why somebody stole the caps off that board, maybe they were repairing an Apple IIc board that someone else has stole the caps off of it. Maybe this is the one I left in the in the um, <laughs> the ultrasonic way too long, and all of the silk screen sort of melted and floated off. Like none of it makes sense anymore. See see that. Yes, I see. Oh, it. <laughs> did you use Joe's um, uh, cleaner? Uh, no, I was just trying to emulate Joe, and yeah, I did a really it good runs job for a week, right? <laughs> yeah, it was the the cleaner was actually outside in the sun on for like four days. Oh wow, what? I forgot about it. So yeah. you retrobrighted it for four days. Yeah, I retrobrighted my motherboard. It. Yeah, it's it's super awesome. But so far, all the chips I've stolen off here work. Just the board itself is is yeah. like delaminated. <laughs> oh, because the sun heated it up and separated yeah, what's, the layers. What's funny is this board is from '83, same year as that that Mac. Oh. But look at the, the tasty Apple branded MT RAM chips. Mm. Oh, well, yeah. So yeah, they you work know, because they that's Apple. funny. This is a great story. I love it. Just so throw them away. I want to take those little yellow caps along there, right? Which are. are part of the RAM circuit, and I want to put them in this card. See all those empty spots? Are you probably using the card with that capacitor in it? Yes, it doesn't work. Oh. Mm. <laughs> What's so, the other chip that's missing? missing there's no chips resistor? missing. It's missing one resistor, and I already had somebody on the, on the Apple II group tell me that whatever is in R5 is what goes in R4. And I'm sure that I can. Well, I just found it. The same, the same resistor is on here next to the RAM. 
on this uh, t this broken two C board, so I can steal that too. Do that first. I'll try that. And that whole and that board isn't even popular with all this RAM either. No, it's only got a 256k on it. It needs uh, three more banks of 256 to be a megabyte. <laughs> I can desolder all these uh, MT4264s and mail them to you, Joe, if you want. <laughs> 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 they have apples on them. They're rare. Rare. So, I'm one of these. If they oh. work. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Anybody oh, see uh, Adrian's Digital Basement episode that I think came out today? Oh, the, the Commodore 61? Yeah, he was repairing a Commodore 64 that you get. he was getting an out of memory error on power up. So he pulls yeah, he the had board MC open. Rim. <laughs> yeah. Four MT RAM and four NEC chips. First diagnostic he runs tells him that two of the NEC chips are bad. And uh, then he uh, runs dead test and it tells him that one of the MT RAM chips is dead. And right. he's like, I think I'm going to trust dead test this time. And he replaces right. that one chip and it worked. Right. It's like, oh, there's two NECs and an MT. <laughs> Which one am I going to swap? try first? Uh, yeah, the MT. And it worked the first try. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up hey, a, you can uh, take me off the camera. I have to step away from the camera okay. for a sec. All right. Ow. I picked up a Apple II memory uh, expansion board at a uh, flea market a few months ago. And the guy was like, yeah, I think the rare might be bad. And I looked and it's like, they're all empty chips. It's like, yep, probably. Luckily, <laughs> it, was like five, it, was, it was five bucks, so I ordered uh, new memory for it. I just have to desolder and resolder and all. So by visual inspection, you determined the chips were bad. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really good at that. Oh, let's see. Huh. That's bad. The time it's taken me to build, a, or build this blue SCSI, Eric would have built 12 of them. So, uh, Mac 84, what are you working on? <laughs> <laughs> I got a. I don't oh, want to what? swear because. Oh it's my not... gosh, weird. That was, it's you. I thought it was Steve. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, honestly, I was confused, Jim, because your name says Mac 84 down there. It's Steve's son. <laughs> wow. That's right. I'm much younger than he is. Mac 42. I got some I weird, know. weird <laughs> stuff today. Mac I got some like, weird, weird gaming stuff, like odd, odd stuff. Oh my god, that's awesome! This is a video game. <laughs> it's obviously for the Wii. Oh, that's the good. That's the uh, the game. It's uh, yeah. That's one of those family clones. I love that thing. <laughs> yeah, so I got a bunch of Japanese. The penguin kind of looked like Tux. And Mexican stuff. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awesome. So this, I know I'm confused as much as you are, Star Trek. Very confused. Pretty cool. Yeah. What is what, so? What is that a player for? What are the cartridges? Just some weird. Okay. Wow. Just totally. Just that one cartridge. So it's okay. they're Famicom cartridges, pretty much. And yeah, okay. what they are, they're a they're an NES on a chip. So basically. China or you know whatever reverse engineered the and the whole NES board and they basically put it on like an epoxy blob. Yep. So <laughs> all of those um, you can get those like you know 501 video games or whatever from AliExpress and it's basically an NES on an epoxy an blob. Nintendo 64, right there you got there. Hold on, retro tech. That's a Nintendo 64 and also a, a, a Genesis, all in one. And Computer. a gun. <laughs> okay, I didn't, okay, I didn't notice that part. Yeah, okay, but it looks like it's a like just, a forty-five, not a light gun. It's just pirated, uh, you know, all these pirated games: so Mario, yeah, you know, Zelda, pirate. This, I mean, it, totally it legally up. licensed. Right. I learned recently from our, our recent um, Mac eighty-four video that, well, 
Okay, I'm confused a little bit because I know it was you that did it because I can recognize your voice. Obviously me. But anyway, but it was a Mac 84 yeah. video. They talked about a 991 one, you know, game in one cartridge. Nine, there. nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. Apparently, apparently most of it was nothing but Mario. memory <laughs> offsets of one byte for each. Right. It's obviously me. Yeah, try to find a good one, but uh, these are only half the games that I picked up. I think this one acts like a computer. Weird. Why? In what sense? It boots, and then it has like, uh, what is it, Minesweeper, as one of the games. Like, you <laughs> move like a cursor with your control. So it's a pad. Windows ninety five computer. You have a twenty inch yeah. iMac on G four behind you. I have two of them. What? He has a Tam also, which is what I'm really oh, jealous of. I see that, yeah. And then I also see his broken face I, plates. The Quadra yeah, Forty Eight. Have you ever noticed every perfectly. time? Every time you look at an 8100, an 840, an 800, a 9500, or an 8500 case, the face plates are always broken or taped on or something. There's a replacement. Yeah. Why is that? Spindler. 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 We all say that, but is that true? What, what is yeah. Spindler? Really yeah. Sorry. You're the one that worked for Apple. You should know. It's true. Why? Who's Spindler? No, seriously, I don't know. That, that wasn't in Garth's department. <laughs> oh. Was he a Mac designer or something? No, he was a CEO of Apple. Was like, <laughs> oh, his whole ma mantra was like, cut all the costs. Oh, him. I just didn't yeah. recognize the name. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Before yeah, so they call it uh, Spindler plastic. Is that era of plastic that you I look at it, it funny and it falls I apart? Got it. Although okay. I'm not sure Emilio was much better because I think his mantra was also cut all the costs. Isn't that every CEO ever, really, when you get down to it? Uh, well, cut all the costs to call him, be damned, I guess is the uh, uh, Yeah. Look at all you enterprising people. You're actually doing things. I feel bad. Oh, you were doing a lot of stuff, Garth. You know, when Steve Jobs came back, they said, oh, let's build this new iMac. It'll be awesome. We'll use this great polycarbonate plastic that's that's translucent and neat looking. But we need to build a frame for the inside of the thing to, you know, to be behind the, the translucent plastic. Well, we got plenty of this platinum garbage plastic left. Let's just use that to make the frame because nobody will ever have to open one of these up because, you know, the analog board and the CRT will last forever. Right. Garbage. You can't open an iMac and not ruin it. What does that say? Ricochet Ghostbusters? It's Ghostbusters. Is that for the, the Commodore 64 128? Nice. What is that a cassette tape? Okay. Yeah. So those who those are in spectrum. the those who are either watching or in the chat or in the video, of course, who of you have actually loaded a computer program from an actual cassette tape back in the day to actually be able to play and use it? I did. I did. My first I computer my was cassette only. How about you, Joe? You too? Yeah. yeah I had a TI-99-4A. Yeah. What about computer, you, Dave? No, Dave, you were all floppy disk back then. Sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, no, they had tape drives, too. That was like on a Commodore 64 and before that. <laughs> so it's funny. I, see, yeah. I feel super young then because I, I never actually did that back in the day. Like, you're like, you're like your Tandy, your uh, Radio Shack Tandy computers. A lot of them had the tape drive on them. Dave, or, uh, Adam, I have a, like a whole selection of those. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I have a bunch. They all work, too. <laughs> I tried them out the other day. I bought one time. I got that Bell & Howell cassette deck, and I hooked it up to the Bell & Howell, and I loaded all five of these tapes that I have here, all the original Apple ones. They all still work. Nice. I don't have a proper reader or a I played. Deck or a, yeah. I played a whole bunch of crappy tapes on it before I trusted it with the original tapes. Hey Garth, you have yes. your Mac Plus handy? Yes, handy-ish. <laughs> need to. Load you, this. you still ha you have it open, or you have it all screwed together? It's screwed together, but I can certainly open it when you do. Does that say Adam? That looks totally jit. <laughs> what is that? It's <laughs> very well, faded and moldy. Floppy disk. It's funny. It looks like someone drew it on there. I know. <laughs> right? It says "Getting Down to Basic." <laughs> it's from an Apple IIc C uh, starter pack. That's li that's later than the one I owned. You can barely barely read it. 
but somebody wrote on here simple. Hey, you you want to? Somebody want to send a Starbucks take a link so he can hop on. We're gonna end up running out of uh, spots. Yeah, I think you only get one more. We have eight. Well, that's what Steve gets for snoozing. You guys want to see something nine. that looks that looks nine. really cool? Is uh, this Mac SE thirty board? See how shiny it is. That looks looks like it's got like cat juice on it. I don't know. Looks like it's been varnished. Yeah, it's <laughs> going shellac. Uh, you guys were making fun of Joe and his and his cleaner <laughs> before, but this is what Joe's work looks like. This thing looks like perfect. Oh he, my he gosh! Works. He recapped oh. this for me. Hey, hey Joe, I'm a... sorry. So Joe, I'm literally setting my 575 boards. I have I have two of them. Like, look at They're how broken. good the connectors look. The connectors look like brand new. I know it's brand new. Wow. So, does he have a team Joby of Joby squirrels that lick them clean or something? <laughs> 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 I mean, seriously, these boards. I already know what's wrong with them. I mean, it's the freaking CPU socket and. Uh, I found a new way to clean boards, though. If you don't want to put them in a the cleaner, is this color coral junk? I don't yeah, know if you guys have seen that. Yeah, you showed us a couple streams ago. That's pretty neat oh, stuff, yeah, the, actually. My, I, the, I used that on my Franklin Ace motherboard where it was dusty in the back. It looks great yeah. now. It That works great. So I wonder if you could heat it up too. and let it flow and then peel it off. No, you just sort of I'm roll kidding. it over... You roll it around like a big booger. So it didn't leave any uh, residue behind. Hey, Joe. No residue. No, it's so like so Garth. Yeah. So so I have I have a question on one of these uh, solder joints here, and that's why I was wondering if you had your Mac Plus uh, the, the case off of it. You can check it. Because I want my question is, if this one, I'll point to it here. If this one here, let me get the doodad back here. If, if that there is supposed to be connected, let's see, I see a solder mask there. And I know that there looked like there used to be some solder masks there, but it's all one big connector. So I just want to confirm that, that these two belong together now and separated. Hey, man, if I can open up the, my case here for you and check that, that'd be super cool because I have literally nothing to do right now. I'm really seeing all my, all my things I'm doing right now, they're all crashing and burning really bad because your cursed streams. <laughs> I'm going to start changing this. this. Although Adam's the the cursed this, stream. There you go. I like yeah, that. I found a, a, like a totally trashed common. Mac Plus, but I got four computers working already. Yeah, I told you. Adam's doing great. but So yeah, Tom's he's, finishing up. Tom's doing something. Oh, Tom's on like, you know, retro or well, I, I built the um, the soft card, and I don't have a way to test it right now. It looks, it looks good, at least. Well, I haven't burnt any more traces off the board, knock on wood. That's good. Hey, you guys hey. think I should I should make a, like a zip drive video or something? <laughs> if, you do, if you do a Firewire um, floppy disk. I like the Japanese one. I have two Firewire and two whatever. Scuzzy. That might need to be a two-parter there, the Adam. Streams. Yeah. <laughs> it is like, yeah. don't curse the stream. That's great. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> What'll happen? Um, I don't know. The worst thing that happen is things don't work or they blow up. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to do a zip drive stream and I'm going to do one. I have to rebuild this or, Apple II. It's like a real Apple II. Remember Scotty? No bloody A, B, C, or D. Yeah. 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 No says. computer. Computer. So, you have to tell I'm, you this, this ship was traveling by the vibration in the deck plates. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's green. Okay. It feels like <laughs> ants crawling over my body. <laughs> anyway, I've got all the parts rebuilt. For that original Apple II, it's serial number twelve thousand, I think. So I thought I'd do that live at one point. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it's twelve six oh four. I don't know if you can see that. 
<laughs> the battery in my multimeter is dying. That's hilarious. I have too okay. much light. So, Dave, you ready? Yeah. All right. You have to so, look, back so and give me some reference point to look at my. Board. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, lay it on its side there. So make you make you go big. All right. So I love how Steve says that. He's like, make, make me go big. Big of fun. Okay. <laughs> That's so, what she said. all right. So your reference is the speaker here. Okay. Yep. And then you're gonna go up. Uh, right from from the speaker right here. That's a Mac Plus analog board. Yeah. So the second chunk of uh, three is on top of the. Yeah. Okay. Which yeah, one are you looking I, at? The left and the middle one. Uh, it'd be the one off toward the left. There's a hole right here. That's that one screw to adjust the uh, the thingamajig. So. Thingamajig. I think it's actually connected. It's supposed to be connected. Thingamajig. All, all, th <laughs> all, all three of them <laughs> supposed to be connected. Don't well, get too issues. technical. Uh, actually, that's that not seem right. No. No. So these two are supposed to be separated, ah. right? Okay. So. Yeah. So your two on the. Let me triple check. Move your button. Move your knife nice there. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So the. Um, Let me make you big. Hold on. All right. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Mac plus. Macintosh plus. Okay. <laughs> show you. Hey, Garth, can I have that bezel? <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? So here's the yeah. here's the ones that, that uh, let's get this all set up right. Hold on, we gotta get the camera just right. We can do it. We it looks separate to me. All right, here we go. Yeah, they're separate. Oh. All right. Boom. Okay, you ready? So yeah, is this one connected to this one? Right. It is. This one connected to this one. No. No, it is actually. What? How are they all connected? <laughs> That's stupid. Why are they all connected? That component must connected. be bridging them. They're connected. But okay, the solder is so not touching on any of those. Sure. Right? It's, it's all the same trace. No, it's connected to a uh, separate chip. There's resistors across the board. So there's like resistors. It's a capacitor, and then there's the capacitor on this end here, I believe. And then these are resistors, mm -hmm. and they're all connected. You can kind of see Capacitator. jam this with like a thousand milligrams of light behind it, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Between these guys, right? See these traces here? Right. So is there, there's a trace going up there between those three spots, though, right? That's what it looks like to me. Between them, yeah. There's a. There's so they're all between. common. There's. Well, there's resistors. Are the bottom one's a capacitor, this one's a capacitor, and these two are resistors. Right, but those three going up are all common together. They are, like the the trace goes through all three of them. Yep. So, yeah, yeah, that's 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 what I was yeah that's what I was getting at. Oh, the so very they're... top trace, you mean? Like here? Like, yeah. Those three, those three you're pointing at now, those are all common together, right? I don't think there's a common trace between them. I can see on this side of the Like, road. it looks like it goes through them, like, top to Actually, bottom you know what? to me. It is. Yep. Yeah, it's just all one trace. Because that's what it looked like when you sh shone the light behind it. It looked yeah. like there's just an up-down trace that goes through all three. So if you just solder them all together, that's probably fine. Yeah. That's why I just hold, double... They, wait, so hold on. Are, are yours all connected, though, or are they not? Because that might be the problem. Uh, well, this... Well, I, I removed some solder. Here, I'll show you. Get you should do a continuity test to see if they're yeah. they're all common. So right here, yeah, that's, that's the one you're looking at right there. So, so you have no solder yeah, on so that left one. Well, I, I took it off because I wanted to okay. see if the, there's just a, it's a big pad there. But on Garth's board, it looks like those three those three in a row there should all be uh, common. They should all be touching. Yeah. Whether there's solder between them or not, I think there's straight, there's a trace there, right? Let me uh, let me do continuity. See if I get the same thing Garth did on his. So, yeah. Gonna pull out your Kaiwitz KM six hundred one. I am <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and you can get your Kaiwitz on uh, Bruce Brankus Creations. There he sells them. So there you go. Fully featured meter. Very good. Right. That's okay. All right. hey, Adam, <laughs> Jeremy has a way to fix that board. Your your fancy 128 upgraded to 512K that you were supposed to get to me, but you said you wouldn't because 
It's not a 128, but. And no, yes, I, I get continuity on all three of those just like you do on yours, Garth. Okay. Yeah, I think Perfect. if you solder that, you're probably fine. Yeah. What did you say about my 128? <laughs> look at that. Look hey, at that. Jeremy's saying that. See, he actually, he said it a couple times. He, he knows how to fix it, which is pretty cool. Well, the 128 Some doesn't have a, a broken bezel. It's the Mac Plus that has the broken bezel. Um, I forgot what I was doing. I hate it when that happens. Where am I? I mean, I'm not sure if it's worth trying to repair that bezel because that thing is so yellowed and, and moldy that. Man. I'll uh, send it to you on Twitter, Starbuck. If it was a 128 or a 512 bezel, then yes, but no. Wow. All right. I have what could be the world's first LC with eight memory chips on it. Neato. Yeah, does it work? <laughs> I, got, I got to put the rest of the cap the capacitors on it before I can test it. Capacitors. I want to know why there was two HP mice inside my my Mac shell. They were they were making a third. Maybe I could make that Mac Plus case with the smashed bezel into a, a nice Macintosh trash can, and I don't have to go out and buy a Mac Pro. Hey Garth, you know what you can buy from me is this uh, graphite studio display. <laughs> Why you don't like it? I'm not sure what to do with it now because I really like the 20 inch. Uh, Are you on uh, Twitter, display. Starbuck? Hey Dave, can you change it back to everybody? Yeah, hold on a second. Does anybody want to watch me pack up about 158 LEDs? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Garth, I'm talking about this. Ah, no, Ooh. no, no, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you should Look, hold on to that. Honestly, that's pretty special, I would say. Yeah, this was actually something I that. was looking for forever, and I only found one out of total luck. Sell it to nice. me. Hold on to that. Nice. I would love to get the original version of the um, the one like you have, the 20 the twenty inch one. This is 22. With DVI, which is the Tasman, it's the first, literally the first LCD display I worked on Apple. And they gave me the, the reason why I got my first office was because of that freaking project because it was too secret. It can't be in the hallway. My manager's like, "I'll get you an office." I was like, "How?" And it's like, oh, yeah. sh "I'll do it." And he went to talk to my manager. He's like, "His manager." He's like, "This has been only been there for like a year and a half." It's like he needs an office. He's working on this secret project. He's got to have his own office. And yeah, it was yeah. awesome. And I got the Tasman display with it, the DVI. What's the secret that, project? Was that plastic or was it aluminum? Uh, it was I don't a know plastic what one. It was the first plastic one with 1624 by, um, uh, geez, I'm sorry, 1600 by 1080? Oh, 1024. 1050? 1680 by 1024. Yeah, was that, it, was, uh, it, looked like, it looked like mine, but it was DVI? Yes. What was, what was my DVI and has a weird cable with a breakout like circle thing with a, like a power brick on the side to give it power. Uh, you mean like this this uh right it's literally that that's literally that only it's for the uh, 22 inch one yes okay well i like the i mean i, I like it and so, never honestly, wanted to get... hold on to that because that's pretty rare okay i never wanted to get the um the adc version of that 20 inch monitor because I'm like well it'll work on a g4 but eh, i want to use another stuff and then this guy had it for 20 dollars and he had the the DVI brick thing that sells for more than that by itself. So I'm like, yeah, I got to get that. So the Mac mini is way happier with uh, um, 20 inch than this 15 because it's on OS 10. It's silly to run it with this resolution. All right. I'll put it in the storage shelf, Garth, just for you. You, know, you should just hold on to it, honestly. This is like a, this is like a, it's like a rare thing. It's funny because I actually had one of those for so many years in my office because it was a good reference monitor. It was a very good first generation DVI display. And not not crazy stupid like the um, Tasman was. The Tasman was a trickery of you know timing and stuff. But was that the first monitor Apple ever made that was DVI? Uh yes. Digital DVI, yes. Because I had the the blueberry monitor previously and i thought it sucked the scaling and it was just 
horrendous. I told you about that, right? It's amazing. I I fully agree with you. Okay, it turns I out to you, you start about on Twitter. If you plug that way. into a, a Mac with ADB with the correct the correct software for the video card, you will get UI interface stuff <laughs> for the display, which corrects the the goofy, horrible scaling stuff, and actually looks not too bad. But you got to have the right Damn. software and the right video card. I can't use it with my. I have a 9200 LE in my um, Blue Point G3, and the software just doesn't work with it. It doesn't recognize it. So I have to put in my whatever. I put in one for my point twenty eight that like calibrate the displays and stuff. It's like my hokey uh, tool. Your discharge tool looks good. Yeah, it's a screwdriver with some uh, Romex, half of Romex wrapped around it, there and, you a, go. and a piece of um, like piece of copper thing. on the end. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but I live in Jersey. There's no no electrical tape. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Hope your plastic you candles are insulated good enough. There you go. Well, I did once because I used it on the stream already. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just put an alligator clip <laughs> to the chassis and one on the screwdriver. Works is fine. Since I have a um, a wing nut, all I had to do was bend the cable on the end and it just screw it under the wing nut. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, so I will solder those back. So I will solder those back together. Then that, that was my question. So I will continue look, looking for things here, Garth. That might have to. Joe's down there ready. making Joe's making puka shell necklaces or something. Truth. I'm gonna go. Uh, truth. I'm gonna go grab ah, a snack. My bird works. <laughs> you know, grab a snack there. Yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs get a snack. And, okay. Uh, we'll see you in a minute. Yeah. You should eat some apples. Hey yo. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I like this time. Hey yo. <laughs> I'm gonna be so you guys know the bit. difference between a, a Lisa 400k floppy drive and a Mac 400k floppy drive? Uh, uh, are they the same? I'm sure you know. There. I'm, well, I'm seeing if any of you know. Oh no, it costs I a lot more. I've it's never seen a Lisa, Lisa in, in person, so I don't know. No, they're actually both the same exact mechanism and mm -hmm. everything, except there's a one ROM change in the in the board. On a Mac, what it's supposed to do when you shut down is it's supposed to reject the disk. Uh -huh. And on a Lisa, it does not on purpose. Oh, interesting. So if you have a, if you put a Mac one in a, in a Lisa and then you go to shut it down, it'll eject it. And because it's not really done shutting down, it'll be like, ah, the drive, it, the disk is gone and freaks out. Oh, okay. Well, these LED pins are awfully darn close. To the uh, programming set. Yeah, I haven't put go. together hey, one. Hey, Starbuck, how you doing, everybody? Is that Joe's fault? How's it going, guys? Hey, Starbuck. Oh, yeah. the way the board's <laughs> laid out. Yeah, I haven't actually soldered mine together yet. Of the new version with the side SD card. Starbuck Tech, is that you? Good to meet it you. Is. That is hey, me. Hey, Starbuck Tech, Hello. how you doing? So you have PCs or something, some heinous, <laughs> horrible thing you're going to introduce to our pure, pure, well, pure I'm not working on anything. Way. I just wanted to come in and say hi, basically. I have a PC thing. It's a, a HP mouse. <laughs> okay. have HP Adam's, mouse. Adam's poor Mac was infected with two HP mice. Yeah, normally when I get Macs with mice in them, it's like there's urine and feces, but this time it was just HP. <laughs> I don't know why those were in there. I have a few. I have a few screens here. That's the Mac right there. That's the Mac Mini, PC, work machine, yeah. server. You ever heard of a KVM? Um, <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like those. See, I got okay. one, two, and then two more back over there keyboards. I've got a total. Yeah, know what's going on at all times. Um. Yeah. You know what's funny? I've, I've literally, I've got to say something. I've literally never used a computer with two displays at once for my normal workflow of daily setup. And it's so common now, and it's hilarious. I've literally never done it. Even, even I used now, to have four right? on my main system. Right, I know. It's like, it's funny, but I thought I've, even this stupid setup, well, this is the stupid setup I got right now, but I just don't do it even my other ones. So, yeah. Hey, Garth, right. I ran into a bunch of like free cinema display 24 inches, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to set up like multiple monitors on my, on my Mac, and I'll. It drove me crazy after like a week. I'm like, 
I don't need all what I don't know what this is all for. I had I use multiple desktops and I I like I got rid of all of them. I got a twenty seven inch thunderbolt and I'm like this one screen is fine. And yeah, so all all the cinema displays went away. I want to have definitely a second display when I'm doing streaming stuff because it's it's obviously very useful to be able to give a very you know separate sec you know display and yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. But you can, honestly, Retro Techie, <laughs> Justin, Joe, obviously Trina and Tom know a lot more about this. Yeah, I so have two monitors for streaming. One of I them I got either. from I got one from Amazon Warehouse. I just I don't know how I managed to snag it before someone else did, but it was like thirty seven dollars. Two monitors. Wow. Uh marked down <laughs> Joe's and, like I got seventeen monitors. So hold on, Justin. Was this some sort of like like uh like a a, 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 a royal like what's that called what's it called? The royal fights. What's it called? The big fighting anyway. You were the last man standing to be able to get this monitor at that price. Is that true? Apparently so. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I saw it. It was like actually it might have been a little cheaper than that. But yeah, it's got some dead pixels, but I don't care because I've splashed solder towards it. So yeah, if I destroy it streaming, well, I'm only I was only out like thirty bucks or right. thirty five bucks. Hey Dave, I gotta sign yeah. off. Hi. So I have to eat dinner and I really should shower. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, if you have fellow vision. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, stopping by, Eric. We really appreciate it. And if you are still going later on down the road, does room hop back in? Okay. Okay. So I got All right. this mostly assembled. So All a right. little bit more work to do. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Thanks. All right, Eric. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah. So for on uh, PCs for years, I always used like two or three monitors, but Macs, I just don't like how they handle multiple monitors because I use multiple virtual desktops on it. So like I have an iMac for work, and when I had a PC for work, I had three monitors and I use them all the time. The mm -hmm. iMac, I just have the iMac. Same with at home, I've got the uh, the Mac Studio, and I just have one monitor. Yeah, it, was, it really shocked me with the Macs. Like, I have the uh, M1 Mac Mini, and you can only hook up two external displays. In this day and age where, you know, like, PCs can hold up to four or whatever, um, with the Mac Mini, they limited it to just two. It's, it's crazy. But it's you fine. Can, I have them, you can I have daisy chain sometimes with Thunderbolt. I tried, I so much, but it's honestly, all I love, it supports. I love so much about Apple. It's like every time they come up with something new, and it's amazing. But you know what? All you got is this one thing now, and you gotta have that crippling thing. It's like there's many other aspects that are like amazing, but nah, you can only have like one mouse button now for a little while. Yeah. Uh, well, the oops. second mouse button, and then a second generation. I like when the next yeah. studio came out, and everybody's like, Apple put ports on the front of their computer. Oh, it never happened before. Like, I'm looking at it like a blue and white G3, and I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the other thing that, that um, is crazy is when you start the Mac right? Mini, when you stack the monitors, you cannot get the bar. Like if you have dual monitors on a on a on a Mac and have them side by side, you get you know the the, um, the bar will go with it. You know the so when you have the, the monitor on the top, you can't get the actual icon bar, the whatever you, whatever you call it there. I forget what it's called off the top of my head, but Doc, you know, Doc, thank you, brain fart. Um, the dock <laughs> won't. The dock doesn't go to the top screen for whatever reason. You can change the main monitor, and it's like Windows uh, XP, where you have one primary monitor and one secondary. Mm -hmm. So you can tell which one gets the menu bar, which one gets the, um, you know, the main stuff. And you can actually, in, in the monitor's control panel, you can drag just the menu bar to the monitor you want. Well, I know that, but I'm, what I'm saying is, like, with the um, when they're side by side, if you go, if you switch monitors, the dock follows. Um, so if I click yes, on something, so the dock up, yep, it'll, it'll bring the dock to that display. But if you have them stacked, it doesn't do that. Uh, and I use one screen, and then I just use Control and the left, right arrow keys yep. to have like six desktops on the same monitor. Yeah, I yeah. do that. Actually, I do that when I sometimes when I have just one monitor on the Mac. Sometimes I uh, I steal it for Raspberry Pi or something. I would never be able to do that. I am so forgetful. I'd be like, I have other, I have other desktops. I would lose, like, crack that. It would just disappear. 
onto other, uh, other desktops and be like, huh? What? I think of them like workspaces. Like I have a screw around with YouTube space, and then I have an email and shipping space, and then I have a workspace, and then I have one that's just iTunes and music space. So I can just go to the, the, the desktop that has just that stuff on it and not have to worry about like my email being in the background or whatever. Yep. Joe, are you building an Atari thing? No. But I can't. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Did you see that? That yeah. would be awesome. Is that a hey, spoiler? Joe, is there any way you can cycle those colors? But yeah, M dash one dot com. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there right now, right there, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't have any stock on the board, so you can't buy it. But... Yeah. <laughs> no, I think you meant, can you, like, do color-changing LEDs? Tom knows whatever. Yeah. Put a, put a <laughs> Arduino in there or something. Well, know, like, that's a lot of work. I'm sure. No. It, yeah. Come on. I thought that it. <laughs> oh, that's weird. It didn't mess. Yeah. Come All on. Right, well, I feel weird. I'm not working on anything. And looking at start a uh, Ruchitecki and I'm so oh Ruchitecki oh that's weird your name a few moments ago was just Mac eighty four <clears throat> yeah we're we're bro well he's a father figure to me really I know the <laughs> I know the moment's gone but I misplaced it on my shelf maternal uh, sort of what happened Justin oh no I uh, I was uh, showing off what I have here rainbows why haven't you built it yet Justin. Um, good question. Call, calling him out. Oh, boy. Uh, maybe I need to schedule a Circuit Sunday stream tomorrow <laughs> afternoon. Does anybody need like 8,000 quantity of uh, 2.2K resistors? Yes. Yeah. Don't you all have one of these? <laughs> Ooh, if, if only it was like... 3.3 K ohm resistors, Joe. Then that right, looks like some kind of uh, socket cr uh, crimper. Weird is it? Tool. Uh, this is a crazy wire stripper. Really? You know, oh, see, those, crazy. Yeah. see those uh, indents for different yeah. size wire? Yeah. You put the wire in there, and then when you I'm trying to get this so you can see it. Here, let me, let me uh, squeeze it. Let me enlarge it, you here. Hold it, on. it crunches it and then it pulls it apart. Okay. Oh. I put the wire in and then it grabs both ends. Uh huh. And then it goes. Yep. Huh. That's pretty cool. This thing is perfect. It's like 40 years old and it works. Yeah. It was made in Canada. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Rick. <laughs> As long before you were born, Retro Techie. What year? A British patent on it. Uh, 1952. Slightly uh, before. like 50 that years is, old. But that's before, even before me. Yeah. That's before a lot of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This thing's awesome. Cool. I just used it to make my uh, uh, tool for discharging the monitors. Oh, okay. Go you tool. said 1952? Yes. That was the year I was born. Oh. I believe it. 1952. I don't know anything about it. I didn't have any apples then. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, that was long before. Long before the apple. That was even long, long before Apple Music. Oh, I see what fell. All right, I have oh four more four more capacitors to go. Which, uh, by the way, if anyone's wondering uh, if recapping this board was a good idea, no, because no, it was not. <laughs> I, I should no. have I should have left well enough alone, lived with the fact that the capacitors were wonky as all get out, and only replaced the one that was actually not soldered. And I probably have not learned my lesson. I'm sure I'll do it again. <laughs> OCD. Uh, if you saw how crooked the capacitors were, yeah, it was. 
it was uh well with trial and error comes experience that's like yep. how adrian knew to uh go for the mt chip yep <laughs> instead and, instead of that nec ram yeah, anybody else would have been like well the, the thing says it's this chip and like no yeah thing is whoever went in there and put two nec chips in out of eight like that person is a is an I don't know, bad person. Just take all the MT out and put all new in. It's yeah. it an extra six bucks. Just put it in. Actually, there were four NEC and four MT, and they were like staggered every other chip. Oh, were so they? Okay. But someone still, at, yeah. just stick them all out. I'm trying to figure out a problem. It's like, why, Commodore? Why? I have the uh, a good one for you, though. I got an Apple IIe board in to work on, uh, and... Uh, somebody removed a bad MT chip and put a newer MT chip in its place. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah, uh, and it failed. It failed again. I've got a, I've got a, um, good one. I, so I'm, I guess I've got some save searches on eBay and it never, it never fails to amaze me how many Apple products there were that the MT RAM was soldered right on, but the other RAM brands were socketed. What what I was told is that they went to cost saving mode after a while, and they said, "Well, let's switch to this MT RAM because it's cheaper, and also let's drop the sockets because our RAM never fails." But they changed out the RAM for RAM that fails, and then got rid of the sockets at the same time. It's it's totally ridiculous. Yeah, well, that was during that whole period in the uh, late '80s, early '90s, where the Apple II was just it was just Loading the company, so they did everything they could to make the Apple II as possible. Right. Why do you have two orders? What are you doing? And Bob comes to say hi. The Bob. Bob. Robert. The uh, the mouse tried to eat my my Apple II monitor stand. Uh, but that... <laughs> well, the stream's credibility has just increased. Because there is a cat on the screen. Is that a real Bob cat there, Starbuck? <laughs> uh, well, he's he called him Bob because his original name was Bob Tail when we rescued him from the um, people that rescued him from abusive home. Yeah. Um, so he's a um, he has no tail. All he's right. a Manx. He's a Manx cat. So you get the little stubby there. Yep. Manx. Yeah. Yep. And he's, he's, he's my uh, he's my big boy. He's, you can see uh, I can't yeah. even palm his head. Well, he yeah. can keep his head up. Uh, he's about twenty pounds. Uh, just pure love. You know he yeah. was thrown through a window as a kitten. Oh. Um. He when he first moved, came into our house, him and his sister, who is actually right here, this is his sister Sophie. Um, they they hid under our furniture for about six weeks. Yeah. Um, as yeah. kittens, and um, it just took a lot of love, you know, yeah. talking to them, feeding them, and whatever. She came around pretty quick. She came around about about a month. Yeah. Um. She's a love bug, and but Bob took a little longer because he obviously he was thrown through a window. So yeah, poor guy. But she, she had her hips dislocated, her back hips. Oh boy. So she can't jump like a normal cat. So that's why that tree's right there because it's got a little ledge down bottom where she can get on that to jump to where she's at now. So she can go oh, around okay. my desks and stuff. Poor thing. Yeah. Poor... And then over here, there's Ginger. That's that's we call her the mean cat. <laughs> and then there's her sister right here is her sister Zoe. Uh, I got both of those together uh, from as kittens from Humane Society. Okay. That's four of the ten. Um, the rest are God only knows where they are. <laughs> ten well, cats. Ten? Ten, ca I have ten, of them. ten cats. I have. Um, I live in a three-story townhouse. It's just me and my brother and ten cats. Um, so they're on the other six are on the other two floors. The other two floors, probably the kittens are probably with my brother. I say kittens; they're big cats now, but they're um, yeah less than a year old, so they're still uh, very. They'll very always, kittens. they'll always be your kittens, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yep. I can't stand people that abuse animals. It just drives yeah. me nuts. I, I don't yep. understand that. Uh, I don't either. We have. Uh, I think I've told people before, but we have we've been fostering for, uh, let's see, as long as we were married. That's be 20, 
eight years this uh, March. Uh, yeah. March what? What's that? When's your when's your anniversary? We're gonna test you live on stream. If you get it wrong, there's always proof. March for, March seventh. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, uh, yeah. So we we fostered. Uh, we used to have a lot of property in Pioneer. We used to have a we used to have a vet tech come out because we had a lot of property, and we would get uh, a lot of people would bring us animals. We get occasionally a couple horses because we had everything all set up. And deer that got injured, and of course. We would always bottle feed uh, kittens. Uh, we'd get them, they might be like two days old. Some, a lot of times things happen to their mother. And either the mother got killed or just abandoned them. And so, yeah, so we've done it for many years. And then the last fosters that we did, we were foster fails because we wound up uh, keeping them. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so we kept the yeah. three out of the four that we uh, fostered. So, because we had lost uh, Nick. Yep, there's and, my brother. Which, uh, that's Reba's brother. And then we lost uh, Manny. Hey, guys. So, hey. Uh, hey. All right. And, I'm sorry that he interrupted you. Oh, no, no, it's yeah. all good. And so, anyway, so uh, we uh, were still in mourning. So, we had, we uh, kept, we, uh, we put them out for adoption. And I said to my wife, you know, I, I, I really love them. Let's let's go adopt them. So we went back the next day, we adopted them. <laughs> of course, they didn't cost us nothing because we were the fosters, so we took them. Yeah, that's but, why we could never foster animals because uh, we're, we're suckers. I mean, we have a big cat. <laughs> we took the three kittens and kept them. Our original plan with the three kittens was to get, find them new homes. But we yeah. fostered them. We took them in, and they were here for a couple months, and we are like, nope, we're, we're keeping them. Yeah, yeah, they uh, they melt your heart real quick. Sure. I uh, I've got the uh, LC logic board recapped. All right. I'm for Take fire. Uh, actually, I am going to uh, go grab. Well, no, I can't use the LC's chassis because it doesn't have a working power supply in it. Yeah. But I did bring the LC two downstairs, so I'm actually just as soon as this isopropyl dries. And I'm f trying to find the air duster to accelerate the process. I'll ultrasonically clean later. But yeah, I'm going to... It's pretty wet. <laughs> I wouldn't like that up <laughs> We want, we want uh, good coverage with the isopropyl there. There you go. Uh, yeah, because I don't know if I'm going to ultrasonically clean it because I've got some those trace repairs. So yeah. I, I wanted to try to scrub the flux off with isopropyl. Yeah. So sure. if I can scrub it good enough, that, that's why I got it pretty wet and now I'm just going yeah. to let it dry. But anyways, so now I've got the capacitors. They are much, they're on much straighter now. They're not all cattywampus. That capacitor is actually soldered now. That's the one crooked one. Uh, the crooked ones are the where I had some pads <laughs> lift, so they are on crooked. That's that's why I was regretting even bothering. I should have just replaced that one yeah. and been done with it. And then I'm glad you you full sent this thing. We get you put all the RAM in, you redid all the caps. What's going to happen now? I mean, right? <laughs> uh, he <laughs> drenched that sucker in alcohol. <laughs> yes. I think you put like a whole bottle on there. Uh, pretty much. Um, yeah, you might want to buy stock in MG Chemicals. Because I'm going to, about to order more. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Stop tick. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, Insider trading. There you go. I, and of course, I'm joking. It's not like my one bottle of MG chem Chemicals is going to do much. But anyways, uh, while I let that dry for a moment, I guess I can... Um, Actually, you know, maybe what I'll do is I'll just come grab the, uh, I'll just pull the power supply out of the LC2 here, and we'll go for that. All right. Dave, if you're trying to get that sticky stuff off that uh, panel, the board there, you, wouldn't, wouldn't alcohol get that off? Oh, yeah. Alcohol take it off. But I'm, I'm, I'm not really worried about because that's where I'll put some new pads down there anyway, so I'll just know where to stick them. But, yeah. No, I was just kind of picking it off where I, uh, where the solder joints was. Just uh, double checking it. 
Adam, Adam, are you still accepting new um, donations of batteries? I have one for you. <laughs> it was like complete silence there for a second and it was then Joe, you know, Joe had <laughs> We We You can't do it as good as Joe. If you don't know me by now, you will never ever know, know me. Know me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. If this does anything different, which I doubt, I'm gonna have to. All right. Just probably have to get an analog board for it. Mm. All right. I'm being yeah, watched. Working. All right. You're being watched. Oh yeah, I see. Is that Ginger. the mean one? Yep. Yeah. She's, she's, <laughs> she likes. To, she's the bitey one. The bitey one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah we have one of those. Her name's Smirky. She was her only child. And Soso here is pretty much only mean to her brother. Like if her brother was laying in there and uh, completely sound asleep, not bothering anybody, she just walk up to him, smack him, he'd yeah. get off, and she lay down where he was. <laughs> brother sister thing. Yeah, that's sibling rivalry, right? And we call a cat when in this house. Whenever we hear cats fighting, unless it's Bob picking on one of the little little kittens, the little cats. Yeah. Is he so big? Um, uh, that's the only time I break it up. But otherwise, we just call it cat business, and we just yeah, cat let business. It, let let yep. them do their thing. Yep. There it is. I knew I had a VGA cable somewhere. All right, live on Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. I am about to fire up an LC. Right. And hopefully, and hopefully it will be literally and not figuratively. Fire, 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 fire. 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 It better be fire or it's... Or it's no or sparks, no sparks. <laughs> now, now you remember Justin we didn't have a whole lot of success last stream there was a lot of carnage on there so <laughs> one two three aha oh oh, oh, my oh. oh. Well, that's a good start. that's a good sign Um, that looks to me like the video is working, like the video circuitry is uh, running. But the system didn't do anything. Did you get a ball on the time? Um, let me find a way to plug a speaker in. Or at least hold the speaker to the pads. All right, one, two, three. No that would be a negative. Uh oh. Where'd it go? Hi, my name is Joe, and I'm in the habit of pointing any day super tiny circle flap or this across the room. All right, <laughs> that's probably a RAM chip. So let me uh, let me inspect, and yep. we'll try again. Hey, bitty. Another one of my cats showed up. She's under the desk, though. <laughs> uh, you're being greeted. Well, I'm sure they're they're coming in for... Uh, she's probably looking for some treats. This is a treat monster. Uh -huh. But I don't even know where the bucket is. Oh, there it is. She found it. <laughs> Just not surprising. Oh. Well, hello there, fluffy a kitten. One, four, six, seven. Yep. I have a trivia question for everybody. Okay. If you uh, 
if you uh, have a project and you need 100 surface map resistors, how many did you buy? 500. 200, because yeah. you're going to lose half of them across the room. <laughs> yep. Guaranteed. All right. You buy a whole spool of them. Yeah. Get that quantity discount. Absolutely. How you doing, Trina? I'm about to take off, actually. You are. I want to wait to see what happens with stuff from the board here. Okay. All right. All right. Well, uh, of course, you know uh, what time it'll be tomorrow morning, our retro mat cast. So. Yes. Yeah. Be watching that. Um, is James anyone streaming to tomorrow afternoon? Uh, I think, uh, um, I think Justin might be streaming tomorrow, right? Were you going to stream tomorrow, Justin? I, I don't know if I am or not. Oh, okay. If Trina beats me to it, Trina beats me to it. Okay. Because I, I, I have something that I want to unbox. Oh. So I'm going to say on that. Okay. All right. So I will see everyone later on. Okay. Have a great night all and keep on working away. Okay, Trina. Trina. Thank you Trina. for hanging out. Okay. All right. Uh, have a good evening. Bye, right, Trina. Good night. Bye. All right. I see the problem. Uh oh. What was it? Uh, one of the RAM chips is not not soldered correctly. Oh, is it like not touching somewhere or something? Uh, it's like shifted by one pin on one oh. side. Oh. Yeah, that would be that would be dead. Uh, well, luckily I have more RAM chips. And not dead. <laughs> well, hopefully the other RAM chip is not dead, too. But that, that'll come in testing. All right. I guess I'm going to... Well, let's see here. Probably might as well just go get the hot air station and... Fix actually, it. no. We'll go get the hot air station. Hot air station! Do it! Go ahead! Uh, <laughs> Let me go get the hot air station. I'll be back as soon as I drive to DC. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, they they might not like me bringing the hot air station back, but. Um... I mean, they need that for the government to function, right? <laughs> yeah. Function. Actually, I'm just going to see if I can't desolder this. Uh, Chip with some solder braid so that I don't have to. Don't melt it. Yeah, I'm, okay. It's going to have to come off with hot air. Yeah, All right. I think I can see it melting already. Yeah, but I got to. Um, I didn't want to do hot air for one chip because that means I got to put tape and got to go get the hot air station because I set it over on the shelf out of the way. I'm trying to go to DC. Yeah, time to go to DC. Or at least the shelf that's right behind me. Yeah. But yeah, I think I'm going to risk melting the video memory socket if I try to yep. try to I never yeah, use too much heat around there, yeah. I'm doing hot air. All right, so let me make sure I isolate the correct chip. Yeah. Actually, by golly, I think I've got two that are. Oh, I got two that's crooked. All right. You know, might as well check them all. You know, be safe. Oh, I've I've looked at them, <laughs> but yeah. Might as well check them all. Check them all. Check, uh, check them all. This will keep this. This will keep the stream going for a while. <laughs> Throw it away. Yeah, well, I, was waiting for, I was waiting for that retro. I was waiting actually, for that. at some point, I'll just remove the, the... If it really gets bad, I'll remove the chips and then just put uh, memory in the sockets and see what happens. You, you know that would have been an interesting test if I had removed all the capacitors. <laughs> will, and, will the LC work without the onboard memory? <laughs> I mean... No. <laughs> Done. So, well, but memory in the uh, RAM sockets. Something tells me, though, the memory controller is probably 
would freak out. Yeah, the memory is mismatched, so it it knows that the onboard has just the what is it one? And if you take it away, it's like I don't know what to do because it starts. That's the zero page. Yeah. All right. Well, I will. Okay. Well, that broke easy. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how. Flux. Flux. <laughs> More flux. <laughs> I think flux is what got me into trouble soldering those chips. I couldn't see the pins. It's Mega Me, sir. She's gone from flux to blow. Yeah. <laughs> you have flux. Hey, Dynacomp really improved this power supply from the Aztec bottle. They put double the number of reefas in it. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks, Dynacomp. Uh -huh. Well, you know, uh, I yes, you wanted to make sure you had plenty of reefas in there. <laughs> yeah. I think my Mac 2 CI power supply had like at least five reefa caps in it. You should try doing a Lisa one. It has six. Really? Wow. Yeah, they're all they're all different. So okay, is yeah. your is your Lisa up and running, Adam? That is not known yet, but we oh. will find out on on my channel at some point soon. Nice. Oh, okay. Um, I have something planned for that too. I uh, the keyboard. I have two working or two non-working keyboards. Uh -huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one of them with the tech select uh, foam and foil replacements to make it stock how it was. Yeah. And the other one I'm planning to rebuild completely using switches out of a, a Mac 128 keyboard. Huh. Somebody's gonna yell at me because I'm gonna destroy a Mac 128 keyboard to do it. This actually oh, has four, four reefa caps. What the hell? Sorry. Wait, what, are you, you. what are you destroying, Adam? This Dynacom power supply has four reefa caps in it. <laughs> you said you were going to destroy a keyboard of some sort. Yeah, 128. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use a 128 um, keyboard and a 128 numeric keypad as a source of parts to build a non foam of foil Lisa keyboard. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, that's that's one of the few things that it's actually a worthy a worthy cause of my I mean, especially since you probably know what you're doing, obviously, right? So yep. in the sense that yeah. Well on one hand the, the Lisa keyboard's missing several switches and, and caps. And <laughs> I've got a, a numeric keypad that's just the keypad without the shell. So I'm going to sacrifice one 128 keyboard. The layout of, of, of those two key, uh, keyboards on the 128 is identical. The, the keys look the same. The layout is exactly the same. But the, the boards underneath are different. So I'm going to basically have uh, Alps switches in at least a keyboard if this works out. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't think this is the right cap kit I got from console 5. Oh no. <laughs> this has only got one refit in it. Bummer. That's why you always, always order extra, so that we have extras. That's right. <laughs> pull, pull a Joe. Instead of ordering 100, you order 200. Well, I ordered two and I only needed one, but I got two of the wrong one. Oh. So, Adam, so something you might, you might want to remember is the first rule, <laughs> the first rule of government spending is why buy one when you can buy two at twice the price? <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. Yeah. 
I used to work for the state of Texas, and I know that. that <laughs> I, I, I know you, you know that quite well. Funny, do, you remember, do you remember what movie that's from? Who's seen it? Come on, who's uh, seen it? I don't know. I've heard Contact. it. I don't remember. Yes. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> I always say that to my wife. No, 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 it's okay. The first rule of <laughs> <laughs> it works so she's like okay yeah great i was like what you crazy okay. <laughs> you know this air. the pure this is the wrong air. casket Alex, yes. come on don't don't destroy this please it's gonna vent this one's gonna vent <laughs> What are you working on now, Garth? Uh, I'm pulling the caps up in LC2. Oh. LC, LC. <laughs> well, I've checked all the uh, diodes on this board, and they're fine. I think Z what I'm going to do with this, this Dynacomp uh, power supply <laughs> is it's a very lovely-looking shell. But the design of the power supply is garbage, so I think this will be a nice uh, candidate for a reactive micro replacement internals. Oh yeah, sounds like a plan to me, sir. Like and I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch over to an Aztec and recap an Aztec instead. Ah! <laughs> ah, my ears. What was that? Uh, who's screaming? That was Joe, I think. That wasn't Would me. You, did it's anyone out. get electrocuted? It was a. Uh, Okay, so how about please? I heard so <laughs> no. <laughs> I have to test these power supplies. Hey, this is an easy job. Just plug in power supplies and see if they work. There you go. Be a power supply tester. There you go. Test power supplies, test CRTs. You're a uh, Starbuck. Your your brother David. He's very uh, very loving. Uh, boy, <laughs> it's kind of like the Bob and it's kind of like Bob and his sister type relationship, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, heck, we've been living together um, since I moved down to Florida from uh, Boston. So uh, that was back oh. in two thousand and one. Oh wow. Yep. Well, he built him and my dad um, got together and built this place as a three-story townhouse, but just the two of them. <laughs> so they, they they sent me and they called me up and said, "Hey, uh, we just built this huge house and we got all this space. Why don't you move down and live with us?" And I was like, "All right." There you go. Little did we know that we would have ten cats. <laughs> yeah. It's uh. It's a disease. What can I say? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> of, the, of the heart. <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, there are times yeah. where I hate it because, you know, like, especially when I want to sleep in. Like, today is my day. Was, I'm off weekend. So What's no, that? Sleeping in? I, I, get, I, get up a, I get up a cat 30 every morning. Yeah. <laughs> Worst mistake of my life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, there he is. Yeah, there's the a-hole. I mean, I'm brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my uh, I get up at four thirty in the morning because of my job. You know, I have to get up early, go to work, and anyway, I don't have to worry about setting my alarm. My cats pester me all night long, you know, and uh, they come up, want to be petted, and they'll be, especially Reba. She's fifteen years old, and she has some uh, serious dental work done uh, earlier this year, and uh, she's doing great now. Uh, but they had to remove a lot of her teeth because uh, she had a really, really bad uh, bone infection <coughs> in her jaw. Sorry. And it was causing some other issues. So they, uh, $2,000 later, you know. Yep. Uh, but it was well worth it. And she's like, she's like, she's like a kitten again. And we have we have one of those $2,000 cats as well, um, Bandit. One of, the, one, of the, one of the kittens that we rescued, um, we brought her in as a kitten. And it yeah. turned out she had uh, her bottom lip was coming off her jaw. Oh my goodness! So, uh, so she was hurt before we got her in here, and then yeah. just we noticed that while we're feeding her, um, so we decided to uh, ah. 
you know, we had to get her that surgery. And it was, yeah. You know, it cost my brother, uh, you know, 2000 He calls that his 2000 He calls her his $2,000 cat. His, he calls her his most expensive cat. Yeah. <laughs> Was you. was that a birth defect or was she disabused? We don't this know because um, yeah. uh, we're not sure where she came from. She, my my neighbor, next door neighbor, found him and she ended up in his garage somehow. Mm-hmm. So he knows I'm the he calls you know he calls me the cat whisperer. <laughs> so, so he he texts yeah. me. I was working at the time. That's when I worked for the bank of, the Bank of America, uh, yeah. IT department, and he texts me and he's like, "Hey, got a cat in my garage. You want it?" I wasn't going to say no. And please, we please. went and got her, and she actually fit in the palm of my hand. That's how tiny she was. Wow. But with a lot of food, you know, she, when she came in here, she obviously had the surgery and got taken care of. And then when she started getting nourishment and stuff, she grew. She, 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 she's a big cat now. Yeah. I hear an apple too. Yeah, best hey. two grand, my brother says, best two grand he ever spent. Hey, John, I'm working on an Apple IIe. Have you ever seen... No. Never mind. <laughs> No way. <laughs> hey, Eric. Welcome back, Eric. He's, he's back. I'm clean. I so believe the reset pull, key. Right? When you go eat too? Just give me a moment, please. And, and I believe pull. the reset key is broken. Possible. Uh-oh. <coughs> that key or the control key. Bert, stop smoking. Uh, for I just tested control by breaking <laughs> a basic program with control C and that worked. So. You got a bad reset key. Cool. I think the reset key is, is jacked. Nice start. But I found a working yeah. power supply, so that's good. Wow. The sap is terrible. I just need to find the screws for it. How, how's Dave coming on the monitor? Uh, no, uh, no coming along. It's still doing the same thing. Oh man! That's why I had Garth uh, take the the panel off his uh, Mac Plus because I was going over some of the solder joints and yeah, thought I'd found a couple things, but it turns out that it's the same. So, oh, I'm sorry. All right. I can I'm going to check the. Uh, I'm going to check the uh, resistance on the uh, volume knob or the uh, volume knob. Good grief, the brightness knob here. Is it doing the dot in the center like it was before, or just not? No, because we, no, because uh, remember we didn't have that connector plugged oh, that's in. Right. That's right. So, but we don't get any. We don't get the dot, but we do have the um, the tube is, is heating up the heater on it, so it tells me the gun's okay. Yeah, there's no open on it, and then um, you can like feel. So I've, had the, I've had these connectors off 20 times, just checking them, uh, yeah. checking the continuity. I've checked each plug, you know, have it unplugged, and make sure we got good continuity on each, and, it, and it, that's good. But uh, yeah, so this was the uh, that was the plug that I didn't get plugged in, and that's why we were getting that center dot at, at the last week. Plug that in. That went away because this is what for the uh, convergence coil here. Yeah. And now we're not getting any uh, getting a raster. So I'm going to check the um, brightness control knob here and see when I turn it if we actually get a change in resistance. I'm just making sure we get on the right pins here. Let's see what it is. Right here. Is my uh, audio level better? Yeah. 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 That's because I'm an idiot. OBS. <laughs> is like, OBS doesn't supply um, the audio. Oh. Oh yeah. Of course. And I, of course, I cranked it up, and it didn't do anything. Duh. Yeah, OBS is a pain with the audio because if you if you're using it, if you change, you have to set up the audio per scene. So, if you like change scenes, yeah. but if you're doing Streamyard, Streamyard, there isn't an audio thing to get. You have to use a third-party app. Blah blah blah. Uh, so you can choose like OBS as an option or whatever. Yeah, OBS's virtual webcam doesn't do doesn't do audio. audio. Yeah. So I got. Um, you know, what is it, V-meter or something like that? So I could set that up, and that proved to be more complicated than I wanted to deal with. Malware! <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying things. Oh, okay. Mike, is, your, yeah. is your Tourette's kicking in again, Joe? 
Yes. Okay. Joe, is this still good? What? How does it taste? Is this still good? Yeah. What? Is the color or what? It's a little orange. Yeah, the, if it's if that's legit real V2, it tends to discolor over time. It's like, <laughs> but it, it's it's expired orange. like November 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're well, isn't it's the problem works with really it? well? I gotta say, this is this is by the way, awesome flux. I love this flux, and this is like the first literally, I think this is the first two I bought. No, actually, the second two I bought because I went, I blew through my first one really fast, but yeah, yeah. Doesn't the um, the flux have silver particles in it or something, and eventually it like goes out of um. It separates or something like that when it gets old. Uh, uh, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. Bruce might have said it. If Bruce said it, it's probably true. I, like I go through my flux. Well, you do. I go through my flux so fast. So. Uh, yeah, I don't use that much yet. So. But I'm getting it. The real question will be, Garth, is that real V2 or is it aftermarket fake V2? <laughs> you know, it's funny. This is so old, Joe. Seriously, I don't know. I think this is probably the original one. Does it Again, I'll, I'll point out that this is like, it's, this one's supposed to expire in 2020, November, right? So probably this is the old one, the original formula. Yeah, does it smell like pine? It smell like what? Pine. Yes. It does Deflocculation not. does not. If it smells like pine, right, so this is where I learned from uh, our wonderful friend, our wonderful friend Bruce. Um, I learned how to properly clean pads, and he does a really good job of explaining this in this video for very few years. Wow, okay, here we go. <laughs> you're, you're so big. yeah. Yeah, you're going to put a little bit of flux on your pads. Yep. And then you just go along with your hot, hot iron. And of course, you have a chisel tip, as one does. <coughs> and you clean up. Yep. Yep. Any sort of errant. Waste yep. on your pads. Yep. I don't have a nice microphone. Yeah, that's it's what funny I because learn to do. Yep, that's how you do it. Yeah. I watched Bruce's videos back then, and I learned so much from Bruce. Yep. And I, I yeah, I still had questions. I, I remember this is like my my you know, imagine this is some, one of the rabble out there. And, like messaging him and like, hey, can you guys see this question for him? And I sent him this email with all these questions about things and he never responded, but I understand why you're responding because who am I, right? Why would he respond? Come on, the guy probably gets thousands of questions. Yep. Yep. He'll answer your question if you mail the board in and pay him to repair it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mitty. Hi, Mitty. Hi, Mitty. Bruce, what did I do wrong? <laughs> you didn't send it to me the first time. Yeah. $120. It's a stupid error. Here's a Betty cat. He's eating her food there. Well, Bruce just got that board that both Steve and Joe have tried to work on. Oh, really? I'm oh, it must be in see. great shape. Yeah. It was two years ago. <laughs> Uh, how did it, take so long? it took two years for him to get mail to Australia is really yeah. slow. That was, That's funny. was apparently for the first party. So it went to the um what did it go she came up with the house. orbit first and then came down? <laughs> you have a good day today, boo boo. Yeah. Can't hear you, Joe. Someone that's kind of halfway across the continent from him. And and she life got in the way basically yeah. it's like am i gonna like take it how, how i had she had to like take a, a, like literally a day 
out of her life to get that through, so that just never happened. Because oh, like, yeah, basically the situation. It's so, very hard to go to the post office. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. stuff happens. Yep, absolutely. All life. And then yeah, I forgot to mail somebody an Apple II board that I fixed. Like I fixed it, and then I just forgot <clears throat> to mail it. And like three months later, they're like, "Hey, did you, did you ever fix that board?" I'm like, "Oh shoot." <laughs> I've done that too. Oh, this looks familiar. Yeah, it took me um, a couple of weeks to to fix uh, Zodian's uh, fish. You, did you stitch it back? Yeah. I, Are you seriously? Yeah, I do. Um, I only say that because I know you do stitching and stuff, and that's I didn't. Yeah. I don't remember seeing anything about that. Yeah, um, I do um, Renaissance festivals, and um, way back in ninth grade, I took home ec, and in there, you you know, you, half the year was hey, sewing and half the year was cooking. I wanted to yep. learn to cook. Yep. And um, I wanted to take cooking twice, and she went, no, 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 you got to take the sewing part. So I actually learned some pretty good skills in that class. And then um, I've sewn, I'm not a tailor, but I have I made a uh, frock coat for a 1745 Scottish impression I do. You know, it's a shorter frock coat, so you can wear a kilt with it, that kind of thing. Um, I'll never make another one. God, that was terrible. <laughs> a lot of work but um but i've sewn shirts and um i made a uh made a vest you know to wear for uh formal wear that kind of thing so sewing a fin on a fish was actually pretty easy hey joe somebody in the chat asked what you're working on oh i am building uh quantity two of the mm 5740 aae Keyboard encoders for the Apple. <laughs> is that for what the? That? Um, He's doing science. That's for the original keyboard, right? Yep, for the Bionetics style. The Bionetics, yes. Bionetics, yes. Yep. I wish I had more data genetics that even if they had broken encoders, because I cannot find any more of those keyboards anywhere. Yeah, they're just there. Yeah, they were only the first ten thousand or so Apple IIs used them or something like that. Like, um, mine is, what is my serial number? It's, uh, 12604, and it has a data mix. I think it's one of the last ones. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have a data mix keyboard. I had to, like, create my own keyboard in order to test this. Yeah, I remember that. That was hilarious. I basically just copy <laughs> it and make my own little version of it. Yeah. <laughs> serial number 12605 may have been the new keyboard. <laughs> My goodness. So, Justin. Yeah. These freaking LC boards, their caps are amazing. And everyone knows this who's done, you know, recapping on these LC and LC2s, right? Yeah. There's just a conglomerate of caps all in this one location. It's beautiful. <laughs> Gotta say. I don't know. I love, I, so I love LCs because, they, yeah, nothing else I'd be able to get. LCs restored super well. Should have called it the LQ like low quality. I can fix it real quick. Right? Yeah, I have an LC2 that I recapped. Take it off, try to turn it back on relatively quickly. It won't post. It won't leak the wall. Unless I discharge a specific capacitor on the board. So, <laughs> so what I've done is I put one mega uh, decouple it or um, bleeder uh, resistor across it to fix it. That's why. Weird. I don't know. What's funny, Joe, is actually you figured it out to that point where you need to do that workaround, <laughs> right? Uh, I just try stuff until smoke happens or it works. Joe, I had a Mac too that that no matter what I did, it wouldn't soft power on. But if I shorted a uh, resistor and then hit yep. the power button or the or the soft power button, it would it would turn on. Yep. So I just wired that 
directly to the power button, so it was just, just like it. this. <laughs> I don't know if that's proper, but I don't care. It works. It worked. If it works, it's a solution. Yeah, yes. if it works, it's not stupid. I got my power supply board out of my power supply. Yay. Before, I had this uh, this function of this keyboard controller requires pod wires because I forgot to connect some power planes on the PCB. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not ordering more PCBs for something that's, that doesn't sell that often. So the official release gets pod wires. This, uh, this Rifa cap has its pins bent over. That's very nice of them to do that. Hey, Garth, what you eating? What? What do you mean? What, what is that? I'm a shoot. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's delicious. What is it? <clears throat> Look like a small salad and a roll. Something made me dinner. It's delicious. Look at it. It's delicious. Some it's random person. <laughs> Somebody just wandered in and said, here's food. You're accepting food from strange people? I probably should wash my hands before I touch the Nah. Oh, the um. I thought I was going to make that, that moo noise, but some fool had to fold over these Rifa leads. I have to use a wick. Somebody's playing with some plastic. <laughs> I'm checking out this weird like, system. I wish it was like Zoom so it would show who's making the noise so we could be like, hey. Hey, you, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ears. The pain. Ah, I'm dying. Hey. Who stole my hey. yellows? There they are. <laughs> So yeah, a bunch of my friends, or a bunch of my, my son's friends, my son's friends, were over yesterday, and they weren't they weren't sure how to actually do a barbecue and stuff. So I showed them how to cook hamburgers, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> but anyway, but we had all this other stuff, and yeah, so this is leftovers from that. So. Mm. Can you bring enough for everyone? <laughs> right. Yeah, you're supposed to share. Yeah, you know that, right? We like barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> On lasagna, if you're Bruce. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Lasagna. Please. Absolutely freaking not. No. But Bruce doesn't want to put barbecue sauce on lasagna, right? I, yeah. I'm and I, I wonder lasagna. if barbecue sauce in, the, in, in Australia is just tomato sauce or something. No. No. no it's barbecue sauce. It's disgusting. Mm. That's, that's... <laughs> It's I mean, just wrong. Hopefully he's not using the mustard-based barbecue sauce. You know uh, I mean? they, don't oh. have, they don't have that there. North Carolina or something? Yeah, yeah they don't They don't have uh, mustard-based. He, he was confused by that. Oh, was he? Yeah, and I'm like, you're missing out, dude. You're oh, seriously yes. you're missing out. Yes. I like all kinds of barbecue. I mean, originally it was vinegar. I mean, I'll do Texas, I'll do Kansas, and I'll do North Carolina. Whatever you got, put it there. I'll eat it. Exactly. Barbecue is just good anywhere. Yep. I, I, I do Ohio barbecue stuff. And that's what? Heinz ketchup? What do they do? Shoot it with a thing? Or... <laughs> no, that's hey, Garth. Mm -hmm. There's a mushy peas. <laughs> mushy, peas. <laughs> mushy peas. Mushy peas. Sometimes the flush cutters just need to flush. Huh. <laughs> so, uh, question, uh, Joe. Yeah. On the brightness control knob, what, uh, what's what you know? What kind of resistance we're supposed to have on it as we turn the wheel? Um, you must be a change in resistance. Tile, no. Board resistance. This number to that number. Um, From high to low. 100. I don't know. 
I've never measured that. You usually just. I mean, usually I just have to put some contact cleaner in it if it's being weird, but. Well, I thought about that. You know, if there's something wrong with it, I mean, because Garth said, you know, it could be. I think the last stream he said you it could be something like weird that the the um, brightness control knob died on it. I mean, when you think about it, it doesn't really matter that much. Does it go from zero to something? I mean, and if it does, then yeah. it's not. Yeah, I think it's the problem with the brightness knob is that it's down when I'm testing, and I'm like, oh, no, the CRT is bad, and then it turns out the knob's Dave, don't, down. Don't check for continuity. Check for uh, just ohms resist resistance. Yeah. Did you turn uh, it I, I was. I, X I, number to Y number. I wasn't getting um, anything on it. You mean it's, like, open? Yeah. Deal with this. Oh, maybe I'm not that big there. I gotta figure out a good way to hold this on here. So I can adjust this knob here and see if I get. Well, this stuff does smell like cotton candy. Yep. Hey, oh, look, I got the Rifa out. Yay. All right. Yay. And there was Yay. much rejoicing. Yay. Yay. Second. Cracked, but it didn't explode. That's a good thing. Right one microfad X. Yeah, yeah, I have those. Out bridge. No bridge. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna take that board out really to check it because I just can't get get them on there good enough to be able to, to uh, see if it's getting any deviation when I turn it. I do not like the leads on the blue scuzzy, or rather the oh. uh, these pins. Which ones? For the, uh, the, the pin heads, whatever you call them. Yeah, it, it's... Oh, wait, check this out. Yeah, it, it takes some getting used to. That's continuity. Oh, oh, your sandwich is getting continuity there? <laughs> <laughs> it's moist. It's moist. Ugh. World's worst word, moist. Yeah. I think I'll put a new refa in here and see if it works without recapping the rest. I'm almost done a take two. Two. Cool. So place your bets in the chat. I must. <laughs> what what odds are you giving? I bet you one eight hundred K floppy drive. Ooh. Well, That's I don't a good have wager. Any, I don't have any eight hundred K floppy drives at the moment, so you, you'll have three soon, so. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was about to say, you're going to have to spot me on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sending you one in the SE and then two spares to mess with. All right. This is a really crappy soldering job I just did. Oh, yeah, we're both doing it. Really. It's like, oh, the, you, you want solder in the entire hole? Oh, okay. Huh. It's one of those reefas where the old reefa was wide and the new one is narrow. Oh. Well. 
if anyone, I don't know if anyone noticed, but in total, I think there were four of these memory chips that I just did not solder well the first time. So, well, you have a second chance. I didn't That's have right. a chance to look because I was busy soldering my own crap. Oh yeah. Well, I just changed the reefa. Anyone want to bet whether the power supply works with just a reefa replacement? Uh, no, I don't uh, think it works with just a reefa. Zero. Is, is it an LC power supply? No, Apple IIe. No. Uh, <laughs> no. If it didn't work before, replacing the reefa is not going to fix it. Yeah, I know. Just shh. <laughs> oh, maybe oh, it oh, doesn't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it doesn't know. It work. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Convince <laughs> it to work. Yeah, if you didn't test it beforehand, I give it 50 50 odds. If you... Yeah, this is the the, the same uh, design as the like 78 one. They just added the dumb reefa. So it probably won't work. Well, let's see. Oh, is that when kind of some oh. government agency with a three-letter acronym said uh, EMI? Yes. Got to fix that. Yep. Yeah, no, that didn't work. F you. <laughs> I blame Joe. Well, that was weird. I unplugged AC power, and while I was removing the, the DC connector from the um the 2e board it actually powered up for about a quarter of a second just on what was left in the power supply that's interesting that's on, really <laughs> weird on wishes and dreams and that sounds to me like that's like the, the switching system in wait now it came on now it works you fixed oh, it you, you, just were, you just weren't holding it right huh? it, prob <laughs> it probably needs how the hell it probably needs a recap. It, it, it wanted probably you to, does, but... It wanted I sweet nothings it. whispered in its ear. <laughs> Those are the worst repairs. What did I do? I don't know. Can't recreate Ship it. Can't diagnose it. It just works now. Okay. Ship it. Yeah. Well, I can uh, turn it off. And... You all, all want to see how I program these things? Yeah. Sure. Cool. Well, uh, I'm going to go take a quick break. I'll come back. Oh, you're going to make us wait. Okay. Wow. Right now, but I'll make a puddle on the floor, and then I'll be yelled at. So I'll <laughs> okay, well, we don't want that. <laughs> no, I, I missed something. Never mind. Don't don't repeat it. Well, I'm, I'm turning this power supply on and off, on and off, disconnecting, reconnecting, uh, remove AC power. Plug it back in, and it just works every time now. <laughs> I think it's good. Why did it not work the very first time I plugged it in? You you were looking at it wrong. Maybe I just didn't plug the AC connector all the way in the first time. Maybe. And then when I was maybe. when I was removing it, it it connected. Yeah, maybe. Sounds reasonable. I, 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 since it's working nonstop now, yeah. Yeah, caps, none of these maybe. caps look bad. I mean. Nothing's done. Caps may be marginal and they only work in any sense if they've been plugged in for like 30, 66 seconds, right? Yeah. So, looky what I got. Well, I can turn Which it off. Just it have been unplugged for like about an hour or two. I'll put it to the side. What I'll you got, Eric? Here. Ooh. If I have to, I'll redo it. You get stickers. Yeah. Nice. Neato. Give me one. <laughs> send me an address. I'll send you one. Are you going to VCF Midwest? Yes, I'll I'll bring a bunch to VCF. Okay, yeah. I'll wait till then. Okay, me too. <laughs> I'll bring you some uh, Ron's computer videos badges. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have several. I have Ron, tons of those for some reason. Ron, Ron sends them out like candy. Yeah, that he does. I also have lots of blue scuzzy stickers. Uh, I'm collecting more now that every time I buy one, I get one. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Hey, wait, hold on. <laughs> Eric, did I, didn't I send you one and with your uh, your RAM upgrade? Yes, you did. All right, so, I have eight memory chips on it again. 
I thought Brad, because you sent me the same um, anesthetic bag that the blue SCSI is shipped in, and I thought maybe, oh, he made a mistake. He left one of the badges in there, or stickers in there. When I send you the uh, uh, floppy drive, thing, I'll send you the blue SCSI Oh, okay. Cool. I should check to make sure I did all the things. I don't have any parts left, so that's a good sign. <laughs> you're you're improving, Eric. Yeah. Ow. Oh, I did that too. I got an hour. Eric, Eric, I forgot. What are you what were you working on? Oh, blue scuzzy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I had to give up on the drive. Hot when you hold on to it. <laughs> yeah. I think Somebody the worst part about putting these power supplies together is putting this DC port back in this stupid grommet hole. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate those friggin' things. Oh, they're so bad. Hi, everybody. Mm. I just want to chop it up. Yeah, just replace it with a piece of paper and just cut the grommet thing out and be done with it. Yeah, but... No. You mess with the power supply. It's not original. Wah. All right. Hey, anybody, yeah, watch market. <laughs> anybody watch Kate's <clears throat> video on that? Um, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I noticed that Joe had one in his. Yeah, I watched part of that, and I'm like, oh, I already know how to do this, so I, I didn't finish well, that's it. That's the first time I've seen it. That was... I actually came up with a really good use case for one of those. Is there was a guy in Australia who wanted to buy one of my two GSs. Yeah. And the two GS is 120, 60 hertz. Uh, I, well, it might do 250, but it's 120 volt power supply. Yeah. And he was like, but I really want it to work here. And I, so I took a reactive micro because it's universal. It's 110, 240, whatever. Um, and I put it in there. So he was able to run, run it, just oh, it's, plugging it in. You could switch it or it automatically switches? No, it's modern, so it's just like 110, 120, it's actually 100 to 120, so it works in Japan yeah. and the U.S., and then it's also 220, 240, so it works wherever else. Oh, and it, it, it's 50, 60 hertz, too, so yeah, it's great. It does it. Yeah. Very cool. So it's intelligent. Yep. Well. <laughs> to a point. Well, it's just a modern power supply. Well, you know, but, I know almost nothing about electronics, and what I do know is mostly old stuff now, so... Well, I get a lot of people who are like, I want to buy that Apple IIc. Can you send it to you know Finland? I'm like, well, yeah, but Don't plug it's NTSC it in. and it's uh, 120 volts. And even yeah. if I give you the right <laughs> power supply, it's not. Do you have an NTSC set that works on 50 hertz? Like, no. Yeah. All right, that's a negative. Nope. Uh, all right, I think sucks. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pull the four extra chips off because I suspect that because I think I think I got everything soldered correctly this time. I'm gonna start taking things apart again, there, Justin. Yeah, I tried a RAM upgrade and I don't think the RAM upgrade is possible. Either that or it's because I got flux under these chips. Hey, you guys want to see how I program these things? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hi! There right. he is! <laughs> it's Joe! Joe! And there's my pumpkin tosh. I'll take that. The uh, chips I use are PIC microcontrollers. And this this red board is like a, a prototyping board, but it also acts as a programmer. And it's the cheapest programmer for these, these microcontrollers I could get. So that's why I use it. Uh, and then that stack of craziness on top of it is a set of adapters, uh, you know, just zero insertion adapters. Um, and what I've done is the adapters here, are kind of six wires there. I wired it to the power ground and programming lines here up to the pins on, on this that then get to the chip so that I can solder this together and pro kind of sort of in-circuit program it. Nice. Somebody's making a lot of noise. That air. Oh, Jeremy is asking, uh, how's Ron doing? 
he was Ron at, at uh, Kansas Fest. Yeah, he's at Kansas Fest. He's doing, doing all the Apple II stuff all week. Yeah, they're over there and doing their thing. And yep. Yeah. yeah, I watched uh, some of that. Uh, was it this morning or yesterday morning? Someone was talking about um, the old uh, tricks they use to squeeze more um, uh, compression for game development so they could fit it on a floppy. And oh, that was uh, this morning, I think. That was this morning, you know, where they XORed each line of the, uh, the image so they only had to record uh, changes in each raster line. Things like that. I thought that that's cool. I you know, modern programming is so wasteful because you don't, for most for the most part, you're too many layers above the the metal. Um, that people don't learn tricks like that. They don't figure things like that out. They just, oh, we've got gigabytes to work with. Yeah. Joe, what program is that? This is MPLAB XIDE version 5.40. And you're doing this on a PC or a Mac, Joe? PC. Okay. Yep, I just got to put the second one in here because the customer bought two. And then I just I'm sure that everyone wants to know that I just got the grommet back into the Apple II power supply without scratching it. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. That's stupid or, freaking grammar, right? Or, or removing flesh yeah. on your fingers in the process. You're, you're redeeming Dave's um, stream. Yes. That's the whole thing. Now I have cool. to get my Apple II Plus out and the whole, uh, whole set here to test it. It'll take me a minute. Clean up. Your bench as you go. That's one of the yes. tickets for sure. Nah, it don't do that. Sweet. It goes there. Uh, mm. this stuff all goes back into here. Wait, well, you're actually putting the stuff away? Where it goes? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's novel. <laughs> and you'll never be able to find it again. Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten really good with my tools, like the mm. stuff I use to repair things, making sure they all go back in their own little cubby. But the computers, though, they're all just <laughs> wherever they are. You got to keep what your the tools the handy, though. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also, I started labeling things finally, so you know the good and bad. At a minimum. Let's go to bench cams. So Apple Two Plus. I like that keyboard, Joe. That thing's awesome. <laughs> Where's the Dvorak switch? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the any key? Yeah. So I, of course, I leave the original keyboard out because then I can get to the keyboard connector. Yeah. Uh, I've got that that Apple II that's got the Data X keyboard in it, and it's almost going to be repaired soon. And I'm just like, do I want to sell this? I don't know. Like I have no use for that computer at all. That's kind of my criteria. If I don't use it, I I don't want it. I mean, I've got, I've got one that's like five thousand serial numbers later. It's basically the same exact thing, and that one's all kind of beat up, and it's got a hole in it because somebody put a, put a, a DOS select switch on it. I'm like, yeah. well, I'll just use this, and I don't really care if I smash it up or scratch it. Um, and that older one with the Data Next keyboard, I've got the original box that with a matching serial number, and some collector is going to want to get that. So I think I'll just let it go. Smoke test. Anybody got two grand laying around? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, I found a lottery ticket on the ground outside the grocery store when I went. Uh, oh, hi, Kate. Before Thanks joining the stream, so. Missing out on the Kansas Fest podcast. Oh. 
I don't know if it's a winning lottery ticket. I haven't scratched it yet. Oh, but I sus- it was an unscratched ticket. Well, it has a little bit scratched off of it, which is odd, but they didn't play it. Huh. So I don't know if this was a case of they bought the ticket and the clerk wouldn't see if it was winning until after they scratched part of it off or if they dropped it for some reason. Probably just Maybe they it. were in the middle of doing their crack and they dropped it on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Got to support their habit somehow. There you go. Well, I picked it up and it was litter, so I was like, I'm going to pick this up off the ground. And They had um, some huge, what was it, Mega Millions? 600 million or something? I don't know if anybody ever won that. Uh, it was not me. Me neither. Because <laughs> you got to play to win. Mm-hmm. I play once in a while, I still don't win. Uh, I've won more times uh, redeeming the coupons that the lottery puts out sometimes for free tickets than I have on actual paid tickets. Yeah. Because I I bought a... um, They put a a coupon out for some new game a couple years back that I... I, So I played my free game from the coupon and I got like Uh 20 bucks. Wow. Good for you. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, this doesn't happen when I pay for them, but the free the free game I have won twenty bucks. I'm like cool. Nice. No, I I think I just maybe got the luck of the uh, it was time for the, the winning ticket to come up on the uh, computer. Because it was one of the their the lotteries games where you where you play it and it prints out when you play it but it's an instant win game it was really weird it's like ah now the lottery's found a new way to uh to not separate have to print you scratch from your money yeah separate you from your yeah. money and not have to print scratch off tickets yeah yeah so this 2E power right. supply That's has good. some rusty screws and some non-rusty screws. <laughs> and my solution is that the five that you can see when you open the Apple II are going to be the non-rusty screws, and the ones that you can't see are going to be the rusty screws. That, Adam, is what we call a solution. Yes. <laughs> so is beer. Beer is a solution. Because these yep. screws are weird. And I, <laughs> I got a beer else. right here. Nice IPA. Oh, that's not a beer. That's a bottle of flowers. (laughs) (laughs) AC flowers. Remember, beer is salad. Uh, Not a stout. No, stout is... uh, Uh, Stout is is bread in its proper form. Uh, Drink a Guinness. It comes with bread and fish. <laughs> get it, get it tastes true. like medicine to me. I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. Well, don't taste uh, it. That's the kind of it. medicine I like. <laughs> no, no, damn it. No, no, no. This power supply was built in the 52nd week of 1983. Okay, I'm done doing interesting stuff. You can you, you can stop looking at me now. Uh, <laughs> oh, if you insist, Joe. Okay. Oh, that's right. great, Joe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then we got the old fat cat cam. There she is. Oh. Uh. That's Zoe. She's my, she's, we call her Chunkins because she's the fat cat. <laughs> that, that is Mean Cat, aka Ginger. Um, that's this is her. This is Zoe. Is they're, they're the sisters. But this is my. We call her the Chunkin Pumpkin because she's got a lot of orange in her like her sister. Nice. Here's the reason I want Joe's pumpkin, Mac. I was going to say uh, that they would go quite nicely together, kind of, kind of a matching thing there. Yeah, he's going to tease us with it over there. Well, there you go. S- send oh, yeah. Joe. There it send, goes. Send Joe a picture of your cat. Maybe he can feature her. Um, you use that for a wallpaper. Wallpaper. There you go. Oh, I'm the pumpkin touch. I mean, why don't you get a get a green cat and then you can use this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the Grinch's cat, right? He has a dog, but he doesn't have a green cat. I have never seen... Okay, I've seen people... 
I don't know, hair color or whatever you want to call it. They're dogs, green, but I've never seen a cat. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand why we well, do that. Animal, first. But... I don't think the cat would stand for it. You know. uh, nope. <laughs> not my cats. Okay. I'm not even going to clean the flux off the board this time. I'm just... Well, don't be lazy. <laughs> uh, well, I'll clean it off in a moment, but no, I'm... Uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding, Justin. Yeah, three, two, one. <laughs> I heard a spark sound. I heard a, a snappy noise. Yeah, someone made a snappy noise right as I switched this power supply on. Whoa, and that what is that? Uh, oh, it's good. Yes, yeah, progress. You got some bars. Oh, now. yeah. Oh, you, you uh, have some kind of post. Yeah, um, that those jail bars are brought to us by. Uh, you got, you got a sponsor? Yeah. No, uh, no, <laughs> no uh, those jail bars are brought to us by the fact you I forgot to put the VRAM. Yeah, yeah. the stream is actually sponsored oh, by TTV boy. Way. So. I'm, 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 I'm sponsored to you by the Department of Corrections. <laughs> actually, I forgot I forgot to put Great the VRAM. Shadow Legends. No, yeah, I guess it's actually right good on something for no. once in a while. I forgot to put the VRAM sim in, but of course Oops. now it does appear well, as if. Well, now with the VRAM sim, I go to a black screen. Maybe the, the, maybe the VRAM thingy-majiggy is not working. Maybe the thingamaboob. The thingamaboob's not working. Yeah. Thingamaboob. Maybe it should well. have been X-Ram <laughs> instead of VRAM. <laughs> well, I guess now I'll clean the flux off the board. Yeah, I just realized I don't have a SCSI cable for this system. Oh. Uh -huh. That means I have to steal it from another machine. Well, at least you have a cable somewhere, at least. <laughs> I got one right here. You, need, you grab it. Oh, okay. Oh, Let me reach into the screen. Uh, <laughs> if Joe, where's the like transporter? Star Trek, just send it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you need the transporter, Joe. <laughs> we we do have transporter like effects, huh, Joe? What? Wait, what? I need a SCSI cable. You need a SCSI cable. Yeah, bust out the transporter. You know what I just realized? But it's not going to be that fast. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you want to make one. Our transport no, is USPS or I'll something I'll just like steal that. one. I got Why did it take us until Mac OS 12 to have it so we could see the date and the time at the same time in the menu bar? Let's make Because? Because Apple had to uh, have... Uh, Contact. They wanted uh, to drag it out as long as they could, I because guess. Because Apple know. knows better <laughs> than you. That's right. Obviously. Uh, they uh, they needed okay. to save that feature for an OS where they didn't have enough other features to fill the page. Unlike Microsoft. In other words, they were saving they it for just... when they ran out, of ran out of ideas. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, like Microsoft, okay. they just rearrange the features. <laughs> yeah, they're they're the good about features. that. You know, Word has and been the same. Sometimes they go backwards in the features. Yes, Word has been the same for hey, twenty Al. years. Hey, buddy. Hey, kitten. At least to me, because I only use the features I've been using for the last twenty years. Yeah, seriously. Oh, yeah. look, Word's got a new feature. Oh, wait, no, they just moved that old feature somewhere uh, to this new place, yep. and now I see it when I launch Word. Or it's yep. kind of like, you know, they take a feature away and they decide, oh, wait, we're going to reintroduce it again later on, but as a new feature. Yeah. Due to customer demand. No, <laughs> it's never due to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. I got my mail kitten now here chilling on my desk. Well, your, your kitten looks like a um, logic board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's just... A Justin's. logic board that's covered in alcohol and flux again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, probably. Wait, those I, are not gold. Oh, oh, those are not gold I got a pins. long bucket list of stuff, and that's one of them. A bucket. An ultrasonic <laughs> cleaner. Yeah, there you go. I got an ultrasonic cleaner. I need to get a uh, a three D printer next. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I would. Aren't I would love you to have selling those? But I would never actually use it. Aren't you selling a bunch of systems so you can buy one? 
Yeah, I already sold a bunch of junk. I still have to just not buy more junk instead of the oh. junk <laughs> instead of the three <laughs> printer. <laughs> that sounds like any any nerd. I need to stop buying more stuff. Ultimately, it's the uh, tr trinity of uh, ultra ultrasonic cleaner, microscope, and the three D printer. <laughs> well, with what you guys do, I would say the microscope would probably be the best, the best of a, best best of both worlds, of all worlds, or whatever. I need to get uh, a desoldering station. Yeah, yeah. And I have two of those. <laughs> a soldering station that has temperatures and not numbers. <laughs> How hot is it? <laughs> numbers. Yeah. It, it's set to Ooh. four. It's like a British four. oven. You good? Hey, hey, oh. look. Cursor. I got a mouse cursor. Yeah. Hey. Hey. All, All right. right. Nice. What'd you do? Is that vertical stuff just from the scaler? That's probably from the scaler. I yeah. alter. Uh, I uh, cleaned the flux off the board. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I told you. <laughs> I thought that stuff was non-conductive. Oh, look, look, a little. Uh, oh, 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 that's, that's good. Okay, it's it's a lie. It's broken. Throw it away. There's no, no floppy there. Okay, it's time for a boost, Cuzzy. <laughs> let's, let's load it up. Oh. Hey, RetroTech, yeah, I'll send you my uh, ex uh, non-exploded reefer cap so you can explode them. Done. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what was that noise? It's like a snap snap. It's a switch. Oh, on, the, switch. on the analog board. <laughs> All right. I was, that sounded like sparks were flying there for a second. Yeah. He was just no. making. Sh it's an was... arc welder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy in the chat says he'll trade me a storage unit full of PCs for my storage unit full of Macs. I don't think that's a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in oh. uh, in our house, uh, our PCs well outnumber the Max. I think we have what total of three Max in the house, and then like probably twenty plus computers. Oh, uh, Jeremy, PCs, speaking of PCs, where do you yeah. live? <laughs> What's the address? Uh, just around the just around the corner, yeah. you know, just down the street. And what what, uh, what time do you have? What's There's that? at least four PCs in my storage unit, though. There's a IBM 386 and a 8088 and some generic 486 stuff. So, yeah, Justin, have... this thing actually booted before, and then it would give you bad RAM errors and, like, the, uh, adjust. the app, right? Uh, it would uh, give me a sad Mac. Oh, look, we got a happy Mac there. Ooh. What kind of sad Mac? Like, a uh, one with a F error or, or or was it a system bomb? It was doing something. You know, I think you ran it just like rebooted. Diagnostics through Snooper, though, right? Hey. Yeah, I ran, I ran, I ran diagnostics nice. with Snooper, and Snooper told me I had a RAM error. Was it, I thought it was just because the, the RAM screen wasn't connected. Like well, yeah. it, and it, the thing is, when it told me I had a RAM error, the only RAM was the onboard RAM. That's why I was replacing the chips. But silly me thought, oh, I can have more onboard RAM. If no, I just cheating. fill these other pads, yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> oh, um, I would like to. It's not really a secret because the uh, the commit is has been made. But if you'll notice, that is I booted from a blue scuzzy, and notice what I booted. <gasps> oh, I wonder what that is. Hmm. Ah, it's a hmm. fake CD. I call shenanigans. <laughs> what? <laughs> An optical disc? I mean, a blue scuzzy? How is that somewhere? possible? What is Moof Blue? Uh, that's the other volume on my external uh, blue scuzzy. Oh, blue. Cool scuzzy. Guy. Yeah. Got it. Where's the fun in that? You need a real CD ROM drive. <laughs> you're, you're, leaking, you're leaking information. Eric Helgeson's going to, like, I don't know, uh, the uh, throw up. Yeah. <laughs> And he's in the chat. Yeah. Well, if, if Eric in should, one, if Eric like wants, okay. Ah, uh, there's not enough uh, memory. Too much. Too okay. Much can we look? What's the actual specs of this thing? How yeah, much, much RAM is on it? Well, this is a Macintosh LC. It has two megabytes of onboard <laughs> memory. I have not put the other uh, Sims in it yet. Hey, Justin, and that's the exact same specs as the Mac 128 I was working on earlier. Yeah. <laughs> except except the LC has an O20 in it. 
Yeah, I know, but I mean the RAM and the... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The same RAM. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. So in order to run Snooper under System 7, I need to put some more RAM in. Or I have to go find the working floppy drive that I have and uh, boot and the System 6 disk that I have floating around somewhere with Snooper on it. You don't have any RAM for that? I do. I do. I just didn't put it in yet. I mean, you could just... Put the Sims in and then run what you got. And then you'd have yeah, yeah, I just did that. Okay. Yeah, I just hadn't... Uh, I, I was going one step at a time. I wanted to make sure that the onboard RAM seemed to be working. So I only went through uh, a total of 12 RAM chips to install four on the board. <laughs> ah, not bad. Easy. That was cakewalk. Yeah. Hey, as long as it works, who cares? Yeah, yeah. Well, Exactly. And say those RAM chips for something else. Maybe they still work, just not, not, not with this particular board. That's true. Well, at least the ones that I didn't, like, power up while they were shorted and crooked, I'll keep those. Those could still work. Yeah. Well, they might still. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, that's true. I'll put, them in a ba I'll mar I'll put them in a bag and mark it with a question mark. Right. Leave yourself well, uh, a mystery I, for I, next time. I, I metered the uh, brightness control and the pot's fine. It works fine. Because it goes oh. way up in the and resistance goes. and stuff. Star Trek. There oh. we go. Now we're talking. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> is that legacy recovery? That is that the disc that has like every installer for like yes. 15 yes. years on it? Okay, yes. yeah, I've got an it's image awesome. of that on my on my SCSI to SD. But uh, it would be great to run it on a, on a blue SCSI. I just copied it to, uh, you know, uh, from the CD to a hard drive image. And it yeah, it's on my it's on my SCSI to SD, like on a like seven point five partition. But I would like to have a bootable one that I don't have to use a real CD for. Oh, did you add more RAM to that? More memory? Yeah, you go up to four. How much? How, how, oh, up to four. Okay. Oh, oh. That's what Garth put in mine. He maxed it out. Yeah. I have on my bench an Apple <sighs> Platinum that I just rescued. Nice. I had oh. one of those on my bench a minute ago. <laughs> Chat, we can't in this uh, stream. We might want to see it. Yeah, we can't see the. Uh, we can't see Joe's bench. Oh, hold on here. Oh, Let's make him big. All right, Joe. We can see your bench now. Oh, nice. What? Gee. Beauteous. That beautiful thing. I wonder if your reset key works. Computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out. Oh, so this comes with the uh, key. Okay. Card slot six. It comes with. Your bench is complete without tones. Why is there a card in slot three? What is that? Uh, I'll tell you in a moment. Um, okay. Right here, it's a secret. Connect. <laughs> Port internally because this was used in a science lab, and so they use that for data acquisition. Yeah, that's, that's definitely an upgrade. This <laughs> card is some sort of data acquisition card. It is not, it doesn't say who made it, what it's for, or anything. It's got some buffers, some NAND gates, and that's it. Like, I don't, even, I don't even know what you would use it for. But there are so many Apple II cards where they just didn't bother to write who it was or what it was for or anything on there. It doesn't have any it's logic. It doesn't have ROM on it. Nothing. It's so there is a group. Those are the surprise a, me cards. There's a group on Facebook called Apple II Cards. Yeah. And if you go in there and you post a picture of your card, there's probably some buddy in that group that will be like, oh, that's one of those things. Yeah. Some oh, nerd. Yeah. Some yeah. nerd will tell you. Of course, it has the new form factor in the column card here that I can't get out because it's not going to well. And that's it. So let's turn it on and see what happens. No whammy. Poof. Wow, that sounds just like a computer, Joe. <laughs> I am Bender. Please insert Gerder. You know, I had to call uh, <laughs> at. For work, one of our offices, the uh, the cable internet was down, so I had to call whatever the cable provider was. I think it was like a local, localish cable provider, 
and the automated system was like, okay, we'll reboot your modem. And it, while it was rebooting the modem, it literally did that sound. It was like the beep, 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 Oh, yeah. For like two be, minutes. And then AT&T. It, was, <laughs> it, it wasn't at and It was like a... Mom and pop type thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it was like owned by another cable company or whatever. Atlantic, Atlantic Broadband or something, I think it might have been. But it was like... Yeah, it's just funny, and I think they're owned by like Optimum, I think. But yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, it's rebooting the button. It's like, beep, 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 and it's like, yes, the computer is processing. Have you tried yeah. turning it on and off again? Yeah, because like the person who called in and said their connection was slow from home, and it turned out they ended up having um, DSL still. Ooh. Oh yeah, we had a, we had a developer that had DSL, and he's like. He was working from home. This is even before, yeah, you know, before COVID and everything. Yep. He started working from home, and he was just having nothing but problems. Mm -hmm. It's like, did a speed test. It's like, well, you're getting like two megabits down. Like, uh -oh. what? What internet do you have? And he's like, I have uh, AOL. You know, DSL, yeah. AOL. And it's like, don't don't get use cable or yep. fiber. Oh, and he's yeah, like, I just opened. I just like, opened no, I the next Apple II line. and it. The uh, the refill exploded and it looks like it failed short. Pretty cool. That is awesome looking. Yeah, we had um we had AT&T. What you doing over there? Um, for years it, and it was horrible. It, it dumped right into the monitor, I think. Yeah, what's up with that? Good it's question. Pretty. Self test. We'll know, we'll know in a moment. Maybe. I'm gonna do solder this uh, refill and put it on the Hall of Fame. This is awesome. <laughs> Oh, we, I was going to wall of shame. Yeah, well, it just means I'm going to put it on Twitter and be like, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, that's, that's definitely the wall of shame. You put it on Twitter. Oh, I was going to say, uh, Adam, when you were plugging in your 2E power supply, uh, yeah. I, I fooled myself earlier this week because I plugged something in that I got recently and turned it on and it didn't turn on and I didn't have the power plug plugged in all the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, now it works. It just needed motivation. It needed time. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I, uh, I double-checked the power cord and it powered up and I was able to boot it. and That was good because I was afraid that first power on when nothing happened, I was afraid that, oh no, it got damaged in shipping. Uh, despite the awesome me. packing of the person that <laughs> sent it to me. Joe's yeah. reminding me that I need to make you a disc with this. Justin, I for uh, yes. almost forgot about that. Yes, I do want to run it on the Franklin. And that program that you said uh, would tell us what it thinks the Franklin is, is that the same program? Yeah. I'm going to okay. send you four or five discs of stuff that might be interesting or fun to run on there. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would be curious uh, to see if it, if it thinks that the Franklin's... Uh, upper 16k as a language card or or okay. what yeah expect that on uh probably tuesday okay i'll yeah. give you tracking when it goes okay uh, a2e diagnostics disc i think by disc this is also that doesn't go in that folder that goes in that folder okay cool so we're just going to replace the file because it doesn't boot. Oh, no. yeah. Uh, so far, my RAM test is passing Ow. with flying colors. Excellent. Good. Yeah. Solve the problem. Um, Apple 8 bit. Uh, this image archive. <coughs> Diagnostics. Let's get a paper towel here. Are you fixing your uh, blue schedule there, Joe? Is that what's going on? Please. What? Are you uh, <laughs> updating your Blue Scuzzy software or something? Uh, He's no. running an Apple too. <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, I tried to boot a diagnostic uh, disk image on this Apple II and it crashed, but I booted another oh. image and it worked. So I'm replacing the image, overwriting the image in case it's just a bad image. Hey, I demand that we be able to update our Blue Scuzzies from Apple II East. <laughs> well, I didn't know he was doing it from Apple II E. I'm just, oh, I'm just I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. This is I'm all new to blue, me. Yeah. I want to put a blue SCSI in all the things. <laughs> well, well, I got a blue SCSI to work in an Apple II. You just need a SCSI card, which is... Works fine, uh, yeah. 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 As much as four blue SCSIs. <laughs> and image. 
Ta da! Hey, Joe, question. The answer? Um, <laughs> the LEDs were this blue SCSI. Yeah. The four pins. Yep. Which way? Hooky. The Which way red hooky? wire is positive, and you can look really, really, really closely. Positive is silk screen on there, but if you give me about three and a half seconds, I can tell you exactly. Oh, okay. Um, actually, I can't because I'm all out of. I'm literally all out of blue scuzzies, uh desktop version, so I I don't know. Oh, okay. I'd have to open the Gerber file. This refill looks pregnant. <laughs> Wait, what's the question? <laughs> Sorry, Wait, I want to see this. What do you mean? Uh, oh, Joe, Jeremy's it. asking you if you've opened his box yet, and asking you if you'd like to put a blue right. scuzzy in an Apple II. In um, question number one, no, his box is next on my list of things to open. Uh, number <laughs> two, putting a blue scuzzy in an Apple II would require me to have some sort of Apple II scuzzy interface. I and have if, one. And if yes, then yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, BB25 final. We have two of those. Someone had a question about the LEDs. Who, what, where, what uh, LEDs? <laughs> no, someone, someone had a question about LEDs. Yeah. Eric. Uh, what was the question? Oh, Which I'm trying to make sure I connect these correctly on the board. Um. Because it's not in the uh, documentation. Um, um, Joe, Jeremy what? just says uh, he sent you one in that package. Wait, what? I think that package has a SCSI card for an Apple II in it, Joe. Interesting. We might just have to open that box. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, hey, uh, surprise. <laughs> can you switch to my camera for just a sec? Sure. Sure. Positive is closer to the SD card slot. Well, yeah, I can that. see it on the Where's board my now. Pregnant Rifa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. still good. Put it back Dude, on Man. the LED leads it's themselves. Awesome. Which one is positive? Um, oh, wow. the longer leg. Look at that. Yeah, it's made. Oh, sure. It's already put together. Oh. Red. Red is positive. To escape. Okay. <laughs> All right, you can go off my camera now. <laughs> Looks like it gave birth already. It's cracked. <laughs> Let me change the different I think camera. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Tom? Uh, Apple 3. Oh. Tom's Ooh. been kind of quiet lately. Is it going okay, Tom? Yeah, I, I built the uh, Joe's adapter thing for the Apple 3. Oh, yeah. I just so right now, I have color. Oh, that's right. You. I just realized Garth has an LC on his bench. And a oh, yeah. microphone. <laughs> He's been working on it. Remove his shipping label from this hey, I, I knew he was working on an LC type, but I didn't realize that he had an LC as well. Uh, on the bench. It's another one of the ones I need to recap. I have like a stack of like six or eight boards. <laughs> Well, this one's recapped. The caps look uh, better. I shouldn't have recapped it, though. That was just silly. It's got good RAM in it now. Hey, you never know. This. That recap may have actually helped something, for all you know. Well, w there was one cap that was not soldered. I, I didn't realize it. It was, it was like... Yeah. It might have helped something. Oh, I forgot this one's heavy. Thanks, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it weighs 20 pounds. Oh my god, that's a, that's a tiny package. That's what she said. I just have to remember how to <laughs> <laughs> Must have bread right. in it. Sorry, I'm a child. Hey, uh, we're all, we're all is, this many. Is anybody close to Sonoma, California? Uh, does this Florida hmm. count? I don't think so. I think both. Uh, <laughs> both. Dave and I are relatively close in this yeah. sense that it would well, someone be in the same state. state. Someone on Facebook Marketplace is asking for a hell of a lot of money for a Bondi Blue. It's Bondi. What's a Bondi? Bondi. What's a hell of a lot? 160 bucks. <laughs> Golly. What? That's a ripoff. Well, I saw one for 90 at a um, 
Didn't I got like twelve of those. Come down here, jumpsuit. fifty bucks. You can walk out with it. Yeah. <laughs> I paid twenty dollars for them usually. And the Isn't screen they have didn't like work. A, a floppy drive or something for like twenty five thousand. Oh, I posted that. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> it was half yeah, off. The, oh, it was the uh, <laughs> they dropped the it Apple, for fifty thousand. The Apple five point two five computer. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think it's because they had the box for the floppy drive, and that that's all the wording they knew. So they just called it that. It's hilarious. I messaged them and said, is this still available? And they haven't answered me. <laughs> of course it's still available for 25000 no, Nobody in their right mind is going to pay that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> well, I, I messaged the person that Joe gave me a couple hours ago with the cheap 2C, and no response oh. so far. I mean, it is late at night. Well, it wasn't then. Oh, and it was no. Ohio, so it was. Is it Ohio? Is Ohio still Eastern Time? Yes. Yep. <laughs> okay. So okay how about Michigan. it's the weekend? They're out partying. That's true. Well, they, you know, they're spending all their unless they're like us. Their, their Apple IIc money. To be fair, the town is Oberlin, which is a big, uh, you know, it's a big uh, college town. So who knows? They may have something going on. Then again, yep. college isn't in session, so I don't know. Well, there's still college students that probably live in the area. The box said this tied up, but it came out upside down, so I don't know if it was supposed to or not. Well, Garf sent me a link earlier God, this was, week this about something sad. that was on Craigslist, and uh, I uh, I tried to get a hold, but it was already gone. Yeah. It is, it, what in the world is that, Joe? This What's that? Big Z286 machine. <laughs> Holy that one link you sent me earlier the, during the week on that uh, monitor and that Mac. Mm, that's awesome. <laughs> it, was, it was a pretty was good hard. deal because in the sense that the monitor was pretty good and the Mac was absolutely, absolutely terrible Mac, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, it may have more, too. I don't know what happened, Jeremy, but they shipped this thing. You, said it, you, you had it labeled this side up, but it was upside down in the box. And it went everywhere. <laughs> like it fell apart. So oh, uh -oh. no. So, what is that thing? Over here is all bent up. And... Oh, my gosh. If anybody can fix it, Joe, you can. Do they actually pay attention to this side up? Dirty? It's not in that bad shape. They ignore ah. this side up anyway, so. I can figure out what the. Uh, what power voltage, what voltage is it for? I can disconnect that, power this whole thing up. So it works. I'm not going to do that tonight. But. Why not? we got plenty of time. I mean, what, what is what is, what is is Steve's record? Like 10 hours or something? No. Uh, nine Good. hours, 38 <laughs> minutes? Yeah, I think it's nine hours, 38 minutes. <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm off tomorrow. Dave's off tomorrow. We're halfway there. Now, I watched that whole Steve stream, and I wasn't even on it. Yeah. <laughs> so did I. I watched the whole thing too. I was there too. Yeah, the same here. Dropped it or something. I mean, it's whole slides just just great. It's it's hilarious. I mean, I could sit here and melt melt metal into my soldering yeah. iron for a little while longer. Joe, sure. he says he put the SCSI card in one of the slots. Yeah, I'm sure. Slot. <laughs> put it in one of the slots. Good luck. Until mean? until none of them were in the slots. What is that? Like a fifty-one fifty or something? It's a Zenith two eighty-six. Oh, PC. That's too modern for me. Yeah. Two eighty-six is too modern. Well, I'm sitting over I, here I working on them either. Apple II. That's true. So basically, this machine—it's almost like an S. It's like an S one hundred style. The main board is really just a backplane because that's the computer. Yeah. Right. This is the CPU and memory. Like an S100 kind of deal? Yeah. CPU's here. This is probably for the FPU. RAM. Nice. Alright, so I got I got the second Aztec power supply that's electrically identical to the first one. And it had, but it had that blown up Rifa in it. Mm. I think this one will work without recapping the rest of it. <laughs> Are you talking about another, might, pregnant, might another, like another pregnant? Will reaper? it work? I don't know. Let's find out. I got a platinum over here. I'll try. I heard who got a bomb. That's a really snappy switch. Yeah. Got the charm. Is that you, Dave? 
That was mine. Which is? Bong. Oh, you gotta love that sound. Though. That's, funny, the per it's... that's the performer. <laughs> that's from the Rominator. Yeah, my, my brother yeah, took uh, my... Um, he wanted to play around with my classic Mac Pro, my CMP, my 2009 CMP. Uh -huh. So he's already bought he bought more memory for it already earlier uh, a few years ago. He's got um, he switched out he's swapping out the video the video cards now. So I mean it's, I have I stopped using it because he gave me I, I stole his uh, M1 Mac Mini so. Uh. <laughs> All right. He wanted a, he wanted a tinker. Doesn't work. Oh, bummer. All right. It just means if it doesn't work, it just means more tinkering. Yeah. Yes. I'll just have to replace all the other caps. Yeah. Dave, did you figure it out yet? No. Um. I pulled the board off uh, just to make sure that potentiometer was okay, and it, it works. It's, it's got um, resistance on it when you move the wheel. It changes really quick. It's got a lot of, a lot of, a, a lot of resistance on it. Isn't it possible the tube is just dead now since it was plugged in wrong? No, the tube's fine because it warms, it warms up. When I first turn on, you feel the static charge on it from the gauzer, so it's, 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 it's getting power. Um, and when I first her heard it, I heard uh, the uh, flyback. Charge the tube, uh, which because I uh, haven't heard it for a while, so I know the flyback's okay. So um, there's something on the analog board that's just not right. It doesn't something on the analog board it doesn't like itself. It does not. That sucks because because the machine is running right now. There's just no video out to the monitor. There's, do, we're not getting a raster on it. The easiest way to find out what it is, you put your hand directly on the analog board on the outside when you turn it on. <laughs> feel around. Uh, I did that. It it, it 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 gives you a little tingly <laughs> sensation in some spots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad he didn't t he didn't tell you to touch the neck of the CRT or something. C I A. Interesting. Tom's got a bunch of pretty charts. Yeah. It's all nice and staticky on the front here, so that's good. It's an Apple Three is a business computer, so therefore. <laughs> It has horse races. It has Down horse again. races, which is the <laughs> most serious business. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, the, that that's just bets flying don't toasters. happen by themselves, you know. Another memory board. Not uh oh, one. he's back. There he is in the background. He hears you talking about him. Yeah, well, you know. And it's the like computer a cat. he's fixing up with diminishing returns. <laughs> There's your favorite ram. In my house, you mix it. You mention a cat's name. Five minutes later, poof, they're there. The Flurkins <laughs> teleport. Flurkins, Flurkins, yeah. <laughs> get away! Get away! Don't touch the ball spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing about us, about both of us. We're, we're both, you know, ball spotted. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely getting a good charge on it now. Zenith hey, 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 hey. came from the computer from computer reset. <laughs> it's historic. <laughs> oh, I have a whole pile of stuff from computer reset that I don't get rid of because it's historic. Cool. That's a PCMCIA interface card. Sell it right now. I'll show you. Put it on eBay. He'll never know. <laughs> He's on chat listening on us. No, he'll buy it and say, I found another. I found a second. I can connect. <laughs> Please, sir. More. thing is, because I so happen to have, right here, the literal exact same thing. What? Sell it to him. Sell it to him. Sell it to him. Okay. I don't know why I kept it. 
thingy. What, broken? Put the a thingy that adapter in. thingy? Yeah, so this is a piece thingy of thingy. <laughs> This thingy. is actual sockets. So you could put PCMCIA into a PC that didn't have to. Oh. Uh, Sweet. So I it has a, it has it a, a slot that. faces out the back of the PC. <clears throat> Oh, he's scratching off his scratch ticket. Wait a minute. You're rich. Yeah. Did you win? He's a millionaire. He's buying us all Macs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, want, we don't expect much. There you go. You know, if I can get a G4 Cube or two and, you know, a Lisa. Um, who do we appreciate? I'll take a Lisa. Well, it does appear as if this might actually be a winning ticket. Yeah. I need a second, Lisa. But no, there might be a pro <laughs> But there might be a pro I might figure I figured out why they threw this all out. Huh? They scratched I'm not, too much off. I think they might have scratched too much off of it. Yeah. Because I'm not sure they were supposed. This is where they started to scratch. I'm you not sure scratch. they were supposed. Well, I think they just. As long as the, the writing's legible, you can scratch the entire everything off of the ticket. It's still fine. Well, let's let's see if this actually is a fifty dollar winning thing ticket that I is, found. It, is the barcode in the corner? The barcode looks like it no, is. No, it's true. They don't care what you scratch off. No, I mean I used to buy lottery tickets out of the machine, and I would just scratch the corner off and scan them right immediately without playing it at all, and it would be, tell me winner or loser. Like I, I was just lazy. Well, it's also possible they already redeemed this and then threw it out in the ground of the park. Wait a minute, that doesn't no, make they sense. They redeemed it, they keep it, don't they? Yep. Yeah, they yep. do, uh, you're right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, uh -huh. let, let, I, I was so curious. I wanted to see, is this a winning ticket or not? So, Worst case scenario, they'll take it in some place, turn, try turning it in, and they'll tell you. Yeah, actually, they'll scan can, it for you. Actually, I can just take it to one of those uh, standalone uh, gas kiosks. Yeah. They put in their thing that tells you if you're a winner or not. Yep. Yeah, well, loser. Well, loser. Wait. <laughs> well in yeah. his case, he doesn't. He's a winner anyway, either way, because he didn't spend any money on it. So no ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it was you just got nothing like, to lose. I've got nothing to lose. All right. I have gas right. money to get there to get it. I always find it weird the way you guys have your, your lottery system set up that you lose half of it to taxes. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because... Because here we don't. Low, low payouts. What, what you like win you, is what you win. Yeah, but like you, you win like $100, $100 or $500 on a scratch-off, you just get that. You don't have to pay tax. I mean, you're supposed to report it, but you don't. Yeah. You don't report it. You, yeah, don't you get to the big bucks. That's when you got to pay the taxes because they yeah. want to cut. Yeah, but the, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I take it out. It makes no sense to me that you lose half of that to taxes. <laughs> not, it's not half. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's like, like 30%. 30, yeah, 30 yeah. something percent. Yeah. It's income, so you have to pay income yeah. tax. Income tax yep. on it. Yep. Although some states you don't necessarily state. have to pay state taxes on your state lottery ticket, but yep, nope. that's correct. Not like in Florida, no state taxes in Florida. Yeah. And the, and the weird thing is though, when you actually win, let's say you win the lottery, you know, a few million dollars or whatever, and you have to pay taxes on it, they don't take out the full amount of taxes once you first get it. Um, they only take out like, you know, half of what you normally get, and then when when the, when your taxes are due, that's when you have to pay the rest. So. So the problem with a lot of people that win the lottery is they spend all the money, figuring they still have to pay more taxes on it, and they still and then they end up owing, they screw themselves. Yep. They're like, oh, I got all the money. Oh crap. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, the way, it's funny how it's funny how the money, how things like you know this type of money, that type you know winning lottery, yada yada yada, getting all that kind of money changes people. You know, just, just live your life the way you were living before, just within your means. Yes, your means are higher, but you don't have to spend the money because you have it. And you're yep. better than most people. So, you know, it's... Uh... So I took one of these big caps off this power supply, and it looks like leak. somebody vomited underneath it. Ugh. <laughs> Yummy. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't smell like it, too. What does it taste like? It yeah. smells ahead, a little Rachel, fishy. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> it smells just a little fishy. Just a little bit. I'm going to put some... 
isopropyl. Oh yeah, on kill a it with alcohol. Brush. I'm running out of juice. Damn it. Uh oh. Oh, I found another jar. That, mm -hmm. I got. Here, let me transport it to you. <laughs> uh, I got more of this stuff. You gotta have more alcohol. I mean, that's. I mean, I don't even. I mean, like I said, I don't do what you guys are doing, like the recapping and all that stuff. But I use it for cleaning motherboards and mice and keyboards and whatever else. Yeah, that uh, that transporter uh, is a finely tuned uh, device. So Joe's got it set up to where uh, my Mac will beam directly into his. That's uh, like it's the only thing that it'll do. Yeah, right there, and then he can beam it back to me. That's the only way we figured it out. So yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine how cool it would be to have that technology actually existed? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, it's not a matter if, it's when, you know. Not in our lifetimes, that's for damn sure. No. We're not going to be able to see how cool it is. They've, they've done it. Uh, I, I was watching something where some scientists actually have done something very, very similar to that on an on a atomic level. And... Uh, so the the the, uh, the theory is sound. It's just the technology obviously needs to be developed, but they they did it in the lab. So it's like a lot of things, you know. It starts in the lab and it gets out, and then we all we all die. <laughs> oh no! I want a replicator. That's what I want. I want to go up to there and say, I want a you know double cheeseburger, bacon, yada yada yada, and just there it is. T Earl Grey hot. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's a word. I've uncovered a word. Popcorn. I mean, um, pop. Oh. Hey, Bruce. How you doing? <laughs> There's one spot left, Bruce. Bruce, Just we saying. did not talk about you at all. No. This entire year. Absolutely not. There's no, no not. need for you to go look at the video. Hey. <laughs> but if you want, you go ahead. Yeah. yeah. If you look behind me, there's another cat. That's Biddy and the, the white cat. Her name so is you... Bit. <laughs> Bruce, I have this board. There's all these weird things missing. What do I do? What do I do? Look at all. His ears burned a little a little while longer than normal because he's finally showing up. Yeah. Well, let's see. I think it's uh, what okay. early in the morning over there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like about four o'clock or five o'clock. Uh, eight, seven. So seven. how many more hours do we have to go to beat beat the record? Four. Okay. You can do it. I'll do it. Even if it's just Dave and I chilling out here, we'll, we'll get it done. Watch Justin scratch the, the scratch to get. I have no <laughs> idea. What he's doing. I have no idea what he's doing with that thing. I mean, that looks confusing. Yeah, it's this the, look. Uh, this is like a totally confusing game. It's like that hurdle thing or whatever it is that, that they have now. Or whatever those little games they have on Facebook or whatever the heck they are. Is there an application you can just <laughs> scan it with your phone and see if they won or not? I don't know. What was said? Well, uh, <laughs> they talked a lot about that multimeter that you get, that you have. The Kai Wheats K M six oh one in. Justin was talking. <laughs> well, I heard Justin say he didn't <laughs> know. It is. He said Bruce doesn't know what he's doing. That's what Justin said. <laughs> wow. Just yeah, called him a fraud. A fraud. Here, here you go, Bruce. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I wow. gave you a promotional plug for your channel. I yes, said, this, yeah. if you know, need to know where to get one, go to Bruce's channel. And, and here's one. its grandfather. <laughs> its great great grandfather. Boy, yeah, that one's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me make you big, Eric. Hold on. There you go. Oh, yeah. There it's you go. Grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> Old school. And if Bruce was here, he'd say, I think you need a K Wheats meter. <laughs> yes, I, and I would agree with him. Send me one. Send me one. Just wink, Send wink, me wink, one. Wink. Yes, I like my Kiwis. You know Actually, I, I, yeah, do, I do. When too. I do buy one, I'm going to buy a Kiwis, yeah. and I'm I'm going to get it through whatever Bruce's affiliate thing is. Yep, just go on his channel. Yep, that's fine. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's because it's early in the morning where you're at, Bruce. You're not awake yet. <laughs> Oh, go have some wine, uh, Bruce. Should be Start the day out good. Yes. About one. What? 
in the afternoon there, right? Oh, was it that late? Twenty. Yeah, I always add on 14 hours to here, and that's what it is there. Oh, I thought it was, oh, I thought it was earlier than that. It's 13, Monday. isn't it? What time is it where you're at, Bruce? Bruce, the daylight savings screw it up. That might. He says it's 1.15 p.m. there. Oh, shoot. That's what I just oh, said. Earlier than that. Might be. 14, Might be. Yep. Well, yep. it's time for uh, the lunchtime light um, wine Yes. Thing. Oh, it's definitely right. wine thirty. Uh, yeah, brunch. It's wine thirty. It's, it's Sunday morning. You got or Sunday afternoon. You got to have the brunch. Oh, oh yeah, Mo <laughs> hey, mimosas. That's what you should have. It's mimosas. Oh. Is this a gambling channel? Because I'm watching Justin gamble right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so if he gets four words, he gets ten bucks. If he gets three words, he gets five dollars. And and the thing is, I found this in the parking lot at the grocery store. You can't lose. I can't. <laughs> no, he, he absolutely can't. He's got Wait one word so far, so he's not. <laughs> he hasn't won jack crap. Well, he's got two words. He's got pop twice. We're, we're all winners. And sky. So he's got pop sky. So he's got three so, words. Yeah, he, can... he found it in the hands of some old lady in the parking lot. And <laughs> and punched her and in the ran face, off. Took it. Dave helped him knock her out. Bam. <laughs> Dave, Dave has experience with these things. Yeah, right. <laughs> took his club and knock your mama. <laughs> I'll, I'll I have, have no idea where this whole Dave thing beating people up thing started. I have no, I, I missed that one. With him, it started in prison, now. but yeah, it started when he was a wee lad. He used to he used to knock over little girls for their lunch money. <laughs> oh lord! Holy smokes! It's actually really quickly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. It's all fun and games. Trying to recap this board, LZ board. I'm trying to hurry up so much. So you to... Well, Bruce, if you're trying to fix it, <laughs> Lisa, you know, you can join us on stream and we can just Yeah, it. We, we'd love to take a look at your little Lisa there. Yeah. That's up to you, though, of course. Show us your yeah. Lisa. Dave can send you a link if he hasn't already. Show us all the things, Bruce. Show us the way, Bruce One Kenobi. Show me the way. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Tell us again how you. Uh, I think how Joe's you, uh, been in the wine. Tell us again how you prepare lasagna. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I heard something about barbecue sauce and lasagna, and I had to cringe a little bit on that one. Barbecue sauce. And each their own, though. If he likes it, he likes it. Oh yeah. It, it's it, it's his hey, lasagna. Mikey, he oh. likes it. Oh, he said he didn't bring his microphone down to the workshop. I just uncovered two more well, words. Over right. Time to go get that microphone. It'll take you, you what, five minutes just, to get back to your house? And just Justin, join that's how they camera. suck you in. They're going to suck you in. You're going to be a lotto player every day. Yeah, just, just remember, Bruce, we're going to be here for another four hours. We're just breaking, join. breaking Steve's uh, record tonight. Yeah, just, just mime wanna, it. Yeah. Just mime, yeah. Just join and mime. Yeah, Steve can't little do little anything little. tonight because he has a guest over at his house, so... So oh, I like these stories. Uh, <laughs> like it's it's, it's got to be. Is it legal to send forty-year-old fishy capacitors to Canada? <laughs> you need to Trina, right? You're sending it to Trina. No, no. It's how a retro are, How special. many people do we have right now? Is it like nine? Huh? I don't know. I can't see the thing. Yeah. All I see is gambling. Oh yeah, all we see is Justin playing. Let's see what his his crippling gambling addiction over here. <laughs> it's all downhill from here, Justin. Ew. You have a problem. What is this I horrible, know, this... horrible, horrible scratch up game you're playing? This is you know terrible. why these caps are bad? I never even heard of this brand. Richie. Richie brand. Richie and Rich. In Taiwan. Now, the other ones all have like Panasonics and, and hmm. uh, you know, Japanese stuff. This is like barf. Well, don't you know the Japanese make the best stuff? What do you mean, Doc? All the best stuff's made in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's not made in Japan, right? Hmm. What this part failed. Oh, there's it says Steve. made in Taiwan. Steve yep. is here to participate in us beating his record. Sweet. Join us, Steve. Steve join the stream. Steve so can Justin, participate in this, uh, in this fish smell that winner. I have over here. Bring us back, so, to, uh, so, uh, bring us your, back to the your, everyone stream. Your, your yeah. guests all leave, Steve? We made it all up. Just oh, Jeremy oh Tom push the, push the all, all people button. 
Scan the ticket. I'd require me to go find the app. Oh. So I've uncovered one. You got popped twice. Two. You <laughs> need three at least. Take Wah. the ticket. Does pop twice count? Pop, pop. It has to be a full word. Uh, three. Zip. Yeah, you got pop up top zip. too. Zip. Yeah, four. hold on, Steve. I'll send you the link. Hang on. You have zip as well. That's four. So I got four. Yeah, rip. So that's ten bucks. Oh, I have rip. Yeah. On the uh, on the right yeah. side. You have zip and you have pop. All that's right, two. I'll uh, I'll see if they have an app. <laughs> we we all get part of the money, right? There's an app. So there's that. nine of us here. So if you get ten dollars, oh, we all get ninety link. cents. <laughs> yeah, Somebody right. oh, Steve Steve. oh, here we go. They do have an app. Of course they do. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let me. Who scratches? Okay. What did What did Joe say it. earlier? Malware. Here. Yeah. Malware. I'll get oh, you a link. Okay. Here, Steve. All the, Hang on. Well, all the viewers get um, a percentage as well. So yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have twelve. Uh, we have twelve watchers plus the nine of us. So that's twenty-one pennies. divided by ten. Pennies. So we all get like uh, no, some amount of money. Hang on, you. Steve. Link's coming. There you go. Go Here ahead and move us. Uh, switch us to the everybody screen if you could, Dave. Yeah. There, there you go. All right, Steve. Steve. Yep. There we go. Holy, that's a lot of people. Yep. <laughs> hey. Hey-o. Retro. Oh. Fix that Mac 80. Make that Mac 42. Come on. Here's the son, not the daddy. It's weird because I'm older than he is. <laughs> Back to the bench. Uh, oh, wait a minute. You can't hey, be Tom. older than I someone. I sent the link to you on uh, Twitter, uh, Steve. Oh. You like my artwork? You got the Twitters. All right. And the result is. Lose. This ticket this is, is not, not a, a winner. winner. But you stink. Uh, <laughs> uh, what a waste of time. I hate this to get it on the uh, Twitter, Steve. Point. Check your messages on Twitter. Did you see your that link. small print that says stop beating up old ladies for tickets? <laughs> we also dropped several yeah. watchers because you lost. No. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm, oh, getting that was... I'm getting a good morning, a.k.a. cat butt. All right, that goes to show kids and adults playing don't the lottery the never wins. Yeah, don't, don't pick up losing <laughs> lottery tickets off the ground at the grocery store. <laughs> I, I expect a cut of that. Oh, wait, I'm on, I'm on the, the browser that makes my audio garbage. Hold on, let me... Scroll. Oh, yeah, Firefox. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> Hi, Steve. I use Chrome. <laughs> that was quick. I use Chrome. Chrome all the way. I don't care what anybody says. Yes, all that. They take all your data. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Well, I just use Chrome just for streaming, and that's it. Oh, well, I use it for work. It's a lot of apps work are designed for Chrome nowadays. On win yeah, on Windows for work, I use it. But for on the Mac, that's uh, Safari for everything. Chrome for streaming. Let Steve back in. No, don't let him back in. <laughs> nice to meet you, Steve. I'm not Steve. I'm Ron. <laughs> uh, I have a phone with you. He's Refuzz. You and Ron have about the same amount of hair. I love Refuzz. <laughs> oh, and you good. don't appreciate my views on Refuzz. <laughs> so, so Ron. Tom is referring to a funny incident that happened at VCF West. Uh, east, where, wherever I am, uh, oh, where I, <laughs> oh, Joe, I, like I was West wearing somewhere. this shirt, and uh, someone came up to me and said, "Are you Ron?" And I'm like, "Well, first off, if you any <laughs> there's there's not really a look-alike contest going on here." <laughs> and so I kind of looked at the perplexed. I'm like, "Do you think I am?" You know, or something like that. Do and you have then, money for Ron? Do you owe him they, money. They proceeded to just or rail Ron into you me. money. <laughs> about Ron's views on taking old 30-year-old batteries out of computers. And I'm like, <laughs> what a weird hill to die on. I mean, come on. No, no, no. I totally agree. Like, I make friends everywhere I go. That's... <laughs> Yeah, because that was when Ron was posting about, like, uh, you know, it, it was like a recapture thing. It was like, select all the Macs and you should take the batteries out of. And there's like, 
you know, classic and a color classic and an SC, and, you know, an LC. Yeah. I think he was supposed oh. about the refuses as well. And, you know, just yeah, recapping. Yeah, and he, that was he, when he was going on about don't put anything new in either. Don't put a CR2032. Don't put the double A's like remotely. Like, you don't need a clock. What's a clock? <laughs> you don't need time. Clocks? What are they? Yeah. What crazy person do that? Oh, goodness. <laughs> so who, who do we have here? We have Dave. Hello, Dave. Thank you for letting me join. Oh, no problem. Uh, Garth, Tom, I don't know you. Justin's here. You know, Ron, <laughs> if I ever get you in a car, you know, there's going to be trouble to pay. You're going to get abandoned. Hello. Like a Hello. Grill. We, have, Hello. we have Eric. We have Hang on. I got to mute my mic here. Hold on. And uh, Starbucks Tech, you're a new family face. Hello. Look at all your cats. I see one. Ah. Oh, he has like There's two. There's one right there, beside, like right here. Oh, oh that's, it's, it's going to be like a Where's Waldo with two. Cats. Three, oh, four. <laughs> You're making Mike jealous. See Bob over here? That's my big boy. Oh, Mike jealous guy. Hey, Joe. What? Where is Mike? Hi, Dave. Adam. Adam. Michael. Oh, he's on the phone. Hi, Steve. Oh, wow. Mike, get your butt in here. Yeah, come on. Stop falling asleep. Here's here's Anybody here's the tailless some... one. See this little stub? <laughs> hey, Bob. You were pointing, and I was looking at Adam's toothbrush. I'm like, how is that a stub? What, what's, what's, no, what that's only right here. You can't see it, but... My, oh, my cat's my... pooped all over my PSU. I can't, I can't <laughs> test this thing in here. Oh, cats. I have the wrong connector. Hey, Bobby. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, yeah. where'd, where'd the file How's go? How's your bunny doing, Steve? Uh, she's doing a bit better. Um, new medicine that arrived on Wednesday seems to have helped a bit. So That's she's good. sitting up again. Actually, I have her. I have a camera on her. So I'm going to see how she's doing now. Um, oh, crap. I need to give her, her nighttime medicine. So I will go, go, go. be back. And action failed. <laughs> Why is this camera not loading up all of a sudden? All right. I'll be right back. And uh, uh, about talk, five, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> but I, I am uploading a video to Patreon, but I don't know if it's, if it's done yet. It about oh, there, I'll, check, I'll check for you. I'm, I'm logging no, on Patreon right now. It was. It was. Uh, no, I mean it, it's. It's not on there yet. I have to upload to YouTube first, and then to the, the thing. I guess. So Eric I'm, has I'm, the, the Varda of Doom. <laughs> right, I'm gonna yeah. hit the upload thing before I run downstairs. Because it looks like a something. Well, I have capacitors from Mauser for this supply. Oh, that sounds like fun. Be right back. <laughs> That's a lot of. Did you guys see my rough draft video yes. on YouTube or not YouTube on uh, the Twitter thing? Waters. I don't think Peters. so. Oh. Oh. Just in his Moo device. It seriously is the best. It's so really, I love it. It takes me back well, to my. You know exactly what it is as soon as you, st you hear that sound. So. It reminds me of working in my youth on a farm. I did not enjoy it. No, farm life is hard. <laughs> uh, it's why I went to college. I mean, I, my closest thing to working on a farm was picking potatoes because I'm from Maine. Ooh. And yeah, that was I did that for a summer. I mean, it was, good it was good money, but it was a lot. It was yeah. hard work. And then did. The, the, we did that in the fall, and in the summer we picked the rocks when they, yeah. they you know they went through and graded it or whatever you call it. Yep. And yeah, we went and picked all the rocks out. Yeah, I used to do cucumbers and tomatoes. And my dad uh, had dairy cattle, so it was my job to clean the stanchions out. The stanchions? Yeah, you, you, you put 20 cows in at a time. Mm -hmm. in these uh, things that hold their neck so that they'll stand in one spot while you put the milker on them. Well, the business end of the cow produces a lot of waste, right? So it all drops down while you're trying to milk. And uh, my job was to get the uh, pitchfork and shovel because manure yep. and clean the stanchion out while my dad was milking mm -hmm. That all sounds awful. It that was. It's very smelly. awful. It, it's it's <laughs> filthy, dirty, hard work. Yep. And That's and my father paid me to do it, which is unusual. Um, 
I think I made all two bucks an hour or something like that. Anyway. Tax write off. And room and board. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Early social security investment. <laughs> yeah. So oh I'm sure it was under the table. Oh. Wait a second here. That's I'm illegal. At, I'm looking at Tom's background and I see Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have a frame picture of Steve. It's totally real. <laughs> <laughs> no Photoshop at all. I did a double take. I'm like, what? what, what? <laughs> so the, the positive lead goes in the positive hole, and the negative so lead he, goes in the positive hole. I don't think so. Try it the other way around. Plug it in. Okay. <laughs> there he is. He's back. back again. Hey, everybody. It's Steve from Mac84 here. Don't question Mac why... I have a frame around my face. Boo! Hey, so so. <laughs> you gonna show everybody a good morning? Here it comes. Oh, she got off camera. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't That's the thing. Ow! Such a no. cow. <laughs> oh, so and fun. the and the great thing is. I don't have to clean up behind this cow. Yeah, you do. You gotta get the. You gotta yeah, you your gotta. Off when you're done. Gotta clean out the, clean out the tube so it doesn't clog up. Oh well, that, that's not that as too. bad as the uh, other type. Oh God, no. I, I remember there was this um, a farm like well, it was a dairy farm, obviously, and they made their own ice creams and all that stuff. And they would actually, they actually had you went to the farm to go get like a you know. They had their own dairy bar type thing, and oh, the horrid smell! Because you, you could smell the, the wind. The wind was just right. Just right. Oh, that was. Good. I come back and everyone's farting. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. We're talking about dead for twelve. That's funny because we're talking about the, the business end of cows. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Wow. Oh, God. That's that's not the business end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here using solder wick, and you guys are making all that noise. Who's, who's doing that? Other, is that is that all Justin, or is that somebody else? There's someone else that has a uh, desoldering thing going. I'm not doing it. Not me. I'm using wick. See, the only other person I think it could be would be um, Adam, but he doesn't look like he's around. Oh, there he I'm is. Here. He's here. <laughs> Adam. Adam is always there. I'm using solder wick, which does not make that noise. <laughs> okay, are, is I, are you sure? Like it it my good sir. Maybe it was Garth then. Who knows? I'm sure. The only noise. people that are actually working on stuff is, looks like it's well. Dave no, Joe, go go Justin. back to your pose. We're matching. No. Everybody, put your hands on your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so sorry. Simon says It was me, I'm sorry, it was hilarious. Simon <laughs> says make your CRT. <laughs> Someone's just oh, playing yeah. video we'll from say one. That, you're, that you was loud, Garth. Like yeah, it, it's yours it's more quite, a fart than a moo. Quite loud. <laughs> I was about to say that I think I have the world's first L C power supply that didn't have leaky caps, and then I got a nice whiff of that fine, fine fishy yeah, smell. Yeah, you got a surprise there. <laughs> yeah. Well, See, well. I have never recapped anything, so I can't even imagine how smelly that when is. When you have ten people talking, the the farting cow doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, you should mute while you're doing that. <laughs> oh. So I have the wrong scuzzy cable to test this. Oh. oh Build a new one. Oh. <laughs> I don't oh, have yeah. all that scrap stuff laying around to do that. I mean, you just go over and you grab like whatever, like this, and you just plug it in. <laughs> like this. Like I like that. the rainbow colors. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think these are cool, aren't they? That's pretty. Yeah. Like Apple II style. Sorry, I had to take a call. My wife was calling. She's a uh, pet sitting up country for somebody. And uh, so anyway, I had to and talk to her all day. So. Well, wait a minute. Maybe said, I wait do. a minute, I'm talking to my geeky friends. <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> Actually. And Dave was never heard from again. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an SC with a drive in it. No, I'm just I'm just planning my next uh, uh, mission. 
Oh, uh, see how I can finagle Max out of old people. So there you go. <laughs> finagle or beat? <laughs> beat. Yeah. I, I thought beat I'd down. say it before Retro Techies. Uh, he's spreading this awful rumor. I mean, it's just, it's really, it's really I, mushroomed out of control. <laughs> I got so, it got so bad that Justin's beating up little old ladies for, um, you know, their, their scratch offs. I think that could be your whole channel. Just you going to old people's houses and beating them until you get a, a new Mac. Like all, of, <laughs> all your videos. Holy. Oh, goodness. I'd subscribe. Oh, wow. wow. So would you, uh, would you join, Steve? I, yeah. I think I'm going to leave. This is scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, you're, you're safe. You're safe. safe. Time. I got to I gotta go, you know. You, you, even, even Bruce is you, you have you're, you're good, Steve. You have security rabbits. You're good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 one, one slightly hobbling one. I think my LC's <laughs> done in the. Uh... How is your rabbit doing, Steve? Uh, she seems to be doing okay. I, I, I noticed on Wednesday after we gave her the new medicine, she seemed to sit up a bit more, but she sort of backtracked a bit, so her weight's mm. a, slightly down. Like nothing concerning at this point, but it's just yeah, gonna be an interesting couple of couple of days, and hopefully. It continues well. I mean, at the, we had to drive her like an hour to get like laser treatment on her leg, and then it's now we're back. And oh wow, fun times. So that's why, yeah. like, I was like, oh, we'd get this video out on Saturday, and then a week goes by. I'm like, oh, well, that didn't happen. <laughs> well, that's so worth it. Yeah, no, she she's a trooper. So hopefully, she... how old is she now? I think she's eight or nine. We don't know how old oh. she was when we got her, but we got her in 2014. So. Yeah, we got her from a rescue, and she was, like, abused and everything. She wouldn't even, like, come uh, up to you, didn't want to be pet or anything. And now she's a big mush. Like, I'll, I'll, like, I'll be able to bathe her, and she'll only try and bite two of my fingers off, you know. So. Oh! <laughs> like, like, oh only like two. Uh, young she's lady right gentle. here, her and her brother were, um, we, did, we got him from the talk people, uh, but they were abused as well. Yeah. She had her back hips dislocated. Oh, jeez. And then her brother, which I don't know where he went, but you met Bob um, earlier. He was thrown through a window as a kitten. Oh, yeah. She was. She came to the rescue like almost completely bald. I guess she was Ooh. used as like a breeder rabbit, so they like oh, took her babies God. away for God knows what reason. Oh, and um, so she like was very fearful of humans and up for Can't right reasons. Um, and so we had her for about a year or two, and then she finally was like warming up to like, all right. You give me treats every time you pet me. This this is a good thing, you know. So yep. yeah, yeah. It was like um, when Bob and uh, Bob and Oso here came. And there's Bob. He's down there. Um, they came in the house. They hid under our furniture for about six weeks. Yep. Uh, they were kittens. Um, they're about they're probably six months oldish, maybe more. Um, and we're just like you said, you know, love talking to them, feeding them, treating them, you know, petting them. What I would actually have to do with Bob, because he would hide under my brother's bed, and I had to bring the food up there and then leave and let him eat, and then I would lay on the floor and he'd come out and lay, put his head like right by, right here. But as soon as I moved, he'd run back under the bed. But as long as I just laid there and didn't touch him, he was fine. And then yeah, I, I think Mike I was saying weeks. one of his one of his cats was like that. Like when he first got him, he was under the couch for like a month. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I just don't get it. I was saying this earlier on the stream. I just don't understand how people can do that to animals. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Don't, hate, don't get me started. I, I'd, rather don't hang, me started. I'd rather hang out with the cats than people. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's why I work from home. Garth, what are you doing to that poor board? I'm just noticing uh, all the projects uh, people are doing. <laughs> oh, I'm putting caps on a cell seaboard. Oh. Nice little from cats. Little I baby cats. God, I love so much how much... The feeling of the, uh, when the you know, the, the solder just joins into it. Dave's putting the keys back on, looks like. And I'm putting, I'm recapping an LC power supply that I bought off eBay because I was too lazy to order wires to make a new wire harness for an LC power supply. So I just bought an entire power supply. You're giving yourself more work. That's what you have to do in this hobby. <laughs> yep. Sounds like. Oh, I'll just think... do this. It'll be simple. No. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't Adam totally working on a power supply this. too? Slightly yeah, we worked, worked on a couple of them. Yeah, I'm actually on my third Apple IIe power supply right Don't now. Don't make me look bad. Jesus. <laughs> hey, I just want to just introduce myself and say hi, you know? <laughs> Don't yeah. do any of this stuff. <laughs> yes, Joe? I'll send her. Dude, I have a prayer for you. <laughs> no. Oh, God. <laughs> First of all, wait for <laughs> Hey, Steve. There's pieces down here. 
Steve, That's my wife up. calling. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have like a three, yeah, eleven foot stack of printers, Steve? But I found out I can carry a printer. They, I asked them. They, could, they said yes, I can carry a printer on the plane with me. I'm gonna bring you another printer. <laughs> I'm gonna move. <laughs> yeah. So, so the, the funny thing was that uh, a friend of mine. Uh, at one of the VCF events, I think it was February VCF East that just that passed. Um, threatened to bring me a printer for free, and I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. It's a laser <laughs> writer, and I already had one in my basement that like kind of worked. And then at that event, Tom was like, oh, I have a printer to give you. And then he looks down and he sees the one that my friend just gave me. He's like, it's exactly like that one. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh. I was threatening. <laughs> well, I was threatening with the printer for a while. I was gonna. Yes. It wasn't the February one. It was the um, name. the oh, next probably the one but, before then. Yeah, no, it was the one after that because I was gonna give you the one in February, oh, but my my deck was just full of ice. Yeah, like, you... I'm not gonna die to give Steve this printer. <laughs> There's but, a uh, that you go for your job. <laughs> right, but, but like yeah, I, had the, I had this. So someone else um, was gonna throw out this Apple personal laser writer, and he's like. If you, like if you don't want it, I'm gonna recycle it. I'm like, well, it's beige and it's apple. I can't let it be recycled. I'll <laughs> grab it, and I'm sure I can find some sucker. I mean, great. <laughs> you have you have a nice portrait of that sucker on your left. <laughs> yeah, I know that cracked me up. When I noticed that. <laughs> and then uh, and then I asked Steve. I'm like, hey, do you want this printer? He's like, you're like, no. And I'm like, please. And you're like, no. And I'm like, yeah. well. If you don't take it, it's going to get recycled. And you're like, okay. maybe. <laughs> and I, I had to give you a blue scuzzy to take the printer. I'm like, hey, Steve, what the heck? Here's, what? The, here's this printer. <laughs> wow. Take a blue scuzzy as well. So I don't have to feel too bad about giving you this printer. That, that blue and then you bring it cool. home. Oh, yeah. No, it was it was a uh, not a reject, but the case was messed up. Both, both the ones I gave you were failed 3D printed cases. Gee, I, I didn't notice. Is that the one that, that you took the Dremel to? Yeah. <laughs> I was on one of these streams and I'm like drumbling the hell out of this case and cursing your name. <laughs> I had to take it to like three times. It was just like I'm shoving it back into this case and I'm like, well, yeah, it was, it was, now. Yeah, it was just a bad 3D print, but I'm like, well, Steve doesn't need a good 3D print. <laughs> it, it also didn't yeah, ask that it was like in my in my car's toolbox for like a month. I mean, that like probably had more to do with the fact you couldn't fit it in. No, I'm gonna blame the bottom, on yeah, the bottom being messed up was definitely me. It was always it didn't hear it didn't adhere to the printer, right? So that was but, uh, that was the, that was the second personal laser writer, and then which didn't um, work, <laughs> which didn't work, doesn't even power on. And then um, <laughs> on the way back from my dad's in the pen in Pennsylvania. Um, there was somebody who had an Apple scanner and it was uh, like, I think it was the either the color or the black and white one, but the very early ones with the snow white design and everything. And I, I always wanted one of those because we had one of those in elementary school. So I'm like, oh, I'll take the scanner. They're like, oh, you got to take everything. Yeah. There, were, there were like three Apple laser printers. And the one that Tom gave me is the personal one, which is kind of small. The other two, I wasn't so lucky with. It was like the the color one with like the paper feed attachment with it, and then there's oh, like geez. the uh, the laser writer pro or whatever. I guess it was like the the, the personal like a full one business that, printer. Yeah, and so, and so I misjudged the size of these. I don't know how I fit them into my car, but now they're in my garage and all the rubber rollers are melting every minute of the day. So profit, I guess. The upside is that if you have a steel boat, you already have an name. <laughs> I, I convinced myself that hey, if I ever need like cool photos of these printers, like I I could just take photos of them, and then I'm like, I'm not lifting those off the bottom shelves. Never mind. <laughs> well, but you keep buying printers though. I didn't buy it; they were free. No, you bid on that. You you won that one printer on eBay. Oh, no, that's, that's an image writer. That's a different sickness. That's yeah, but still. How many of those do you and have? And you, you linked me the other printer. <laughs> well, no, there was there was. You keep the, linking printers, so you, I can't a, feel too bad about it. It was a wide carriage uh, image writer, which they only sold for like four or five months because it, it sold terribly. Nobody bought the dumb thing. Um, Except it was, you. It was, exactly. It was, a, it was <laughs> essentially the regular image writer with a 15-inch wide carriage, so you could print on landscape 
paper, oh. uh, chapter fee paper and all this stuff. But apparently it didn't sell well and they, you know, they discontinued it very quickly. I didn't even know when it existed until like a year or two ago. So I have this eBay save search. Every once in a while one will come up, but it'll be like in terrible condition and the shipping will be like $80. So this one kept coming up with a starting bid of 20 bucks. Nobody would bid on it. And, it would, <laughs> and, and this happened for like maybe a year. And so now I have a job. I could waste money. So <laughs> I put a... See? I put Remember a twenty dollar image writer, my uh, stat writer printer. I paid three dollars <laughs> no, for it. You. I kept watching it. I was like, I can get that. Oh, wait. no, it does not work. It does not work. Oh. Well, this one this, they they showed it hours ago. They yeah. they said that power's on at least, um, and they're pretty hard to kill. But the the only thing that was cosmetically wrong with it that I could see was the uh, forum feed button and the other button were broken off, but I, I could probably just 3D print them. And I might actually have some spare parts from that Apple service parts thing I got. Um, so who knows? But yeah, that was that was that was a very bad influence, Tom. Thank you for you know telling me about it. You're welcome. <laughs> Enabler. Yeah, so let's yep. let's, let's <laughs> talk about someone else's vices. Retro Techie. <laughs> there you go. What's that? Glue? I sniffed the glue. <laughs> Pick the I don't need anyone. Did I picked a bad day to stop sniffing glue. Does anyone see a problem with me switching out a? Nope. No, do it. Two twenty ten volt for a two twenty sixteen volt. Shouldn't be. No. No, it should be fine. Nah. That's small enough. Our voltage rating is okay. fine. Yay. That's what I'm doing. Don't do it. Uh, Jeremy, what, what image writer are you talking about? The original model or the image writer 2? That's the one I have the most of, the image writer 2, because every, everyone and their uncle seems to have one. <laughs> I, I actually turned two, two of them down at the DCF the swap meet last year. <laughs> hey, Steve, I have three of them in my parents' basement. Only if, three? Come on. If you don't take the them. The original. I are going to be recycled. <laughs> no, nothing, <laughs> nothing that bad. But they'll if be recycled and I'll it, blame the you. gets it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want the, one that, the one that I had to take to get that 2C+, plus, the one that was like in the bundle. Oh, yeah. It, it, it actually works fine. That's that's the thing. People usually sell them like or include them. It's like, oh, you you want this? It's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and and the well, person with the one twenty eight k Mac that I was looking at the prototype one, they came with like a van full of stuff, and of course there's an image writer in there. Like, All right, well, it's here now. What am I gonna do with it? I have a couple <laughs> of original image writers, but there's probably only enough parts there to make one good one. Oh, I only have one image writer. Oh, you obviously need the, need the three that Tom is offering. Yeah. Well, if they show up on my doorstep, I will not turn them away. Yeah, he said it, he said I, it I, live. I, he can't take yeah. it. That means yeah, can someone all your garbage to just <laughs> Yeah. Hey Siri, clip that. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, it looks like but, uh, is the original printer. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know what part of the state Justin's in, but I drive through his state every couple of years, so. If you ever just if you ever go outside, there's three image writers just sitting on your porch. Don't be surprised. Yeah, yeah. Justin's gonna wake up, make himself a nice cup of coffee. He's gonna walk to his like front porch, be like, "The hell is this?" It's <laughs> <laughs> a huge refrigerator box with googly eyes on it. You know. Did anyone ever see? Uh, there's a news article or a news thing a few years ago. Some guy was walking around with a CRT TV thing on his head. He was dropping off CRT TV. I saw that. Google's porch. That was awesome. That was great. And he got like a hundred houses in like a you know in a neighborhood one night, and just like they had it, like the police had to like rent U-Haul trucks, and uh, basically just be like, yeah, you got a CRT TV on your porch, you could drop it off at this truck. That'd be like Christmas. I'd be collecting them. Yeah, I mean, when I hear that high pitch noise when the when the CRT goes on, like that. Oh, I can't hear that at all. Too many contacts. Hey. Guys. <laughs> Oh yeah! Holy cow! Look at that! Look, Steve. match. <laughs> <laughs> over there, so. Wow. Yeah, I um. The blue scuzzy works. Yay! Nice. Good job. Hey, I saw stuff on the screen. Uh, I'm only here for emotional support. 
I recapped I half of my uh, my power supply, and now the Apple II just uh, flashes the power light. That's good. That's a feature. Sure. <laughs> That's a feature. I have an incredibly hot iron. So, Joe, I've got a question about the soft card. Yeah. And it, it's not an actual question, but it's like a logistics question, I guess. So <laughs> the first step for the, um, for the ROM, you're using these, like, long leg things, right? Yeah. And then you're basically just clipping those off. Yeah. Why not just use like headers? Um, because they're not long enough. So. But if you just like, they can fit in the socket. Because right? they're, 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 also, they're too, they're 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 fat. Okay. So they'll f up the socket. Yeah, but who cares about a socket? But okay, that's that's a reasonable explanation. <laughs> I learned how to do it. Okay, I learned from watching you, Dad. <laughs> you know, my real son. <laughs> the little Arduino <laughs> pins are cool because they're the they're the same thickness as as, as of actual IC pins. So if you ever find the original ROM chip and can burn one, you can stick it in there, and you don't have to worry about replacing the socket. Aha! Uh -huh. There's one of the kittens back there. Aw. Oh. Oh, up there. That's oh, Al. That's the boy. But, but Joe, now what am I supposed to do with the one with three extra pins on it? I don't know. I'll send it back to you. <laughs> sure. I'll create a care package. I've got that. I've got a blown reefer for you. <laughs> I've got. Oh, Garth, I have a question for you. So yes, I had a shit ton of solder on that. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> Mike, did you uh, ever touch base with the individual with those parts? The individual never contacted me. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I will bug. I will bug them so again. It may not be necessary because Dave had um, determined that his CRT is not necessarily good. Well, they're going to be trashed anyway, so now the guilt's on you. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, we're, uh, we learned uh, yeah, right? yeah. the problem we're lies in the analog board. So uh, I'm going to have to get a replacement it, for it. It can, never hurts. He, he, there's probably replacements in the thingy that I'm telling Garth about. So, so oh. there's, there's a chance that um, if you if they're just going to trash your stuff, I'll, I'll take them, obviously. But yeah. <coughs> but they did not contact me. I will and remind I'm them right now. So, what would you say, Joe? I said I have a really dumb question for you. A really dumb a, question. Okay. We'll have, have a, a dumb answer. <laughs> do you have another uh, Mac Plus? I do not. Okay. Hey, Steve, you missed my uh, my wooden Macintosh. Oh, actually, check this out. It's pretty cool. It's that really neat. neat. He he can test monitors on it. It's pretty cool. It's a test jig. <laughs> so I have uh, wing nuts holding the CRT in. Oh, that's cool. There's two Apple II screws that hold the power supply in, and then the motherboard just lays it, there. It's so also you, a kissing booth if you want to electrocute yourself. Yeah, <laughs> earlier. They're like, oh, that's like shock proof. Yeah. And you that would leave a mark. Good advice yeah. about oh, like, shocking. Gosh. Harking this up. Wow, this stream has been going almost six hours now. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> This That's is live on the there. internet? But you know, we haven't had too much carnage tonight, so we're, yeah, we're, kind, of, we're kind of has breaking the... Has anything been repaired, well, though? Been fairly lucky. Well, let's see. Eric uh, took and uh, he uh, took his uh, floppy drive apart, determined the gear, the, the gear was broke in it, so he's going right to get set some gears, and then he can finish cleaning it up and everything. And then uh, Justin got his LC working. And yep. and then uh, after a false start, Garth has too, been but... working on this and doing recap on his LC here. And I don't know what retro tech he's been doing today. Uh, I cleaned yeah. some. Uh, he's just been harassing us. I cleaned some Famicom cards. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, some weird games. Game. He's telling people to throw <laughs> things <laughs> away. <laughs> retro's been doing. Ta da! Oh, yeah. uh, I also Adam, successfully. Uh, Adam's Adam's been fixing a lot of stuff tonight, and he put that uh, monitor test jig up. It's pretty cool. I yeah. just determined that I can't complete this power supply because I've run out of wick. Oh. Oh no! I'm actually just about to use your fingers. 
<laughs> How about it's almost midnight and I've fixed five or six computers already and I'm done. Yeah, you did pretty <laughs> I'll good. I'll sit here, yeah. but I'm, 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 done, I'm done soldering. I know the feeling. Yeah, uh, I'm done. Uh, I was going to work on my 848 like but anything. it works fine. So. <sighs> well, hey, Steve. It's what happens if you put too much voltage to this? So I got a, uh, <laughs> hey, Steve, I got a Performa 600. Which apparently, according to the chat and the, the consensus of the, the, you know, the world out there, in, in the sense of, you know, whatever, whatever, it's apparently a two VX. As Performer six hundred equals a two VX, and mine does not turn on. And I've confirmed it's not the power supply; it is the logic. Ooh, board, that sounds like means, fun. Of course, right? You mean? And it's obviously you know, it's cats and stuff, you know. But I don't know. But the best but part are... is, I actually have a real two VX out in my garage. I haven't opened up yet. <laughs> Oh, not, not the two, not the Forma, but also a real two VX, but it, which is actually probably a much worse situation. So yeah, I, I got I one. At, two, I um, hope I can get a working one. I, I got think one Joe's going to explode something here. Yeah, I got one at, in uh, April at VCF, and it's really oh. in bad shape. I gotta, I gotta fix that when I have time. You have to put it in backwards. That's important. <laughs> 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 Joe, what did that hey. cap ever do to you? Hey Steve, I had a Mac Plus I was looking at earlier where I described the the anode cap yeah, as haunted. That's hot. It was so horrible it was haunted. Hi, man. <laughs> Are you bored, Joe? This is the last time you're gonna tick off Joe Cap. Bzz. Okay, come on, don't I do a it. Bunch of caps no. I could do that with. Funny. You have so much to live for and regulate Danger. voltage for. 480 volts. That's the, uh, that, that of what I just put over it is the, That's uh, the bomb shield. Yeah. <laughs> is this Mythbuster? So, so hey. Joe, how did, how did you get solder in your eye again? Right? <laughs> go for it, Joe. Three, two, one, go. Da, 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 all right, we have we have carnage again. Okay. Do it again. Do it again. Joe, thank you, Joe. You need to use like yeah, your your only. cell phone to get like the super slow mo option if the camera has it, and just like set it up and. Just... Uh, I'm doing my fan. Um, can you make me big real quick? I've got a completed LC power supply here. Make just uh, it big now. Sure. Make sure none of the caps are backwards because you saw what happens there. <laughs> ah. Yeah. There we go. Replace I'm so worried about cap. that. I on the Apple II power supplies, I don't even trust the silk screen. I like look what I'm taking out as I'm taking it out. Yeah, it's yeah. good to take pictures. I'm nice. uh, going to actually put it through the ultrasonic clean. Well, I got a solder yeah. leads on to, to no, test, test it. it. Test it. Oh man, we're a very vengeful group today. <laughs> 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 So there's one solder joint I do not like the look of. I'm going to mute myself while I spam my keyboard here for a second. It says Take TDK throw it away. Finish it my LC logic work. TDK. Yeah, what was up with TDK and Maxell being in computer stuff? They should have just stuck to making cassette tapes. <laughs> yeah, there goes that alcohol. Yeah, you got enough on there? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> Holy smoke. Dunk it. That's basically his version of ultrasonic cleaning, I guess. Yeah. I'm stepping oh, no. away from the camera for a second. I'll be right back. So, here, if you want to see, this has left a residue of some sort of fibrous material on my bench. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's paper. It's paper. It's cancer. Paper from the cat. Cancer. <laughs> cancer in a capacitor. Here. here yeah, like, oh, it's wait, like, I think my cap here. It's like, what, 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 what is that? I think my recap is done. Yay! Nice. It, it's not, okay, hold on. It's not really cancer not. in a capacitor because he's not in California. Oh, that's right. Only California knows best. Yeah. The other 49 states don't know what they're talking about. Only California yeah. does, apparently. Oh, yeah. Ca California is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> apparently only California knows what causes cancer because none of the other 49 states do. Yeah, it, it, it's really ridiculous. All everything it's labeled out here. 
think. Breathing air can cause cancer. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I haven't been to California to see the sign as soon as you cross the border. Yes, because uh, I'm from Michigan. We have filthy air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to take off. Yeah, I'll wait All right, to Tom. So you're, I, just gonna, to you're just going to measure that printer and mail it to me. That's what you're doing. Yep, six mm. hours. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go, uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> around and just collect printers. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Apple, you know, if, HP, if, HP Inkjet from 2003. If you could do that <laughs> with, like, like <laughs> a full Xerox, like, image runner or Canon image runner printer, like, over your head, then I'll, I'll accept it from you. You know, I'll I'll find, I'll yeah I'll find in one of our offices like the oldest Xerox like big you know multifunction machine we can find like the yeah you know, the full on industrial printer. And I hope you're paying for my funeral then. That's <laughs> with with printers. Yes. How many printers for a funeral? He's gonna bury you in a coffin made out of four printers for a funeral. <laughs> Yeah, Steve. There's no room for you in the car. It's all printers now. <laughs> just, 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 Tom. When you do it, make sure you put the laser personal laser writers down first. Image writers on top. Right. Yes. yes. Ow. Let, let them crush my my bucket. Yeah. What, what about the uh, the free with computer purchase printers from yeah 2006? Oh God. You know, I I bought an iBook G4 and they gave me a free printer. Really? Uh, do you want that one? No, that's that's okay. Yeah. Unless it was it's like an Epson deepest... 740. No, it was like a thirty dollars printer, but it was at the Apple stores. So they charged eighty dollars for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a period of time where they had like uh, there were like two Samsung printers that were exclusive to the Apple store or some garbage, and they were getting pretty good reviews. And I remember one person posted like. Months after they sold there, yeah, you cannot get these at Walmart for like fifty percent off. You know, <laughs> guess they didn't sell that well, huh? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the story was behind that, but it was weird. It's wet because it just came out of the ultrasonic cleaner. But there's the LC Logic plug, board. Plug it in while it's wet. It works better. Yeah, <laughs> good for you. It's, it's going in my good. reflow oven on uh, dry mode. That does not look like it's dry. It is not dry. It is. Looks like uh, you had a flood. Uh. It, it is actually the. It is the opposite of dry right now. I'm just looking at your your mat there, your blue mat. That looks looks like fairly wet as well. Uh yeah. It, it is. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. You should see it's everywhere very else around. Shot. Well, right. now if you really want art. See you guys. Bye, Tom. Bye, right, Tom. Tom. Thank you for hanging out with us. Bye. Bye, bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. We're the Brady Bunch again. Yes. Hey, I need this to be how lovely Bob is now. He's, you know, he's <laughs> just loves. I need to be center square. Somebody make me uh, make me Pullman. Nope. Yeah. Center square is mine. <laughs> God, there you God. go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> see how it is. Everybody oh, scared Bob places. away. Bob wanted center square. <laughs> oh, that's appropriate. Garth and I are working on LCs, and we're beside each other on the screen. Oh, how well, appropriate! Of course, my I'm uh, ultrasonically cleaning things that won't be dry before I need to test them. But well, I got. Well, I'm glad you finally got that LC working though. That's great. That's awesome. I know that's great. That the LC <laughs> is. LC is the first, uh, I guess, Mac I used. That that that's not the first one I used, but the LC is the first one I used. Now, now, if only I could get a TUI card for it. That's your look probably. Man. I think, I think yeah. Joe has to revert his engineer for us. What? <laughs> exactly. Huh? Sorry, I was in squirrel mode. I was over here. What? I, I, I said you could. You're you're going to reverse engineer a TUI card for us. Yeah. Oh. A two E card like for the that goes LC. In one of these. Yeah. Um. No. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Joe's like, nope, okay. negative. Mm -mm. Not happening. So, I'm pretty sure this may not work, but I'm gonna just test boot my LC here. I'm just jamming my finger down into the fan and and you know speaker, speaker connection, obviously, because that's how you do it. And then I turn the top. 
Fan. No, it's fan swimming out. No, it turned off. Did you see that? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's unhappy. That's not a good sign. Is the power supply good? Fan's running. It could be the connection, the fact that he's holding it with his thumb. Yeah. That's what I was I thinking. Hear any, I don't hear any beep. Scrub the hell out of the sound chip with a toothbrush. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you need you, you need VRAM. Yeah, you need you VRAM. Need the RAM. Oh, well, it's yeah, got yeah. RAM on board. Oh but my gosh, you need sure. VRAM. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, I, yeah, that got me earlier. Damn. I didn't have the VRAM in. Put that in there. <laughs> While it's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I didn't know that was hot swappable. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. I plugged the blue SCSI into uh, the Mac Plus while it was on. I didn't realize it was on. Oops. I mean, anything's hot swappable if you're you not concerned about Three. the ramifications. Two. One. No tone now. No poopy. Is the speaker plugged in? Well. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm oh, it's on the context. Okay. The post. <laughs> the hope. So yes. Okay, let me do this again. It's turning on, I will say, but shove a blue scuzzy up its butt, and by the butt I mean the scuzzy <laughs> port. Uh, what a disaster! It's not working. That's. I blame Tom. <laughs> it probably has something to do with my test method. I would say maybe. That's fine. I wouldn't expect a boop beep, though, right? Well, I think uh, plug a monitor into it. See if you got video. <laughs> that makes too much sense. Yeah. Can't just grab a monitor off the shelf. <laughs> monitors. Bruce is like, try testing in the case. You know, Bruce, where's that case? It's outside in the sun. And I'm yeah. Is Try it actually sunny, connecting sunny the, at 9 p.m. Try actually <laughs> connecting the speaker and uh, fan correctly. Come on, Garth. I got System Seven Five to boot off a of Mac One Twenty Eight. You can you can do better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me give me three minutes. No more. No less. No more. All right. No less. What? I'm gonna fall yeah. asleep in three minutes. Huh? Do oh, that. Come on, Steve. It's not like you got to work tomorrow. Is everybody like my Joe, my Joe puppet? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <laughs> That's what he gets for having a center. And Sunshine and rainbow. <laughs> rainbow connection. Sorry. Oh, It's Joe's computer museum. Oh, no. That's too funny. So you're you're uh, Steve. So your your video's going to be out tomorrow. I'm I'm currently refreshing Patreon. So the stupid thumbnail that was automatically gener generated of me like looking like an idiot uh, is not there. But I I don't think that's going to help. It's oh. going to be there forever. <laughs> uh, I, I think YouTube does that to us. Yeah, because... it's it's like it's like me doing this. You know, it's it's perfect. <laughs> It's like, I think their AI for generate auto-generating thumbnails has to at least give you two thumbnails of you looking derpy. And then one of something that's completely stupid, like of uh, something that's not a good yeah, like thumbnail. That. Yeah, it, it would give me like a thumbnail of this it's and then two of me looking derpy. Yeah, if, you, if I empty the cache. Surprised or excited about something. Yeah, well, it's not going to be like the proper thumbnail. I'll do that, you know, when the video actually launches. But it's just for Patreon, so I, hey, <laughs> I look Joe, like a deer Joe, in the headlights. Joe, <laughs> Joe, you see this? Yeah. It's got this cord coming out the side. Yeah. That hooks up to this. Uh, don't threaten Joe. That's not yes. nice. Puts yeah, that's the cord cool. in the board or something. Does in the joystick port. Uh, that's probably some sort of weird shift key mod type of thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> Look at the. Think, I didn't think you said you said shift. <laughs> four, four rainbow <laughs> cables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's retro That's roundup. All right. Deal with it. <laughs> Just call me the flying nun. We tell this keyboard's old because it says made in USA. Oh so, yeah. Stupid Aussie <laughs> sucked at bench test. By the way. Uh, Garth, my friend said he did not forget. Uh, he will be in contact. Okay, good. Okay. A likely story. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you know what? Every one of these caps are perfectly placed on here by me, of course. Perfect. They need more saliva. That's why they don't work. <laughs> need more cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, there's spots here. They're missing. Justin, where are you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is Mac Project? Honestly, I'm not sure if this thing's even going to work. This is hilarious because, yeah. Mac Project. You ever heard of that program? It, it's, yeah, it's, it's basically like a project management software. Yeah. Oh, this came with that 128. Or, I'm sorry, that 512. It was in a box with it. It was. Yep, it was one of the uh, release products for the uh, for the original Mac. Yep. Okay. Is it the video is now posted on Patreon. I could go to sleep. Yay! <laughs> well, Yay. I'll have to watch that, Steve. <laughs> yeah. well, I just got a not notification on my watch. Mac just 84 now. published a new post. <laughs> Mystery <laughs> dingy majiggy who's he wants it Mac. <laughs> Email. Right. Look at that. Can you, can you tell you who your patrons are? <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> very, very kind and generous people who who somehow put up with me. Steve, I like it when you do the uh, Patreon streams. Those are fun. Yeah, I have to. I have to um, get a better setup than the camera dangling over a monitor that's about to fall any moment. <laughs> so. I guess. I can, I can afford a camera arm now, so that's going to be a thing. But thank you, Adam. Yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. You, you can see me flub all my lines. Ah! <laughs> look at that! I have something new on my Patreon dashboard. Imagine Sweet. that. None of this stuff is be. working. What did I do I wrong? Some, I got that original copies it. of uh, Microsoft Multiplan here. That's their old uh, pre-Excel spreadsheet program, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. It works better, Garth, when you use a hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. Thank you. Jeremy, Steve. that's good. Jeremy asked looks a, a question crooked. in the chat. Yeah, it looks looks like it's a little crooked. That's uh, fine. It's only an LC. It'll the buff out. To that is yes. It'll buff. Out. Jeremy, the answer is yes. Ironically, I swear to God, this thing is probably booting fine, but it's, you know, it's like the stupid quirkiness of the old Elsie's. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably just the sound chip is bad, and it's just, you know. Shove a P-Ram battery in there, just for fun. <laughs> That's going to work. I mean, I think the LC 2 <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Ron will uh, give you a personal lecture on why you shouldn't put those batteries in there? This is how we get him in the stream. You know, I know oh, yeah, that's, yeah, there's still something wrong with this. It's fine. It's fine. Still something wrong. Did you Ron? test the continuity of the caps next to the power connector? Because it's, I, I made an oopsie on that once. Does the LC need a PRAM battery? Anybody that's what that I was. Already? That's what I, I thought. The only the LC two did, but they're so similar. I know the LC three does not. So I do not believe the LC does. Yeah. Okay. And actually, I don't think the LC2 does. I think it's the 040 based LCs. That no, I thought I thought it was the LC2 that needed it for video. I, I could be wrong. I don't. I know it's not the LC3 because Bruce yelled at me for misremembering that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's the oh, LC. Bruce LC. test it in the case. Bruce keeps repeatedly saying to me to test it in the case. You know, yes. Bruce, I'm gonna do it for you. I know. I will do it for you because I have it literally right here. And I will say, Oops, I'm proud of this because I washed this freaking case today. Look at this freaking case. Yeah. It's awesome. It's actually Ooh, nice. Looks, white, looks white. beautiful. I did a really good job of this. 
Test it in the case. Why though? Is this some sort of horrible ground thing we don't know about yet? <laughs> yes, this is something I haven't told you people. <laughs> It's not like it's hard to put it in there either. I mean, the LC just goes right in. Well, this, when, as soon as you attach that speaker and uh, fan thing, Majiggy, there, it's gonna clip clip in and hold it better. That's that. Yeah. That's Have what fun getting it out. Make sure you hook up two floppy <laughs> drives while you while you got it in there. <laughs> Seems like. There we go. Ready? You guys ready for this? No. Oh, no. Put it in there. No. Put it, it in all there. the way in. Put it in there. <laughs> get, the, get the hammer. Hit it. Like that? Oh, what do we do? Clip it. There See you that? go. Now it's better. Yeah, almost. There you go. It also makes no. Julian fries. <laughs> Bruce, actually, Bruce actually is right. And then it exploded. <laughs> Bruce is always right, depending on the time. <laughs> Ooh. Huh? Snappy. I like how Bruce just says the same thing over and over and not, again until you do this it. This case is not spindler plastics. And I was realizing, I was thinking about this today when I was like, because I got a Quadra 605 that's all spindler plastics. And I'm thinking, yeah. like, maybe yeah, I want to use this for a good case for, you know. That'd be scully. That'd be scully I have plastic. Like, I have like one of the very first Centra 610s that's. Yes, I do like, too. Like very early, like the the auto inject floppy, and yep. you can stand on the thing and it's fine. And you go like to a quarter six ten, it's like, oh look, I touched it and it fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is solidly in, solidly in there. All right, push the button. No tone. Wow, broken. Something else wrong. No audio at all. Well, Bruce is wrong. Do you have does it, power supply? Do, does it does it post? Is the speaker so, good? So I need to <laughs> yes. <laughs> you all have good you all have good so I'm not sure if it's actually booting. I need to actually a floppy uh, or some sort of actually thing. You need a monitor, you need a floppy drive, oh, you need a scuzzy port, the blue you scuzzy need a and, a, and the, the blinkies yes. will tell you. The yes. sailboat. You need a yacht, <laughs> you need a McMansion. There's a light. Give it time. We'll see if it blinky blinks. But otherwise, yeah, it might be any sort of number of things, right? I need this chair and this paddle ball game. I think there's actually something still fun. I, I think get a toothbrush or some isopropyl alcohol and just scrub the heck out of the, the top right corner of that where the sound chip is. Yeah. It doesn't need the sound chip to, to post. It's funny, Steve. I actually did that. Once I pulled the caps off, I scrubbed the hell out of it. Oh, okay. Never mind. We'll scrub it more. <laughs> I, have not washed it. I have not washed it, but it's funny, Bruce, because um, this is this is a totally dead board. This is a like pair of like three of these at least so far. For all these season, relatively, they're you know pretty pretty easy to repair and stuff. But it's this part here. I was like, did, well, did you scrub it in a clockwise a direction or counterclockwise? <laughs> <laughs> Are you located in North America or South America? What wax hemisphere on, are you? Wax off. <laughs> you need to get a microscope and randomly place it in some spot on the board and find a broken trace and fix something. <laughs> that's five years. Love it. Hey, that that's a patented Love Mac eighty four move. It could be like me and just not plug the AC cord in. What's awesome about in this, this case is I can ah! really take this, I can take this stuff out like and it doesn't destroy itself as I take it out. Don't change yourself. Right? But the real question, Garth, is when you scrubbed it. Did you use a regular toothbrush or did you use an Oral-B toothbrush? That makes a difference. <laughs> Electric? Or... <laughs> Four out of five solderists agree. That... <laughs> nice. What do you think, Dave? Four out of five dentists. Uh, uh, okay. Oral... All right. You're... Oral-B, Dave, of course. All right. Okay. Four, four out of five redeemed. dentists will recommend the product that you pay them to recommend. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. And the fifth one, awesome, I love it. And, and the fifth one uh, was uh, on vacation that week. Yeah, he so didn't, he didn't get the voicemail. Nice. He did Yeah, he didn't get the voicemail. I will say this: uh, this computer, by the way, is an incredibly awesome condition LC. Which, yeah, you know, what? everyone everyone knows it, but they want to say it. Did you LC put the RAM battery in? 
<laughs> it's an Elsie's awesome condition. Incredibly but slow and terrible. Work. Slow and terrible, but you know what? They're max, so they need to be saved. They're good though. So, can you use a higher uh, capacity VRAM and make more colors on that? Or I think five twelve is the max. So you can use a two fifty six or a five twelve. Yes, I believe on, on the LC2. I'm not sure about the I have, first one. I'm sure it's similar. I have a 512 yes. in one of my LCs, and you can get 512 to get the, okay. the sweet, sweet 640 by 40. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet. I will say that I recapped this board, like, you know, under duress. And... Under duress. <laughs> <laughs> Could be any one of these numbers of small kneecaps <laughs> I put on here. Well, are they all in the right polarity? No, that's a good point. I think the tantalums will Wait, you uh, didn't, let you know. You didn't, you yeah. didn't check that? Come on. <laughs> okay. Got you. It was like a steep? Yeah. Well, yeah what that. is this, like uh, resistor packs on a blue scuzzy? So yeah, come on. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> One of the main things I do after I put caps on is this. there's two things. First of all, I check the right caps. Of course, you did that when you did it. Secondly, is the uh, uh, polarity, and then it's actually actually soldering on both ends are important. Right? <laughs> Sometimes I'm you know, like, oh, I missed one end. Of course, you're flipping the board around. No, I meant to make this floating cap. Yeah. That's a special cap. <laughs> I'm looking at old photos because I, I, don't, I don't know if I ever have had an, an original LC. I'm trying to confirm. Yep, it's all good. Check it out. You gotta Did check you the get LC all your bolts. photos back, Steve. I'm sorry. Did you ever get all your photos back? Uh, <laughs> no, iCloud is still being a pain in the ass. And after hounding Apple, they basically were like you have one of the largest iPhoto libraries we've ever seen. A uh, photo libraries we've ever seen on iCloud. <laughs> yep. And um, the only thing we could recommend is to take the the thirty day trial of Apple One Plus to get another two terabytes, and see if it gives you the extra space to just make the syncing issue stop, wow. and then you could remove the data. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's great. Stupid. Yeah. Upselling is a part of the. Uh... <laughs> Needless to say, the hard disk has been plugged in to the Mac, and it's been like churning around for like the past four days. And activity monitor says like there's like five terabytes written. Uh, I'm sorry, five terabytes read, two terabytes written, and I have no idea if it's even doing anything because the UI is so minimalist. This is syncing. There's no progress bar, no percentage, nothing. Yeah. So I have no confidence. Yeah, I thought I had a lot of photos. You know, you know I have like seven seven gigs, and you have terabytes. I'm like, oh, well, it's it. I used to use my phone for making my videos, like oh, solely. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't use a, a external camera because it was the best one I had. And so I, I used to do it in 4K. This is before my computer could handle HVAC, so I had it in the larger file size mode and all this stuff, and that came to bite me in the ass. Yeah. So what I did today is uh, I, I went through and downloaded all of my stuff off of the iCloud from iCloud.com, and then backed it up onto an external drive, and then just that way I have them. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's uh, what I'm basically doing is I have to I have to separate the older photos from the newer ones, but photos doesn't give you a size listing, so you can't do that. It's like this whole stupid thing. So uh, it, uh, basically, everything is so full that it's not syncing. So I have to just fix uh, that. That's fixed. Now I just have to try and figure out the rest of the plan. <laughs> it's craziness. Uh, all right, folks. Well, I'm going to head out for tonight. Good night, Joe. Good night, Joe. All right, Joe. Well, thank you uh, very much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it there. Thank you for letting me come by and be insane in your presence. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I hope you enjoyed being the center square tonight. Very good. Oh, uh, shit. Me, Alice. Took my spot. <laughs> <laughs> Took my spot. Gilbert Godfrey to block! <laughs> oh, all right good night joe. Right, joe thanks for hanging all right now the retro's a center square well kind of center <laughs> i had video um, games the only reason i'm awake right now is i'm trying to remember if i had lc or not <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> going to <laughs> well, Gar Garth Garth can hook you up. Yeah. No, that's he'll I he'll send a printer to me. Steve, just do one of those quick insurance insurance inventory uh, streams. It'll only take you about five quick. minutes. <laughs> Eight <laughs> years later. I couldn't imagine Steve had to go yeah. to one of those things. I started inventory, but then you know life got in the way, so I have to probably do it again. <laughs> Your inventory would take you, what, about a, you know, about a month? It's No, it's all in the same room. Well, except the garage and the attic. And my it's, office. You know, it's kind of like rooms. everywhere. Oh, nice nice oh, roller mouse there. <laughs> Oh, I'll play with your ball. Uh... <laughs> Pretty sure that's going to flag a YouTube thing. And that's, <laughs> this thing actually weird. works. You can kill somebody this with that, one man. That thing's huge. Oh, what's that, Garth? <laughs> that one works? One works. Mm -hmm. Like 6 and 5. Oh. oh. Mm. So if the Mac doesn't work, just get rid of it and get another one that works. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good advice. Well, time, try. Honestly, this one didn't work at first. It had many humps and hills that go over, but yeah, I figured it out. And this is the one actually, if you guys might remember, I I recapped on stream and I managed to float the ship here off the back. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I could never get it down quite right. There's one pin that was always off, but see it you see that lovely red red cable here? Bonus chip. Yes. Yeah. Why don't you try yeah, that, that power supply with your LC and well. see if that works? Actually, the right? other, yeah, the other one I did was good, believe it or not. Yeah. So other, both power supplies LC, are good. Honestly, the LC it definitely has some weird clicky thing for it, which is hilarious. I love it. But I, actually, I, I will say, if it's actually a, a true failure on the LC, I, I literally love it because there's so much information on the schematics and stuff on those older boards and. Uh, you can hunt down quirky stuff that are wrong. So yeah. Looks pretty. Nice. But it works. Nice. Very nice. So if anyone's wondering, this is actually my LC2. I have a, a the floppy drive that came with the LC2 was not working when I got it. So I just tried I just lubricated the stepper motor and cleaned the heads really good. And it looks like that fixed the floppy drive. Although nice. it's, a, it's eject mechanism needs a bit of motivation, but it looks like it actually works now. So I can put it. Yeah, just uh, just formatted a disc. I'd say that's a win. Nice. Pretty good. Can you, that, that's that's great. I might I have like a stack of them I have to get to. <laughs> uh, hey Steve, you got any dead Mac pluses that have a, a good front bezel? <laughs> uh, a dead classic, yes. No, uh, plus the, the, Mac, plus. the Mac plus I have is uh, is a bit uh, sun dried. Let's say, uh, uh, Jeremy, so Newark is 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 fairly close, but it's not like a town I want to visit. So. <laughs> Provide more information, please. Uh, Newark. They have one of the crappiest airports in the U.S. too. Yes, that's the closest airport to me, and I, I know all too well. I'm gonna be flying, <laughs> flying United to Chicago. You, you had a great time, didn't you? Oh, I had so much fun. Wait a minute. Newark has a reputation. Ah. That's fine. It's not as bad as Why Kansas. So, as long as you lock your windows. What I mentioned to fix. I went to a concert in Camden, New nothing. Jersey, and I swear I needed a fl I needed a bulletproof vest and a an AR AR fifteen. <laughs> That's good, ah. crazy for you. Yes, it's pretty nice. Man. Nice, I like it. Is the I keyboard like actually it. in there? Yes, the whole thing's like in here. Keyboards. Nice. I don't like them either, but I collect Apple stuff. <laughs> I, 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 I can see that so from the, I gave all those floppy drives behind you. <laughs> yeah, I have that full one, and then I got this one too from a guy. He's like, "This is broken. You want it?" And it turns out it's it's all fine except for the the five key is busted. <laughs> That's the only key he tried. So I have to put a new switch in the five key. Yeah, he probably tweaked it too much when he was. Opening yeah. it up or something. If you Maybe. if you push this button, it triggers the the uh, 
Mozart's Ghost Virus. Did you know that? Yes. If you ever watched the movie The Net? Yeah. <laughs> Not in years. Uh. What else you guys got? Y'all are tired. Very tired. <laughs> well, uh, Justin's well, got a floppy drive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's been working on, on his stuff. Like mm -hmm. I said, uh, I'm at a standstill with this thing. I just, I got to get a, another analog board for it. And Look, man, I chose to try to recap my LC and, and obviously Dave Street cursed the hell of it. It's so, <laughs> <that's laughs> the worst recap of the world. <laughs> Hey Dave, hey, I only made it like tonight. Dave, I only made it like a third of the way through my analog board testing, so I don't know. I, what I need to find out is how many analog boards, how many CRTs, and how many motherboards I have that work before I know what I have extra of what. If I end up with like two extra analog boards, I'll I'll shoot one over to you if you want. But uh, I don't know. Sure. I don't know. I don't know the answer yet because there's a whole yeah. other sh a whole other cart of of compact packs here I didn't even touch tonight. Heart. He's got he's yeah. got lots of, he's got lots of stuff. Turn that camera. When you guys, when you guys, wait, hold on. Make him big. Here, let me change the camera to. I think it's is it that camera? Heart no. vision. I have too many cameras. Okay. Uh, one more camera. <laughs> Try this camera. That's a black. See nothing. Yeah, I work oh. up with that. It's pointed at the at the ground. So oh, here. Oh, there you go. So if you get uh, sick, don't watch. So it's all good. When you, it's gonna take okay. me a sec to get over there. Yeah. When you, what? <laughs> Iron... <laughs> Ironing board. Yeah. Problem is, I can't see. I can't see while I'm doing this. But see these these carts. Mm hmm. Yeah. Thing is, you can you can pull a cart out, and there are more carts behind. Oh that my cart. god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh wait! Jeez, please. Insulated with those? So you no. insulate your house with Max? Okay, so I feel I, better. This car. Tonight. Yeah, I have more. I have more of these carts of of Compact Max behind this cart. Just like wow. there's more carts of Apple II floppies and other junk. Like this cart behind this cart is all Apple II stuff. So. Well, yeah, if you ever get around getting those, Jeff, you find an analog board, yeah, it would be much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, yeah, there's that's another... Kinda, that's kind of oh, that's kind of overwhelming, Adam. Uh <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> well, I don't usually show this on the stream, but over here is more shelving with... Uh, there's like oh, wow. Mac 2s and... Um, I whatever. like that monitor up there. That looks cool. That... That's actually going to be a repair video soon. I've, I've got a brand new internal chassis for the TGS monitor. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, uh, that one only, that monitor there only shows green, which is really weird. But mm. there's the new uh, cinema display I just got. That's nice. Yeah. And there's some new bus cards I just got out of that Quadra 650 I just picked up. Yee. Oh. Uh, well, you, yeah. you got a lot of, uh, external drives there my goodness that's some of them <laughs> here's some here's some boxed uh apple II stuff wow cool adam's and apple II some, shop there's some more compact max up there there's some scs i gotta you gotta have all of them you gotta have the sc sc fdhd and sc super drive oh i see a printer look steve his, his has got two slots in it too Oh, yeah, you're you different. A... I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Quadra 700. There's Steve's uh, favorite uh, Fujifilm zip drive there, too. It purred it. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going through old photos, and I found a flea market where there was a Molar Mac for $20. <laughs> oh. Sad oh, I just place. went on Mercari, and I found somebody was selling an Apple joystick and the paddles for 19 bucks, and I just missed it. Oh, poopy. I'm changing my camera back to this. Like the PVMs with your uh, what is the, the signal, uh, what is it called underneath one of them? I just lost the name of it. Oh, that's the scan converter. Yeah. Oh, love that. Amazing. Yes. So much so back stuff. Here if anyone's rematch. wondering, if anyone's wondering what crazy stuff. thing I'm doing, it's just basically I'm putting the floppy drive that came with the LC2 
back in the LC2 <laughs> and putting the floppy drive that came with the LC back in the what? LC. What is this uh, crazy? Madness. <laughs> madness. Put it back the other way. Madness. <laughs> Throw them away. Is that a that's a two meg blue label? Yep. Cool. Well, you're going to have a pile of 800K black labels showing up soon. Cool. <laughs> I didn't test any of it, so I have no idea what you're going to get. I just picked three out of the stack and threw them in. Life is like a box of floppy drives. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> I feel like that's stolen somehow. That you didn't come up with that. They say the same thing about chocolates, too. That's right. What? Well, out of, out of time license plates. What do, what do floppy drives have to do with chocolate? <laughs> so, chocolate. You, uh, you can eat chocolate while you're copying a disc on your floppy drive. There you uh, yeah. There's my LC2 with the FPU that I put in it. When I set this up, I was originally going to put the Apple poster, the Apple computer, whatever, personal computer's poster right here in this space. That's why the mm -hmm. shelves are split. But it's got, like, plastic on it. And with the lighting in here, like, if I actually turn on... The streaming oh, light. It up. Oh, it reflects off of it. It's like this crazy reflection nightmare. So I had to pull it. <laughs> so I had a screw there already. So I threw that license plate up on the wall. <laughs> I don't like the light, so I turn it off. Though. Ding dong. Come in. Ding. <laughs> Just a second. Oh, ain't nobody home. Go. Oh, away. that creepy bird is there. <laughs> it's FedEx. Oh, no. I got some more Max for you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, you. You know what this bird does? Just throw it bird. away. The rest of those creepy toys just burn them. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> and the creepiest thing is that Elmo in the background. <laughs> no, it's yeah. your batteries are dead. Right? Your batteries are dying. Your batteries are dying. Oh no! Please help me. So there's the baby Yoda thing. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> That's not as creepy. That's just more to sell things. If anything, but... What's doing? Tell me a joke. Talking to you. I tell me a joke. He lost his mind. The joke's on you. What? Is that what they gave you when he left Apple? They're like, here. Thanks for your twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't around for the wine glob goblets. You know, <laughs> we used to put people's names on the back of our computers, but here is a bird. <laughs> we made some bad bit business decisions. Yeah. Have this bird. <laughs> I, think my, I think my cats would have killed that by now. You know, uh, uh, I'll I'm have to find the remote for you, and I'm going to be able to control you properly. <laughs> it's pretty cool. His eye blinks you know, too. Yeah. You know what? You can go into your. <laughs> Poor bird. I'm so sorry. No, he's a good bird. <laughs> he lost it. Here, I finished. <laughs> Can I have it? No. Oh. Can I have it? That's a lot, of, through why would you a lot of chips on that board. We Chip got 2,000 more anyway. to go. Only. And there's the power supply. Actually, I'm missing nice. one chip. I haven't got yet. Bob. Sorry, I had to yell at Bob. He was uh, trying to beat up on Bella. Yeah, Garth, next time I think about it, I'll get our little uh, white for real kitty out. Isn't that what you had no, the other no. day? Oh, okay. It was different. You saw the one I had, right? It was horrible. Yeah. The one that the ear different. fell off? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was scary. <laughs> you're, just, you're like, hey, let me show you my other toy. Bunk, ear falls off, and you shut off the camera right away. I was like, he just murdered Garth. <laughs> Sorry. You guys see this uh, Quadra 700 board? I tried board? to make it work, but it, it doesn't work. It's horrible. <laughs> That's okay, a let let me, uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Me, that was that SC30? Uh, was that SC30? No. Okay, let's uh, hold up again, Adam. I'll make no, it. Uh, there you go. The Quadra 700, right? Oh, good knowing you. But look at these look at these sims that were on it. It's um, they're tall. There's, Chunkers, yeah. there's five on one side <laughs> and three on the other. <laughs> That's weird. Isn't that weird. Likes them. That's actually really weird. I, yeah, obviously there, no parody there. You know what the capacity is? Two megs each. 
<laughs> What's the speed of the uh, the, on the VRAM? There is there is no VRAM in this Quadro Seven Hundred. The parrot knows. <laughs> the the, uh, the onboard VRAM is one hundred nanosecond with the four chips on the board, but I don't have any any additional VRAM on here on this one. <laughs> Garth really liked that. Garth is getting excited over there. I think that's my cue to exit. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. Just recap this first. I'm oh, getting wait, it sleepy. doesn't need it. <laughs> oh, it will. Oh, my God. Hey, look, there's... um. I pick up this, swear to God. <laughs> there's, extra, there's extra ram holes here. Justin, do you want to fill them in? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that always fixes it. Might, I think I'll work. pass on that one. It might, yeah, it okay. might work. But I don't think I have enough ram chips to try that tonight. Well, folks, okay. I'm falling asleep. So I'm going to go. Good luck with streaming for the next four hours. <laughs> Steve's like... Your, your record wow. stands, Steve. <laughs> your record, your your record's intact, Steve. Don't worry. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been it's been fun. Seven hours almost. Six hours. Uh, forty six, minutes. Six hours forty minutes. Yeah, we, we'll we'll round it up to seven and we'll be good. So. Good night, all. Good night, Garth's Pirate. Night, Steve. Nice See you, man. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with us, Steve. Night. Thank you very much. Any time. Right. Ah. Bye bye. <laughs> no promises. Oh God, no. <laughs> Murder parrot. That's a square bird. You did a good job. So, so anyway, I was telling you that uh, we—it's a white for real kitty, and it's got an attitude. It, it, it growls at you and hisses at you. Uh, it, it, you'll start petting it. It starts purring, and the tail starts wagging on it. You know, in the ears, and then all of a sudden it goes ring. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what the toy with the ear falling off does? Uh, <laughs> no, the ear is stuck on that one real good. But they, but they, but they actually they actually use that at the volcano theater production. It's been in two uh, two theater productions. Uh, so they go, can we borrow your kitty for for our, our uh, theater production? Sure. So the. the so the name they call it is they on behind the stage they call it Butterbutt. That's the name of the the cat that they call it. Butterbutt. Butterbutt. And so the first premiere, <laughs> they handed out like you know it's like those little uh, a glass baby jar food, uh, you know, with a clear yeah. glass, and they had like fake cat uh, doo doo in it with litter in it. <laughs> and it said, oh, and it, said it is said butterbutt on it. So they handed oh, it out. Adam has one. They handed it out. We got one of them, and then they handed a bunch of them out. But it was just hilarious how they did it. But yeah. Then the earphones. Really has actual cats and stuff. So yeah. Well, we do too. Scuzzy. But but it's just it's funny. On that, what's that, Adam? Blue scuzzy with a green green thing. That Jay uh, likes to complain about all the time. Hello. Well, that goes on a particular Mac. This was Hul this was Hulkintosh's uh, blue scuzzy, but uh, Hulkintosh is getting something different. Oh, okay. And then this is one that was in the Mac Two, and now it's going to go in a Two X whenever Steve sends me back my motherboard. What are you doing? Oh, get rid of it. I'm trying to move them around because the ones that the newer ones that can do the LED, I want to put those in machines where the, the, there's an external LED. What's it doing? Like, like the Quadro 700 or the SE. Yeah. And then like but, a Mac uh, 2, 2, 2X, 2FX, those can get uh, the ones, the older ones that don't have that. That drill a hole through it, jam in an LED. <laughs> like this. Mac 84 just shared a new video. Yep. Oh. Patreon. Yeah, Patreon. Oh boy, here we go. I just got the oh, email. It's an LED. Oh, I have to look at it. Eric has yep. an LED right there. Yes. Ah. Done. Hey, blinky. Oh, neat. Neat. Justin has Your nail polish. Hard drive yeah. indicator. There you go. <laughs> Eucalyptus. Activity oh. indicator. Eucalyptus oil. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, I, I have, get this uh, label off. It also counteracts the uh, cap juice smell. Also, I have a. Oh, this smells so good. 
Yeah, I have a I have a web space at Rackspace, and I just got this email that says, due to major upgrade of our computer system, your service needs to be verified. Please click this link to verify your account. Do it! I did it! Yeah. Yeah. And the link goes to t.co slash blah. I'm like, yeah, whatever. You guys are just lazy. And <laughs> you put your credit card number. It could be one of the lucky winners. Yes. Yeah. And what's your social security number? Let's double check that. <laughs> <laughs> and your yeah. mother's made a name. <laughs> yeah. Where you were born. Date of birth. <laughs> All those things. Yeah. I love the ones that tell me that my web my web administrator has disabled my email account. Click here. <laughs> well, I am yes. my web administrator. Thank you very much. Yeah. So why do you keep sending those emails to yourself? I, see, I know. That's very strange. I don't know. What are you doing? What is we, that you're doing? We always keep getting those calls on the phone. Uh, you need to call us now. Your, your yearly subscription of your Norton antivirus <laughs> utility is about to expire. <laughs> Well, well you gotta yeah. take care of that. And it says anyway. you gotta keep your PC running good. I said, Well, you know what, folks, I don't have a PC, I don't have Norton utility, so you're calling the wrong person, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm removing the label that the eBay seller had put on this because I'm fairly sure I've avoided my return period by recapping it. Hey Dave, I haven't showed this on my channel yet, but this is the Firewire uh, zip drive. Oh but nice. In the it's in the deep. front of it, I'm not. I, I don't want to open it yet. But in the front of it, there's a Japanese copy of Norton Disk Doctor, <laughs> <laughs> which is like a pack-in, I guess. That, like, there's the original. This is sealed, so that the zip drive is sealed. And then yeah. there's another layer of like Japanese junk around that, and that's where they add it on, like you know, like bundle, buy this and get free disk. Yeah. Doctor. And I'm like, look, at, there, there's Norton right there. <laughs> And weren't you saying the other day that that uh, they would package it and they would send it right back to Japan? Uh, yeah, basically this was built in the U.S., so they they built it as a Japanese product here, and then shipped it to Japan to sell there. And of course, somebody bought this and never used it, and then I bought it and had it shipped back to the U.S. So yeah, that's, that's funny. That's, that, yeah, it has. <laughs> But that's pretty neat. my favorite part, it was Tom that, sh that pointed it out first, is that the, the Mac that's pictured on here yeah. doesn't have FireWire, so it won't even work with the SIP drive. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> details, details. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, no. I, I, I was re reminded of that when you brought up disc, Norton Disc Doctor. That's like, yeah, or Norton Utilities. I, I wonder when they did that, uh, how, how soon they got calls on that saying, hey, you guys screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> that machine doesn't have firewire. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's on the front and the back of the box. And only on the side does it show the uh, blue and white G3 that was the first firewire Mac, I think. That was pretty revolutionary back in the day when that came out with firewire. That was the fastest thing around. I wasn't even born yet when that came out. It was so cool. I mean, everything was like 10, 15, 25 megs a second. It's like, oh, 400. Here you go. Yeah. Sweet. That was that was a big jump. See you, Jeremy. <laughs> hey, good night, Jeremy. Good night, Jeremy. Snooper. Thanks for hanging. Snooper? Where? Eric. Oh, Eric has Snooper. Ah. Uh. No, I was just uh, cleaning the power supply case because it was a little grungy. So now my LC2 is going to smell like eucalyptus, <laughs> which is not necessarily a bad thing. Does it work? <laughs> uh, the LC2 does work, uh, but not right now because I put the power supply back in the LC case. Because the, uh, yeah, this power supply here uh, that I was using for testing is the one that was originally in the LC. And that's the LC's floppy drive. And the LC board and the LC, or I guess the power supply that will go in the LC2 are in the my reflow oven to let them dry. I heard LCs are easy to fix, that like anybody can do it, really. <laughs> yeah, just as long as you don't get the idea to try to cram eight RAM chips onto an LC motherboard. That I love work. it. I love the dig. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, leave. like, they look I'm so going to leave, I, and I appreciate your dig. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good night, everyone. And good night, Adam. Hi, Yoda. Yeah, okay, weird. You're weird. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's adorable, that toy. It good doesn't look like it's going to murder. Good night, Garth. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks for hanging. There we go. And we're down to six. Yeah. You, you need 11 minutes? Yeah. 10 minutes. Dave, are you just trying to hit uh, the even number? Or are you, yeah, what is yeah your just, plan? Hitting, just hitting seven, seven. Uh, seven hour mark and we'll be good. How much are you paying us okay. for these next 10 minutes, though? Uh, you're paying Dave. See. Well, guess I'm what? You're be, retro, you're yeah, Retro Techie, you're question. paying Dave. Yeah. <laughs> retro Techie, you can have this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to get a blown one from Mike, also. It's, it's pregnant. <laughs> The one that scared Steve, I'm supposed to get. Yeah, Retro's yeah. gonna get that. Adam, gonna Adam, send it to me, and I'll put it up on my uh, <laughs> board that's got all the swag from everybody. All right. You I want really it? Want, I want to see more. So, of as soon as I get, as soon as I get my stickers, I'll, I'll, I'll send you some, uh, Eric, oh, to awesome. add to your board of swag. Okay. And everybody else, I'll be sending yeah. them out. So. Okay. Put this on my board of swag. Oh, and and if you get any, <laughs> if you get any ideas that I had some backup projects set aside because I was in this for the long haul, or at least until it got really late. Yeah, I did. Okay, very good. Uh, this is the only thing I have to hang on my board, other than the stickers I got from a lot of people. My, yeah, I've got my, the same uh, thing on my board, except yeah. I don't have the chip. That Ron. <laughs> Mine's got the, the bullet hole in it. There you go. <laughs> Eric, I love your look. Like, people will recognize you now when you walk down the street. Yeah. I'm going to put this floppy emu on my hat. <laughs> That's our new fashion <laughs> trend. There you go. I think it's overkill to put a 32 gigs in a floppy emu. No. 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 You, you got to have all kinds of the... stuff on it. So, basically, I pulled some EPROMs out of, uh, or I guess these are. Yeah, EPROMs out of some equipment, and I need to erase them. So I've been I've had them soaking in isopropyl alcohol to try to get the label off all afternoon, and they're just the labels are coming right off. Okay, so I've got any... a I've I've got a UV eraser. So as soon as the as soon as they dry, I'll put them in the UV eraser and let them go for probably ten minutes, and that should erase them. So, it's kind of uh, in interesting how back in the day, that's uh, they did that, did that on all those EPROMs. Yeah. Don't take the label off; you'll erase it. Looks <laughs> made okay. in USA. Oh. Applied Ram. engineering, Ramworks. Yeah, it's got lots and lots of Ram slots, sockets. Yeah. Can I have it? So what's the, on that? How much can you populate that with? Can you, you populate all those? Yeah, I can put one meg of chips on here. Okay. Uh, it takes the four banks of eight 256 by one. So four 256K banks. Um, it's actually the same RAM that would go on that 2C card I showed earlier that is missing all the caps because some wise guy took them all off of there. Mm. Yeah. Ah. So, Dave, oh. are you going to be at Midwest? Uh, I'm not going to be able to go because we have um, some people that are on vacation during that time. Oh. And, yeah, I would have liked to really go, but uh, hopefully next year. But, but yeah, because I know Garth's going. You're going, right? Mm -hmm. Eric, yep. Yeah. And then I know... Um, I'm going, too. You're going, too? Okay. Yeah, and then yeah, you can uh, take Zodium. Zodium's going to it, and you can take this and replace it with this. <laughs> oh wow! Wow, that's that's amazing. The the jump in technology on that. Yeah, the only reason that's that. Yeah, this has will fit in the slot, but this has four times as much memory as this when it's full. It's crazy. That is wow. Three yeah, I, I broke down and bought some uh, dental tools for 
working on electronics off Amazon. And I have to say, if there are any dental offices that are actually using these dental tools, no. I hope not. Probably you want to get <laughs> soft. The metal those, is soft in those. Yeah. yeah. They're you, great you for working on electronics. Yeah. No, you don't, you don't want to use the soft ones. Get the real thing. You can buy used dental tools. Mm-hmm. Like on eBay. Yep. Ah, okay. My wife used uh, to be a dental eBay. assistant. Well, I'll go look for those because, yep. Yeah, those are great for when you're working on doing modeling and stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. uh, just sculpt, sculpting and cleaning uh, your teeth at home. Just getting, oh, yeah, you, you could do that too. Uh, but just get those little tight areas and stuff where you can run manipulate it. Well, works I mean, good on computers. Areas that you normally can't get to. And not all of them have sharp ends. Some of them have ball no. ends on them. They work really yeah. nice for yeah. scraping without a hey guys, I got another label maker. Look at it. Ooh, Ooh. It's fancy. Yeah. It prints out like. Good night, Joe. Good night, Joe. See ya. You know these kind where it's like it squashes the tape. Okay. Oh. Somebody's pressing so something. Like a, you, shouldn't... you know the <laughs> dynamo. Where it's, yeah, dynamo. Where, right. where, it, where it's embossed. Right. Mm -hmm. Like the last That's time it. you probably saw this is where it said flux capacitor. Do not look directly into light. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the actual embossing the, one. Yeah, I got the red tape for that too. Oh, cool. Yeah, we have one laying around here somewhere. Of course, if we have the newer ones too, just the regular, the newer newer tape that you put on. And you have to turn the knob to to pick a letter. Yep. <laughs> I thought Seven, this would be yeah. cool for some of the late '70s stuff I have. Oh yeah. So instead of like putting a plastic label on it, would be like use this old thing for like drive one drive two that kind of thing yeah so it looked like it was originally there yeah like period period correct yeah yeah for sure this also kind of looks like the enterprise <laughs> <laughs> it does it does yes <laughs> okay let's yeah. see more of your your basement who me yeah i showed you most of it I can't show you that corner. Is that where you hide the bodies? Yes. <laughs> bodies of old men. <laughs> That's where I have projects that I don't want to show yet. It's top secret. Yeah. It's also where the bone saw is. <laughs> the bone saw. <laughs> you know, yeah, you have to keep now, that under wraps. Yeah. Now they're using chippers. Makes it a lot smaller pieces. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot easier. And they and they and they, <laughs> they back it up to a creek when they yes. do it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And Eric, you're packed in pretty well at your spot. Like oh, there's God. boxes everywhere. <laughs> Retro Techie, I got you a new TV though. Here you go. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love those. You know what brand it is? I can't really see it though. No. Emerson, Memorex. 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 Really. <laughs> Yeah, this thing is really heavy for how small it is. Yeah. It has um, uh, AB input, but it also has uh, AC and DC input. Hmm. Oh, that's like my little Philips TV that I have down under my bench. It needs to it's be recapped, but I thought this might be kind of cool for the, um, the Bell and Hal. Yeah. Because yeah. it's black and because it's color, and I don't want to waste a PVM on that, on that machine. I don't really use that often. I've got an old uh, black and white security monitor that I picked up that I always awesome. wanted to build a retro computer out of. All right. This thing is really heavy. I wanted to pick up somebody locally was selling a, you know, one just regular portable TV, but it had, it was PAL and NTSC at the same time. Like I've never, portable TVs around here, I've never seen one that would accept both signals. They wanted twenty five bucks. I said I give them ten dollars for it, and they were refused to negotiate at all. So, you guys Whatever. see this? There's the outline of what would have been a skirt jack. Awesome. And <laughs> it's not there though. It sucks. Well, you got an RGB. I wonder if the I wonder if the electronics are in there, and I could I could enable it and have the RGB. 
Well, I'm sure if you can find a cool. manual line for it, there must be yeah, some gotta, schematics. Well, first I gotta need to recap it just so it works. So I'm sure I'll figure it out while I'm doing that. Twenty oh, seconds until seven. S scarf. Oh, scarf I got his. European market. So yeah. Yeah, I only have. I only have one TV oh, yeah. that has scarred on it, and it's a UK TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's 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 their their uh, their uh, broadcast the scarf over there. What do you got there, Justin? Can't, can't hear you. Can't hear you. Oh, I hear nothing. Yeah, no. he's, he's got no sound. Well, have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Yep, seven hours. Oh, oh is my oh, maybe his batteries ran down his mic. Yeah, well, yeah, my my headphones started to die. I had to charge them up. That's part of why I left for ten minutes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's switching mics now. Well, we're you at the seven it. hour mark anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll wait till he gets back uh, some volume there. And we'll... One a.m. here. How's that? Oh, we can hear you now. Your batteries yeah. go dead, huh? <laughs> yeah, the batteries went dead in my. Uh, Road oh, wireless go too, so that means seven hours is its max. Anyways, uh, it's the Magnavox TV I have. It's got a plastic cover over the glass for whatever reason, but yeah, I was going. It's got, it has AV inputs, and it yeah. also does AC and DC. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so. That's similar to mine. Mine has a plastic cover over the tube too for some dumbass reason. I wondered if this was one you could mount in a like a bus or something, but. <laughs> <laughs> Like one of those be a crappy bus. Yeah. So, well, anyway, guys, uh, I guess we're going to end it now. So, um, hey, it's been a fun seven hours. Uh, lots of things got repaired. Uh, some things didn't. But, hey, that's that's part of retro computing, right? Exactly. And I want to thank everybody that was in the stream earlier and people that are still here. The people that were in the chat uh, had a pretty good turnout. And thank you, uh, Justin, for hanging out all day. Starbuck oh, Tech, yeah. thank you for dropping in. And Adam, thank you for hanging out with us from the start. Eric and Retro Techie, <laughs> thank you very much. Have so, a good night, guys. Right. All right, so everybody, you Thanks. have a great, Thanks, great everyone. evening. And uh, we'll you. see you in the next one there. All right. All right. Good night. Bye. All right. Good night. Bye.